China. Are you ready? What's going on, everyone? Welcome to live stream reviews with myself, Christian Karasevich, and Charles Matthews. And I just want you know, for those who don't know, I'm the content marketing manager at StreamYard. And so, basically, if you're reading anything on StreamYard.com forward slash blog, you're checking out our YouTube channel. Uh, you're probably chances are you're chatting with me. And so, um, it's great to see you all. For those of you who are new here. Live stream reviews is our way to take a look at your live streams and to help you level them up. And that could be, you know, a number of different ways. For example, we've had uh, Payo Time came on, for example, quite a few uh, times over the past few weeks. He talked about, you know, uh, he was doing a live stream about football. And so, like, we were talking with him about, like, hey, how does he improve his background? Because he had some really awesome graphics. He had his intro game, his outro game. He had all that stuff on point. His topic was great. By the way, he talks about, Los Angeles Rams football. And then we just needed to help him figure out his background. And then off of that, this is where like Charles was here last uh, helping us with this. And we gave him some merch suggestions. And so he all of a sudden had merch. He had started selling some coffee mugs, branding his live stream. So uh, it really tends to vary every single week, but we're excited to have you join us. I'm going to go and bring on Charles. We're going to kick things off. Uh, we have a couple of quick announcements at the beginning, but Charles, it's great seeing you. How you doing? What's going on, people? What's going on? Hey, make some noise out there. Give us some thumbs up, some hearts, some likes. I got drafted <laughs> like football. I'm here, everybody. So welcome to the show. I'm excited to be. You know something? I missed you guys. I really did. I like, did too, actually. It felt yeah. so weird last last week. I'm like, oh, it's not this weekend. It's the next weekend. I can't yes. wait. I'm seeing all the great comments, and we're going to have some fun today, man. We're going to have some fun. We are, yes. And uh, I, I got to say, Charles, I missed everyone as well. I mean, it was like, we used to do this every single week. And then we said, you know what, we're going to scale it back because these do take a lot of time. Yep. And again, it also gives you time to work on improving your live streams and hint. So, <laughs> um, you know, so, but I missed everyone. I did. Um, so I have a couple of quick announcements, by the way, that I want to make. And um, one of those, let's see, we've got a few of them, right, Charles? Yes. Let's let's start with one thing first though. Does yeah. anybody notice the new background? Like Duck is Duck is wearing, you know, he's in his costume. Halloween is coming up. We new, do, yes. Look, look at that. <laughs> we have that. And actually, we have a few more uh let's see. These are I guess we should say these are Halloween treats. By the way, Charles, you're even dressed the part. I mean, you got the black shirt with there the orange go. piping on it going on. There you go. All right, I'm I, I'm not all Halloween yet. So We've got some gifts, some some treats, some Halloween treats for you. I want to just give you all just a quick uh, sample of what these look like. So we got some cool things for you. Um, so as you can see, one of those is we've got this uh, street, this puddles. By the way, for those who want to know, this is puddles. We have puddles dressed up in a witch's costume. So this is the typical puddles. And puddles says he wants to get a little festive. I, I think it's he, <laughs> she. I don't know. Puddles wants to get festive for Halloween. So we've got puddles here. In addition to that, though, we've got a couple other really cool ones. Uh, for those of you who want some, you know, Halloween festive uh, overlays, this is a uh, this is an overlay, by the way. It's a transparent overlay. Yep. And one thing I think I actually want to demonstrate this. So, like, when you put this kind of overlay up, so for example, if you put the, you know, it's it's uh, just horizontal and vertical. It doesn't go. Or sorry, it's just horizontal. It does not go vertical. Here's the reason why you also might want to do this. So, for example, we're in a two shot. Let's say we mm -hmm. were in a solo shot. So you have to think about this, by the way, when you're designing your overlay. So, for example, if we weren't going to have our name on here, we may leave that off. But in our case, you know, we're going to do a different shot. But we may go to this shot, for example. There you go. Or we may go to this shot. And so, as you can see, it's it's a friend of mine said it. You know, he likes to compare it to the Streamyard sandwich, which is basically the background is the bottom layer, the overlays are the top layer, and everything else in between. Yep. Exactly. And so. We have uh, some Halloween overlays here. We also have this one as well. This one's pretty cool, actually. Here, let me take that one off. This is, uh, for those of you who like just want fall, we've got some leaves, some animated GIFs. There and you so, go. 
what they got to remember, by the way, with the leaves is they're going to pop on and you got to make sure you turn them off. So if I turn them on, we'll let them run. And then if I don't do anything, they're going to they're come. Again. They're going to keep going. <laughs> so you do want to get your timing down. Yes. For example. Yep. And then we also have this cool one. I think this, I don't know. This one's one of my favorites. Yeah. I like, I think I like that one too. Out of nowhere. Th that's pretty cool. Come on now. That is pretty neat. Yeah. So are there any good comments coming in, by the way? So we got pumpkins and then we got one last uh, overlay also that I wanted to show you all. And this is a super important one because you know, this one is not Halloween themed. It's for those of you who want to use pre-recorded live streams. So for those of you on StreamYard, we offer pre-recorded live streams and you can run these, but the thing you have to remember is the platforms. So for example, LinkedIn, they specifically say in their terms, they don't want you using pre-recorded video and running it as a live. So basically recording the video, putting it in StreamYard, scheduling it as a pre-record to go live. They don't want you doing that, but Facebook and YouTube, they're fine with it. And so the only thing you have to remember to do is if you're recording them, you got to put up something like this. This is uh, a little icon we have here that you can put up on screen. It says that it's basically pre-recorded. Uh, we have some other ones as well uh, and some other cool things in uh, the asset folder actually have for you all. So if y'all want this, here, here's how you get this. So basically um, here's our, uh, here's the link actually. So bookmark this. These are October assets. And so we're going to, we're going to do our best to try to get you all some of these every single month. And there are various ones. There's backgrounds in here. There's uh, I think overlays. Let's see what else is in here. Uh, count. There's some countdown timers, some animated GIFs, some pre-recorded icons and so forth. So putting that out there for you, let us know, by the way, in the comments, what you think about these, if you like them, uh, so we can continue to improve them. And what was the other announcement we had, Charles? We have a special event coming up and we talked about the event that this event is for everybody. If I'm not mistaken, it's on the seventh and we can pop that up on the screen. You need to be here. If you haven't logged on yet, if you haven't registered, this is for everyone. Okay. I know it says event production professionals, but you can learn from everybody. Just log in, listen, learn, and get little tips and tricks. That's all about moving your stream to the next level. Tips and tricks. All right? So make sure you log on, and uh, I want to see you there. Definitely, yeah. And, and so it's simple. You just simply go to StreamYard.com slash SY Showcase. It's free. By the way, that's the other thing. It's free. So we've got, <laughs> we've got event producer. So this one's going to be focused towards uh, event production professionals, but... I think the other thing, Charles, people need to realize is everyone is an event producer. Yes. If you're producing, like, yeah. for example, Charles, you're producing, you produce events for other people. Yes, I do. But you also produce your own live streams. If you're going and live, I'm, you're yeah. a producer for your own show. And there's exactly. ways of making your show better, more engaging, yeah. different styles. So, you know, this is a way of taking your show to the next level. And then the other thing also with that is if you have guests on, for example, there is, there's a run of show that, for example, you know, Charles, you and I do this, like you put on a full event, there's a run of show that you follow. Yep. And you don't just have guests come on, you prep your guests ahead of time. And so that's actually something that I think is super important. Like you'll learn that from a lot of, you know, there's a lot of people that are producing the event and they'll tell you, you know what? Hey, like they might say like, Hey, we have people come on depending on the event, like the day of, sometimes it's a few days before. And it's to go through those things. Like, Checking the mic, checking the lighting, checking the audio. For example, checking our camera position like Charles and I are right now. So yeah. little things like that. But be sure to sign up for that. Okay, so I think that's all the announcements we have, right, Charles? Yes, it is for now, but more things will be popping up. So make sure if you want all the announcements, you got to log on to Facebook and join our town hall meetings. Town hall meetings, you get extra information, what's going on, and they always have a little something, something on a Sunday. So it's Sundays at nine o'clock Eastern time. Definitely. By the way, I, I, um, can you do me a favor? Can you drop the link? Let's bring, so obviously we mentioned the goal of this is to bring you on screen to take a look at your live streams, you know? And so what I want to do, Charles, is, um, let's go ahead and drop that link. Let's share that with them. I want to just go through the comments real quick. I want to thank James Hicks for joining. James, thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, okay. So good to see you. Christian, I'm going to log off for a second and see if I can pop back on. Yeah, sure. All right. So I'll be right back, everybody. Okay. Awesome. Cool. So Charles is coming right back. Um, in the meantime, what I want to do, if you want to uh, join us on screen. 
um, and have us uh, review your live streams, very simple, just go here. Um, in the meantime, by the way, I do have a, uh, I got a question. So um, Kesha, yeah, Kesha says uh, she's running a replay right now. Can she drop your, um, yeah, sure. You could put it in here um, or you can join us on screen. Ideally, we want to have you join us on screen um, so we can talk with you, get to know you, hear more about your streams. Um, but I want to answer this question real quick. So Karina was asking, she says she works with hearing impaired people. They need a way to put subtitles for them. So one thing you have to remember, by the way, about subtitles is they're typically user dependent. So if you go to the, if you go to Facebook or YouTube, there are subtitles that can be enabled. There's also browser option as well. And these are actually things that your guest can enable. And so this is where like, if you're having people on, um, you could have like, you need to show your guest how to actually do this. And so let me see if I can bring up a YouTube video here. And bear with me, by the way, Charles is gonna come back. I see we got a couple of people joining us backstage to come on screen, fantastic. Got a couple of Charles is back here. Charles, a couple of Charles Matthews showing up <laughs> and Charles is chuckling in the background. So let me see, let me find a video here to show you. Okay, so here, I'm gonna share this screen first. I wanna answer Karina's question. Um, this was a video that we uh, we had published actually this past week. And so this is what it's gonna look like. So there was this video, uh, she works with hearing impaired. So let me turn her comment off. I'm gonna show you this. So this is a video uh, that we published last week on the StreamYard channel. And so the thing you wanna pay attention to, if for example, if you've got guests coming on uh, that, that need Subtitles, closed captioning, you can click on this. So for example, as you can see, when you click that, it says auto-generated, English is auto-generated, which means that anybody who turns this on, they'll get auto-generated captions. If you click there as well, you have the ability to switch the language as well. So you can do off, uh, you can do English auto-generate, you can auto-translate, for example, to different languages. Uh, and you can adjust the caption visibility for all your videos as well in your own settings. So this is if you're streaming to YouTube, for example, um, as you can see, you can also go in and adjust like the font size, the color, the background opacity, things like that. So that's one way. Um, and then the other way, uh, as I mentioned, is if you go into, uh, if you go into like Facebook, for example, Facebook has the options as well. There are accessibility options in Facebook. So your, your viewers would actually need to go and turn those on. Awesome. So Charles, let me know when you're ready to come in and we'll kick things off. By the way, while Charles is waiting, just a couple of quick reminders about the show. We do this every single, uh, sorry, we do this every first and third, first and third Saturday of the month. Uh, we typically do it at 12. Uh, I have had to move it the last couple of weeks to like 1230. Uh, I had a couple of things come up, but we're going to try to get back to that normal schedule of 12 o'clock every single week. Awesome. So let's see. Let me just, let me read through the comments from you all. Okay. So... Awesome. Uh, uh, Square Table Degenerates Podcast. Thanks a lot. You're watching us and you're watching some football. Fantastic. Uh, great to see the creative lady from Memphis joining us yet again. Let's see. We got uh, Retro Chat Podcast joining us from the UK. We got NLTMW always joining us. Thank you very much. Um, by the way, let me go back to Retro Chat Podcast UK's question. So Retro Chat Podcast UK, all you have to do to join us is just click this link. I'm going to put it in the uh, comments, by the way. By the way, I'm going to put this uh, in the here. All you have to do is click that link. It'll bring you backstage with us. The only thing we ask you to do, turn your webcam on, and then just let us know ahead of time what your question is, um, if you have a specific question. Awesome. Uh, G. Albert, thanks a lot for joining us. Charles, are you ready to go? I'm going to wait till Charles brings himself back in, actually. He's Johnny Bean, thanks a lot for joining us. Let's see what else we got. Jim Lawyer, thank you again for seeing us. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Uh, Rat Hammer says, I have a role-playing game 
channel and live stream four hours weekly. How do I make the streams more interesting? So what I want to have you do, Rat Hammers, I'd love to have you join us on screen so we can talk, we can take a look at what your stream looks like and we can actually talk through it. Because again, I mean, I I I don't necessarily know what your stream looks like right now. So um, we want to bring your your um, live stream up and check it out. Awesome. Oh, good. Andy. Okay. Andy's, by the way, is ready backstage. Um, Charles is ready, I think. Charles, you ready? Give me a thumbs up. Charles? Okay, let's see. I'm going to bring Charles on. Sorry. He was having... Charles, you good? Yeah, I'm good. It's just it's not letting me look at the comments and bring these guys in for you. So that's what I was trying to fix. Oh, um, do me a favor. Log out and log back into that other account. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, do that. Are you coming? Are you going to do that again? Yeah, I'm going to do it again. See if okay. it works. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so um, while I'm waiting for Charles, Andy, by the way, just give me a second. I'm waiting for Charles to come back so so he can manage things how we need to. So while we're doing that, I'm going to take Zan's question. Zan says, can you guys touch on doing a pre-recorded live video? So Zan, do you want to know how to actually set this up or do you want what do you want to know exactly? There's there's quite a few things. So for example, there, uh, there are guidelines, for example, on doing this, but then there are also... Um, so, that, so there's guidelines and there's also obviously setting it up. So let me know which option uh, you want to know about and we can talk about those. Okay, awesome. So um, while Charles is coming back up and uh, whatnot, I'm going to actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to share Zan's uh, let me let me share this. Uh, let me get a streamer dashboard pulled up for you. Okay, so this is how you go about. Uh, this is how you go about using the pre-recorded feature. So remember, the pre-recorded feature it does depend on the plan you're on. Um, it's something that you're going to want to use sparingly. So you don't want to do every single live as a pre-record. So basically, what it the gist of this is, for example. I go live every single, like, let's say it was this week. I go live every two weeks with live stream reviews. And what we like to do is we take a look at your uh, live streams. And I, obviously, like, you know, I like to uh, talk to people. I like to hear how your live streams are going. I like to engage with my audience. But let's say there's a week where I just can't make it and Charles can't make it. So what we would do beforehand is we would pre-record. So basically, we'd go into StreamYard like normal. We would just do everything without the audience there. And so we do our recording. And then within StreamYard, what we can do is this. We can actually, uh, we can do this. I'll show you guys this. So basically, um, the way this works, so this is the uh, StreamYard dashboard. And what I would end up doing is this. I would go in here, I'd say create broadcast. I'd use this new pre-record video option. And then what it's going to do is ask me to select a recording. I'm going to select a past recording. Um, and in this case, I'm going to go in and select something. Now, remember, like there are limitations to the amount of time your live streams can be. So, for example, my live streams like three hours and change. Um, I think this one will actually work because of the account I'm on. But if you're on like some of the lower accounts, uh, you are limited to between one and one and two hours um, for a pre-recorded live stream. So it's like you could do a one hour recording and schedule it as a pre-recorded video or if you're on, I think the pro plan, you can do, I think up to two hours per video and then it's five at a time. So like, for example, if you need to do six, you have to wait for the first one to finish to be able to do the next one. Um, so basically it would work this way. I'd go in here. I'd, you know, let's just say I want to stream to all these places. I set the date and time. I put the title, the description, I schedule an announcements post. By the way, the announcement post is what goes out on the social platforms. I upload a thumbnail. So I have a separate time for that. And then I just customize for each destination and schedule it. And then it's going to show up just like your typical live streams will. So, um, so that's typically how it works. And so what, um, so a couple other points I want to make about that though. So we've got a couple of blog posts on this. So this is uh, more on pre-recorded uh, streaming. So we've got a couple of blog posts on this. And then we've got one other thing you also have to make sure you pay attention to. And it's the fact that all of the platforms have guidelines on 
what you need to do if it's a pre-recorded video. So for example, this is not pre-recorded, so I don't need to, I'm not gonna tell you on screen like, hey guys, we're pre-recording this because we're not. But if we are pre-recording this, we have to disclose that to our viewers. And that could be done via uh, a scrolling banner along the bottom. So if you go under banners, you'll have that option. Um, you can also use that free pre-recorded icon that I gave you all in the dashboard uh, in the new Google Assets uh, folder for October. So um, go and check those out. Okay, awesome. So Charles, let me know if you're ready to go. By the way, sorry for the delay here. Okay, so let's bring Charles in. How we doing, Charles? Yeah, it's still not letting me link in, so we're gonna have to do it old school, my friend. We're gonna gotta do it old school. Okay. Yeah, so let's just go and we have some comments. I've been looking at some of the comments in here and I'll just read them out, but yeah. Give me the give me the times and I'll bring them up. Yeah. So guys, here's the one thing about loving about StreamYard. You can keep going in and out. If you guys notice, you know, technical difficulties happen, things happen, but as the stream goes in, you can pop back out. Your guests can hit the link and come back in. I've I've been chipped out. Lit, hit the link, come back in. It just flows with it. The stream keeps going. That's the number one thing I hear people ask me all the time. Yeah, but sometimes I have technical difficulties, so I shut it down. And I come. No, don't shut it down. Things like this is going to happen. You just got to keep going. If you have a, a co-host, a great co-host, like Christian, he just rolls with the punches, and then you get your guests back on, and you keep going. It's live stream. It's live for a reason. <laughs> That's why it's live. Okay. So never give up and never say, oh, something went wrong and you shut down your stream. Okay. Don't do that. Get your guests to just link back in and connect and start over again and just keep yeah. going. That's it. I've had a guest. We're talking and then her system just freeze. Yeah. And then she's sitting there and I'm like, oh, she's frozen. You know something? We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. And then I just went to my commercials. I went to something else and then brought her back in. So that's all you have to do. All right. All right. So let's bring some people on the screen. If you want to join with us, uh, Christian, you just put the link in, in the chat and jump on screen. We want to talk to you. Ask us live. You have some questions. I see some, a lot of questions coming up. Then yes, pop it in there. Just come on and ask the questions. Okay. One question here is, how can I have my stream as an HD video quality uh, like yours? <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we get the go, Charles, you can take this one. <laughs> so there's two things. Okay. First thing you gotta look at is what are you using to stream? Okay. So me, I'm different than Christian. I'm using the Logitech uh, C922, the highest one that they have. I'm using a webcam, but Christian, what are you using? Uh, I've got a mirrorless DSLR camera. So that's why, and, and, and an add-on lens. Right. So you got to okay. balance it out. And then as you go, you know, I'm not saying, listen to me carefully. Don't go out and buy the, you know, the, the most expensive camera. You gradually move on. See, my first thing is the webcam. After the webcam, I'm going to move over to a camera. But slowly, as you build, you keep going. But if you're going to get a webcam, get the best webcam that's out there that does what you need. You know what I yeah. mean? And this webcam only cost me at the time, I think it was like 90 bucks. So, you know, gradually take your things. And then, and then here's the other thing too. A lot of people will get a camera, get a webcam and just attach it. Read the instructions. Each yeah. camera and each webcam says for best quality, you need to shoot through 1080p, 720, whatever the case may be. Take your visuals down. It needs proper lighting. Each camera will tell you directly how it looks because without certain lighting. Yeah. Okay. So read what you're using and work together with it. Yeah. So, um, and, and I want to kind of elaborate on this. So for example, how do you have a stream as HD video quality? So I think the, the first thing is the broadcast that you're going out from. So yep. for example, in StreamYard, if you go under cam mic, there is an option under cam mic, under camera, uh, you will see an option to be able to uh, adjust your camera settings. So if you go under camera, they'll say uh, your camera type, and then you can change the camera resolution. Yes. And then on top of that, there's a general option there too, where it also sets the broadcast quality. So, mm. and, and kind of to Charles's point, the other thing also you got to pay attention to is you should, you know, if you if you're using the, the built-in webcam, 
use that, but like consider upgrading to like a, you know, a Logitech webcam. Now, the thing about webcams is you do have to have good lighting as well. Yep. So I've got additional lighting here. I mean, I don't have all my lights on. I mean, here, let me turn lights on. So I've got additional lights on. As you can see, that's too much light at that point, but I've got enough lighting uh, to work with my camera. So you got you to gotta get the lighting right as well. So it's partly the webcam upgrade, but you also have to make sure you've got the right lighting as well to support that. You got something that you want to show people? Well, they're asking me. Yeah. They're asking in the comments, Charles, which camera is it? And there it is. That's what I'm using. And I have a separate webcam that I started off with and I upgraded to this at some point. And I'm, you got the C922. I've got the Logitech Brio as well. That yeah. I used. So, but again, I don't use it out of the box. I use it out of the box and then I download the Logitech Capture app. So there Logitech you know. has a separate app. It's called Logi Capture. Yes. And so this is a, a, it's a free download, I think, from uh, yep. And it Yep. And then you can set the settings. It's going to ask you yeah. the frame size. And that's another thing too, people forget. The frame size that you use determines how it's going to look. If I, if I opened up the camera, it was going to be so much frame size. It was going to get everything. You might, you might look blurry after a while. So make sure whatever product, I don't care if it's a microphone, camera, whatever, just because you see us using it doesn't mean you just go buy it and plug it in. It's going to work that oh, way. Right. <laughs> Even the camera that I have, like I actually had to go through, there's like 14 menus I had to go through to get it right. Yes. When I first powered this thing on, it didn't look very good. <laughs> and I was like, and everybody was like, tell me, oh, it's a good camera to get and good lens. And I was like, oh, great. And I was thinking, oh, I'll just turn it on. It's going to look great. And no, I had to actually go through and dial it in and get it looking oh, right. I actually went through five tutorials on this webcam to make sure I'm using it properly. The, the ISO, the filter, um, the lighting, where the lighting should be. So whatever product you get, make sure you go in and, and get something that's proper and do your research. You know, I, I researched this webcam compared to five other webcams. And I said, okay, I can spend a little bit more or get this, but it doesn't do this and it does that. Oh, it won't do this. It does that. Okay. Like some webcams, like the focus. So for example, if I'm going to show you this pen, yeah. some don't focus in properly. Some of them have auto focus. And then like Christian always teaches you to do this, but some of them take a while to focus in. Yeah. But if I, if I go in real quick, see, some things will read faster on some webcams than didn't. I had another one and I would hold something up. And it was taking forever just to figure out what I'm putting up to the screen. So that's yeah. another option too. And, and again, the other thing I want to make sure I highlight here, by the way, um, you know, and it's the fact that like Charles said this like earlier, you don't need to get the most expensive camera that's on the market. It all, it also comes down to this. You don't need the most expensive camera or even expensive, an expensive camera for your live streams it comes down to like what your live stream is about. Yep. So like, it's all great that like that you're going live, but what's your live stream about? What's your, you know, what's the topic you're covering? Like, is it a topic that people want to actually sit there and, and tune in for? For example, I'll, I'll just use the, us as an example, Charles. Like if you and I were literally just sitting here talking back and forth the whole time and not actually reviewing anybody's live streams, that'd be pretty boring. <laughs> and so, so that's just what you, you got to, you got to think about like how your live streams are structured. It's not about having the equipment. Mm -hmm. it's about having the right content that your viewers want to sit down and watch. And here's, here's, I'm going to put this to everybody that's watching right now. I'm doing a quick poll. Okay. In the chat, I need your answer. What do you think is more important? I know the, I know the question here. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what question you're going to ask. What do you think Go is ahead, more yes. important? Visual or sound? Put it in the comments right now. I want you to tell me, what do you guys think is more important when you're doing a live stream? What is more important? Visual or sound? Put it in the chat. Put it in the comments. I want to see what you guys think right now. All right, here we go. What do you think more people will, is more important right now when you're starting a visual or sound? Oh, oh now they're coming in. <laughs> okay, so let me pause at the 1250 mark. I got some good questions. Let me see. So, okay, so we got, I'm just going to highlight a couple of these. Let me try yep. to grab these before they move. So we got Evangelist Hattie V. Hall saying both. We got uh, BGG Beard Review saying sound. Andrew Kavanaugh saying both. But if sound is horrible, he says he will leave. 
Right. Uh, we've got uh, Leo Mendel. Leo, by the way, thanks a lot for joining us. So good to see you. If you want to pop in, by the way, and join us, we'd love it. Uh, Leo saying sound. We've got Ronnie King saying sound because I make them into a podcast. Okay, that's a good one. There you uh, go. Ohio Ram show is saying, or sorry, um, Ohio Ram show saying sound. Okay, great. Linda Stillwell saying both can't have a good live without either of them. Okay, Charles, what's the answer? To me, sound 100%. Because if I do this for the whole show, but I'm giving you great sound and great information, are you still going to watch? Think about I it. Will. I will, yes. You know what I mean? Sometimes your guests can't come on, but they're giving you great tips, great information. My sound quality is, is great. But if you can see me and... Here, every so when trying to tips, what would you rather have? <laughs> okay, are you hearing static or you're hearing bad sound? I'm here, but you're hearing a hollow, echoing sound, not good quality. But you can see me, I look great, or would you rather great sound? Exactly, okay. and look at this. And you also have to, and another thing you got to think about family football hustler, by the way, some says this, and this is a great point. Some people listen to the show, but don't watch like people driving. Exactly. Yep. Yep. You put on, you put it in your car, you connect your, your stream to the car, you're driving. You want to hear a great sound. You don't want to hear static. You don't want to hear noise in the background. So yeah, in my opinion, you got to have great sound. I'd love to listen to people talk, get in information visuals is now and then now and then you look at it and go, okay, yeah, that's Charles. I know what he looks like, but what is he saying? What's going on? You want to hear the sound effects. You want to hear, you know, the joy in my voice and you know, the giggles and whatever. So, and, and the key thing, you know, and you demonstrate this very well, uh, you know, is if like, if your audio is freezing up or if there's a, like, even when you were moving things around, that's it's distracting. So like you want to make sure that it sounds good. Uh, or good or great, it, you know, and here's the thing. If it doesn't sound great and there's choppiness to it, it makes it hard to follow because you're, you're brain, you're trying to like follow the audio and you're like, well, I can't really hear. And it's like, I don't care what he looks like. I can't actually really hear what he's saying. So, yeah. cause so, I, yeah, so I guarantee if someone's giving you the, the, the lotterio numbers, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you really want to see them, but if I'm giving you the winning lotterio numbers, you want to make sure you hear my numbers, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> absolutely absolutely okay so let's do this um let's go ahead and bring on uh we've got so i'm waiting for chuan here to put on their webcam looks like they're using the snap camera but chuan if you can just turn on your webcam that would be great let us know in the private chat what your question is in the meantime jim lawyer are you ready to come on awesome so jim lawyer is coming on let me see if i can get jim's question jim's uh leo is going to join us also fantastic uh yeah, sure. You all, yeah, you can both be on. Yeah, that'd be awesome, actually. Or sorry, Lee, actually. Sorry. There you go. I was thinking Leo. So, okay, so we're going to bring on Jim. Jim, how you doing? Hey, guys. How are you guys doing? Uh, we're good to have Fantastic. you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you for having us on today. We've Thanks, been uh, streaming with StreamYard for quite a while. So, t first question I have for you is, what's the YouTube stream that I need to pull up? Or the uh, Ohio or? Ram Show. Ohio Ram show. And while, yeah. while he's doing that, explain what your show is all about. Uh, basically, we uh, talk all about uh, ultra cycling and specifically okay. Race cool. Across America, which happens every year in June. Uh, riders ride 3,000 miles nonstop from all over the world. And we talk to various people like some of the riders, some of the crews, and just get their perspective, etc. Awesome. Okay. So this is your stream, I think, right? Yes, Definitely. Fantastic. And we, so, we do usually go live every every week, uh, except for maybe a month during the year. Okay, very. Good. And, and you didn't study. You said three thousand, right? Three thousand. Yes, miles? three three thousand miles. The the Christoph Strasser, who is the current reigning champion, uh, yeah. has done it in under seven days. <laughs> yeah, Thanks, it's wow. it's crazy. It's amazing athletes, and we had uh, Leah Goldstein, uh, first woman ever to win uh, this year. That's very cool. Yes. Uh, Christian, he said 3,000 miles, and I got an instant Charlie horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. My calf started to freeze up. Man, yeah. that, that is a long ride. Yes, definitely. They are amazing. So I've got your stream pulled up. Is, which one do you want us to take a look at, by the way? Uh, any of them, you? really. They're, they're all pretty good. Uh, 
the last one, the 405, don't do that because it's a replay. Because okay. we had a guest drop out right at the last minute, so we kind of kind of faked uh, a best of show. So, okay. so did you do like a pre-recorded stream at that point? Yes, you... we had a pre-recorded stream uh, okay. on Lee's desktop, actually. And, uh, awesome. Uh, we kind of planned ahead just in case. <laughs> See, that's and here, I know that's what I love about this thing. Mm -hmm. Things happen. Your guests yes. will call in sick, you know, something they can't make it. So what do you do? Do you say, oh, forget it. My guests, my, my audience don't listen. No. Give them something, anything, even if it's a replay. A replay, some people have seen it, might have missed it. They will get the information again. Yeah, yeah, so, definitely. One of the big issues that we're having, I know Lee put it in the comments, uh, we do our show, our, basically our show is global. So we have, okay, yeah. our, and our timing, we try, we try to do it all the time at the same time, but with the global guests, it's very difficult. Like if we're you know, interviewing somebody in Bosnia or Australia, we have to change to make it work for them. And then we go live earlier here in the States, which kind of throws us off a little bit. Okay. So here, here's my suggestion. And I mm -hmm. know people might get upset with me by saying this. <laughs> don't change your time. If yeah. they really want to get on, if they have to stay up two o'clock in the morning to come on your show or one o'clock at night or whatever, mm -hmm. you keep your time consistent. Gotcha. If your guests really want to come on their show. They'll make sacrifices and stay up. I've had guests and I'm like, hey, what time is it over there? Oh, it's, she said it's two o'clock in the morning. I'm like, oh, you should be in bed. She's like, yeah, but I really want to get on your show. Yeah. Because, Excellent. Because the thing is, if I love your show and it's on a Thursday at six and I tune in, I go, where is he? Right. He's exactly. Here. He's not here. Oh, I guess he's not doing a show tonight. And I leave. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. your show was at 630, just half an hour more. Mm -hmm. But I. It, it keeps flopping all over the place. Yeah. So did he happen to jump on yet? Uh, I have him back here. Yes. I'm okay. going to answer this real quick and then okay. I'll bring him on. All right. So I, I will say the same thing. I'll echo the same thing Charles did, which is like you need to, I would try to stick to a schedule on your side mm -hmm. and then you get your guests to adapt. I was gotcha. like, I, and I'll give you a couple of examples. So for example, I was doing a, uh, I was asked to do a training in the APAC region mm -hmm. and it was like 11, 12 o'clock at night for me. And for most people, they're going to be like, oh, well, I'm not going to do that. Right. And I stayed up for it mm -hmm. because the thing was, I couldn't go back to them and say, well, hey, oh, I can't do that time because you have to think about like, think about like, all the missed opportunities that like, if I said like, oh, if I like you have to, the person has to be flexible. Yes. To come on your show. Yes. And I do the same thing with my other show as well that I do. I have a show that, you know, I give them a very specific window of like, you know, it's two hour, it's a two hour gap. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, if you can't make those, there's a very rare instance where I will make it and I'll extend it, gotcha. but it's very rare. And I might say, oh, well, you know what? Instead of doing it at like, you know, let's say it was this show instead of having them on it. Like, let's say I said like, oh, from eight to 10 o'clock. And then I said, oh, well, I'm going to have you like they said they couldn't make it. I might bump it out to 11 at the latest. Mm -hmm. So I might extend it by like an hour or so, but yeah. I'm not going to be like, oh, well, let me just do it like completely at a different time so that one person can join. Right. Like if you look at the square table, it says yeah. the same thing. You know, they have people Friday night, they stay up until 3 a.m. to watch their show consistently. Their guests know that's the time they're going to come on. You know, they have their, their followers. So just make sure, you know, in the chat, do me a favor, everybody in the chat, type in what time it is right now where you're coming in from. I just want to see where everybody's coming in from. <laughs> just give them the time right now. <laughs> hey, Lee. Hi. How we doing? Doing good. But by the way, everyone, if I if I'm slow responding to the chat, it's because Charles normally helps me manage this, but uh, we had a login issue with him, and so I managed every, everything solo. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm gonna let Charles drive uh, while I'm over managing the chat. Right. So all you're seeing is my pretty face today. That's all you're seeing. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. But I'm seeing here the comments. Okay, we got. 113, 115, 12, 10, mm -hmm. 13, 12, 13, 114. See, the times are all, all over the place. But if you do a great show and people want to watch, they're coming in. I got 10 a.m., 1 p.m. So you keep it consistent. If they want you, they'll follow. 130 in Michigan, uh, 125 in Pennsylvania. So, you know, there I you gotcha. go. All awesome. right. So, did you all, so okay. So I got your. We have your stream pulled up. What do we want us to um, take? Which one you want to take a look at? So okay. Which one do you think, think would be good, Lee? Um, let's go to uh, four o three. Okay, four o three. With Edwina. Awesome. Oh, that was and a very good one. Yeah. 
one last question I forgot to ask you about 405, by the way. Did you um did you like did you tell people it was pre-recorded? How did you yeah, yeah, basically what we did is we got on and did our pre-show kind of thing that we talk about. Oh, nice. And we said we were bringing this up. And Lee had already put some banners in there that Great. said pre-recorded. And then I figured that sometimes we run the uh, bottom scroll message. Yeah. And I could over with with that being on the pre-recorded. When I did uh -huh. the current one, it overrode it with pre-recorded blah, blah, blah. So it worked pretty good. There awesome. you go. And so, so I'm going to mute your stream, by the way, just because I gotcha. want to make sure that I, I don't get flagged for uh, anything here. So it looks like, let's see. So we got that. Let me just play through a couple of things. What do you want? Is there anything specific you want me to take a look at on this? No, just give us some, uh, you know, well, we're kind of a niche market, unfortunately, because ultra okay. cycling is kind of a niche, small group of individuals. And we just okay. want to up our game, up our show correctly. Awesome. Tr uh, yeah, but I do have a question regarding the timing. Yeah, sure. What's yeah, up? Um, I, I, I halfway agree with you. The other side of it is the audience uh, for a live show. For example, we're going to have uh, a woman from India on tomorrow. Um, and we're targeting it so that uh, we think the Indian audience would most likely be live, which would be 730 in okay. the evening in India. 60% of our audience, I shouldn't say 60%, the second most, uh, largest audience we have on the show is India. Okay. And so um, that's kind of, you know, I. So here, here's a question. I'm sort of with you, and, you know, on well, the here, other side. So here's a question then. If I'm going to give you two scenarios, okay, I don't know where you're coming from, but would the, would the seven o'clock news go on at three? <laughs> with the seven o'clock news start at five they just go on and all their viewers will catch the replay remember there's other options of showing it so you do your regular show and then you can hit the replay at the time you think that they would watch that's the great thing about Streamyard. so you can do your regular show and then send them the replay to come back on at the time that you think that they're gonna watch that way you have your main core audience that follow you and then you have the audit audience that can watch it pop back up. Because remember, you're trying to keep the same flow. It's because Monday, like for okay. me, Monday night football is Monday night football. Yeah. It's been there for years. It doesn't change the time. But you have thousands of viewers from around the world that will stay up to watch the Monday night football. Because the thing is, if you keep flopping back and forth, yeah, you're going to get, now you're going to get all those viewers, but you just lost your other viewers. Well, the top side of that is that ultra cyclists are, stay up around the clock anyhow, so maybe, <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's not a big issue for a lot of us. Yeah. I, I'd say, I think that's one thing I would do. I, I do have a couple of quick, um, I got a couple of quick points for you here as well. So um, one thing, I'll, I actually have two points here. So the first one is, um, so you see how you have like show number 403, for example. If mm -hmm. you're putting this into YouTube, YouTube thinks this is a hashtag. Okay. Gotcha. And so, All right. um, one thing you want to make gotcha. sure, so you can have three hashtags in your, uh, YouTube description. Mm -hmm. And so what YouTube is going to do as you, as you include them, it doesn't matter what order they're in. If they're in the title, in the body, YouTube, point. Gotcha. YouTube is going to pick up the first three. And so if you want to get outside of this and get into other, uh, areas, you want it, every video should have at least three hashtags on YouTube. Right. And, you should probably do, I, if it were me, I would do one that was branded mm -hmm. to you, but I would also put in something that is uh, more like high level. So something like maybe cycling, for example, you're going to have to look this up. Like mm -hmm. if you go to Google, if, sorry, if you go to youtube.com slash hashtag, so it's like youtube.com, let me get the URL. It's youtube.com slash hashtag or slash, I think like, for example, like let's say it was cycling. Here, I'll, I'm going to actually switch from your stream. Uh, you know, uh, it'll look like this. So if you go to youtube.com slash hashtag slash cycling, mm -hmm. it's going to pull up this. In this case, you're going to see that there are 98,000 videos with 30,000 channels under that topic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's the, the next thing I would do. And then the other thing I would also do on your channel um, in terms of like the titles, I think these need to be more interesting. So like, it's great. Like I would take out 403. 403 doesn't mean anything to anyone. Is that the show? What is 403? Episode show number. number. How many shows we've done. Okay, so instead of just putting 403, if you put EP, if you really want to put it, 
It's a short form for episode. So right. EP, episode 403. Because at, if you put the at sign, it's gonna there, be, that, that's like yeah. social media thing, at 403. So that's your hashtag, mm-hmm. that's, your, that's your social media. It also could be misunderstood, I think, misinterpreted. People might even think like, let's say it was at 400 or at 425. People might even think that's the time potentially. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or you know what I uh, thought it was at first? I thought at 403, I thought that was the highway. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the highway you guys were on at that time when you were <laughs> Gotcha. Okay, so it was like saying at the 407, at the 401. I thought that was the the name of the the highway you guys were on. So mm-hmm. I would I would say yeah, so like I'd either focus on the person's name or uh, for example also like what's so like important about this person, for example. Are they, you know, I don't I'm just spitballing a number. Are they like 60 years old, for example, and or or you know, are they like a award winning or are they uh, you know, like, what's their, what, why should I tune into this? So, for example, you can say uh, episode 403, cycling at 60 with Edwin, Bro- you know what I mean? So, that gotcha. oh, she's cycling at 60. Who is it? There's her name. So, you're, you're giving it more catchy and information mm-hmm. out there. We'd have to put 80 for her. Oh, yes. and so well, and so that's even more cool. And yes. so, yeah. and I read through your title. It says Edwina is a two-time race across America veteran. She's the oldest British woman to comp- complete an Ironman. Mm-hmm. So, for example, I would say um, I would even pull that into the title. Yes, gotcha. Oldest British woman uh, to complete an Ironman. Uh, meet Edwina. Edwina uh, Brocklesbury or Brocklesby, uh, oldest British woman to complete an Ironman. Talks aging and fitness. Yeah, perfect. I so didn't I'm, take the number out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cuz that that tells me she's like little key things that people get people excited. She's 80? Right. She's the oldest? She's from British. Gotcha. So all your English pers- all your English followers just went, "Woohoo! <laughs> she's from <laughs> you know what I mean?" So that yeah, give them little stuff that they want to watch that they'll uh, attract them to it. Make sense? Excellent. Yeah. And, then, and then in terms of the streams, I mean, I mean I, mine, mine's freezing up for some reason. Um, Charles, I may have you share this at some point. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to click through a couple things. So it looks like it's an interview uh, style. I think a couple things I would try to do here. Um, I would try to get your logo in the top corner. So, for example, how we have the StreamYard logo up here. Yeah. I try to maybe use that a little bit. Um, let's see if there's any. You got a scrolling ticker. Um, I might even use, if I were you, I'd probably use some of the uh, the banner, the, like not the scrolling tickers, but use some of the banners or consider putting them on the top here, bring up like an overlay that goes over top of everything. Yeah. And some of our shows, we do that. I was late getting to this one and I'm kind of the yeah. producer button pusher, yeah. if you will. So <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get to prepare very well on this one. And yeah. then the other thing I also want to add. So like, so, hold so on, for hold example, on. I love these full screens. Hold on one second. You said yeah. you're, the, you're the button pusher, but do yeah. you, but do you make folders for Lee? So if you're not there, can Lee go into the folders and do it? Himself? We haven't done that yet. We're, we're, we just started making folders, et cetera. Okay. So we're, we're trying to up our game all the way around. All right. So that's just a hint for everybody. Have If you're working with somebody, pre-do the folder. So if something happens, Lee knows where to go to find those things. He just yeah. goes into the folder, pop it, and everything's already categorized for him that he could just click it until you get there. Right. And what I want to do real quick, I, I want to, can I give a quick demo real quick? Yep. Everyone? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm going to take their stream down, by the way. Um, Charles, do you have a way to comment? If not, it's not a big deal. But if you do, can we drop a link to their uh, channel so that people can go check it out if they want to? Sure. Yeah. You froze up, time. Christian. Uh, okay. I did. Okay. So here, perfect example. <laughs> perfect example, right? Christian, Christian was frozen but you still heard everything he said. Mm-hmm. So if his mic wasn't working, then that's the main part that we just lost. Right. You know what I mean? So again, there you go. It's not, a, you know, want to make sure that we can hear each other and, and go from there. All right. So before we move on, tell everybody where they can catch your channel and what day. Uh, it's the Ohio Ram show on YouTube, Facebook, uh, and Twitter. Uh, and we go live Sundays, uh, <laughs> at various times but typically between seven and eight we always put out a uh lee does a great job of putting out social media posts you know like pre-trip you know pre-announcements on when the show is to set reminders etc so just uh subscribe and 
you'll see those and you can join us and watch. And we also do a giveaway at the end of the show for people who comment. So, all right, there you go. Now, um, how do you find your guest? Well, we, uh, uh, most of our guests or say a good many of them come from people who are actually doing the race across America. For example, now we're choosing the 2022 rosters. People are starting to register now. Mm -hmm. okay. And so we are getting some of those guests. Uh, the other source is the World Alta Cycling Association, uh, people that are doing records there. And then I subscribe to news service through Google's news clipping service. I don't know how you're familiar with it. I have a number of topics, ultra cycling and so forth, and I, I get news hits okay. from around the world, which gives me clues. For example, that's how t tomorrow's guest was found. The Indian Times had a story about this woman. Okay. I was able to find her in Facebook, okay. made a contact. We're on WhatsApp together, and that's how we connected. So okay. we use those sources for guests. Okay, so here's, here's one thing I'm going to say, which I love about StreamYard, and here's just a suggestion. When, when is the cycling coming up again? Is it every, like, when do they cycle? Oh, well, the Rams every year. Yeah. Rams every year, but we have events happening all the time. World Ultra mm -hmm. Cycling so Time Trials you, is coming up in a week and so forth. Let me ask you this. Have you ever given one of the cyclists your link and stream live while they're riding? Yes. 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 Oh. Um, we have and done I've done that. live events also. Sorry, Lee, for yeah. stepping on you. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> And we have to work ahead of time because many parts of the United States, there's no coverage. Mm. So we have to, and these people are moving all the time. So we mm -hmm. have to target them at the time of day. They're going to be in Wichita, Kansas, yeah. because we know we've got cell service there, but <laughs> not all of Kansas, you know. So, so that's, that's, a, it's, that's it's a tricky thing we work with, yeah. but we have some good fun with it. And that's mm -hmm. the part. That's the part I want everybody to realize that yes, with Streamyard, it's mobile. You have a cell phone. You know, right. you, they can hook it up with their bikes, and you get the interaction. And yes, it might chip out here and there, but guess what? You feel like you're on the road with them. You can talk to them for real quick. <laughs> that is real live streaming. So thanks, guys. Yeah. I re I really appreciate it. Yeah. So if you guys want to watch their stream, and if you're interested in cycling. Make sure you, you jump on and get some more information yeah, from Yeah, we you. just uh, did a show from the uh, heights of the Himalayan mountains for the great mm -hmm. Himalayan ultra event. And there's only a couple places up there they could get a signal. There you go. Okay. I got to say, one last tip I want to give you real quick is when you're going to book your guest. So I don't know if you're like, you know, so it's like awesome that you find them, for example, and you think about like, oh, the global aspect of booking a guest. Um, I'm sure like it's, it might, it's not like an immediate, like, Hey, I talked to my guests and then now all of a sudden I'm going to get them booked. Um, so instead of doing all that, like back, potential back and forth with them or WhatsApp, things like that, uh, I would recommend using a tool like Harmonizely or Calendly, um, to set up a universal calendar for your show. And it's where you, you give them the time. There may be questions that you include as well. And so for example, as they're booking to come on, there's no back and forth of email or WhatsApp. It's, you know, back and forth to like get them interested. When they say they're interested, you shoot them the calendar invite and then they go through your booking process. And then this way it's like just very, very, very simple and things like that. So, um, so that way it's an easier process to go through. Right. Excellent. Uh, all right, guys. Appreciate awesome. it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. We appreciate you guys. Great show. Thanks. Anytime. Thank you so much. Hey, Charles, I got, uh, I've got, I've got video back, which is awesome. There you go. There you um, go. Let me see. So let me see if there's any comments here real quick. And then we're going to, uh, bring on, I think we've got Patty next to come on screen. So Patty, do us a favor in the chat. Can you, in the private chat, can you put in there what your question is so that we can just get an idea of what that's going to be? Um, let's see. All right, so we had a lot of comments coming in uh, about you know we're some people are still talking about sound like when you when you froze they could still hear you and they're like oh we get it now <laughs> so yeah sound is key all right um, having uh, the guys nice to uh, go on location yes so when you're on location remember you got multiple ways of bringing in the, the videos 
cell phones, webcam, laptops. If you have internet and you have a camera, you can use StreamYard on any location. So remember, that's another way of bringing different views and locations into your stream. Uh, so let me um, let me pull up the. Let me just check if there's any other questions here. So, and if you can give me a timestamp on the questions, that'd be ideal. Yeah, um, no, some of them are just saying hi from Trinidad. We got people coming in from wow. Trinidad. So thank you for joining us. Make sure you send some sun over. <laughs> And a, and a mango too, for me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, by the way, Zora, um, Zora's here. Do us a favor. If you want to come on screen, let's talk about this. Uh, you've got somebody using uh, an iPad, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. Feel free to join us and we want to chat with you and um, see how we can help on that. There you uh, go. Jay Vlog as well. Great scene. Okay, awesome. So let's bring on Patty. So um, Patty just sent me her link. Let me pull this up real quick so we can take a look all right patty let's go okay, so patty's uh stream is patty lang sacred mementos she's got about 1500 subscribers very nice charles go can you bring her in i think right no i can't even, i can't it's not even let me bring comments or bring them in okay awesome well then i'll i'll handle all that not a big deal actually <laughs> i'm trying buddy i'm trying it's okay <laughs> So Patty, how you doing? It's so good to see I'm you. Thanks good. for joining us for live stream reviews. Nice. Um, I'm good. Thanks. Nervous. Fantastic. Wait, what are you nervous about? I was about to ask the same thing. Patty, what you nervous? We're Is friends. Is it about We're like family. being on, on screen with us? Like <laughs> No, it's not the I do lives, but I'm okay. not I'm new to the face to face part of it. Okay. Oh, uh, because I'm looking here. You got a camera's facing your hands. Yeah. And Progress. I'm usually down in the little corner, like yes. for during the meet and greet and then we i'm a sales channel so it's like i interact in that manner so it's like okay. i'm not usually looking for like a huge subscriber count or anything like that it's a very like online personal shopping sort of situation okay okay uh, but uh, you know what it is what are you using to show uh, well i'll wait till christian pull uh, actually i can share it can't i let me give christian a break here let me see if I can do it for him. Okay. Okay, so Charles has this pulled up. Fantastic. So Charles has your channel pulled up. Do us a favor. Click on the logo, Charles, and let's start on the homepage. So, okay, so what's your stream about? Let's start there. Um, so you, you said me? you're into, like, uh, sales, right? So what, yes, what's, your, like, what's your stream about? Um, so I cater to um, antique, vintage, books, paper, okay. some textile collectors. Okay. And what, so then, okay, so you, so that's what your area of expertise is. Right. What is your stream about though? Selling. So like, so, so you're selling. So, okay. So walk me through what you do. Like, what's the stream like? So if I join, um, I, I have an idea of who you're trying to target, but like, what's the, like, so, okay. So what do you, what do you talk about on the stream? Um, well, it's kind of like a, du a dual niche situation. Okay. So you've got the collectors and then there's also like the artistic junk journaler creatives that make their own journals. So they repurpose okay. Okay. all these same items. Do you know what I mean? So it's kind of like a dual. So we, there's, a, when you first come in, there's 30 minutes, well, 20 minutes of just chit chat waiting for everybody to come in because I'm on twice a week. Okay. So um, a lot of them are longtime shoppers. So they have all formed like friendships and stuff. So there's that meet and greet section. And then we just move into the sales where I will go get an item or I've had them already pulled and okay. we either shop them or they pass them and we go to the next item. Awesome. Okay. So Charles, do you get that? Did you get that? Yep. You can share my screen and then I uh, think I got it right there. Is that, this is you? That's me. There you go. Okay. So I was actually, so while well, you guys were talking, I was actually watching a couple of the videos that you're, you're using and you, okay. you use a couple of different techniques in there. So one of the, one of the shows that I was watching, you use, um, your guests, but you use it in, um, um, what's the, what's the mode with, um, off camera. Right. She you, actually, yeah, she moderates for me. Okay. Okay. So just, so. Just, to, just to let you guys know too, sometimes if you're scared to show your face, you can actually take yourself and, and change the camera view. So you don't have to show your face. You can put a little 
a little gift on there, a little screen share. So it's only voice only. So that's another option that you can do if you're kind of, you're kind to, um, you know, getting used to your camera and stuff, you can do it as well. Are, are you, do you know how to use that, Patty? Yes. And I have actually two cameras. So I've got this yeah, one here that overhead, I'm on right? with. Yeah, yeah. And then I've got the above one that is usually for the sales portion. Okay. Right. Cool. So right now you guys can see that I'm my camera's off, but yeah. then you can see the little thing around me moving every time I talk. So that's one yeah. way. If you don't feel comfortable showing your face, you can definitely just do it this way. Remember, again, voice is key. So as long as you can hear my voice properly, then there you go. All right. Okay, All right. So so I know we're not gonna like well so we have a separate YouTube channel show. So what we're taking a look is the live stream side. Um I got to say, I mean, I'm impressed with the numbers. You've got 300, 400, 500 people watching a stream, which I think is really good. Yes. Yes. Um, so, Charles, which one do you want to pu pull one up maybe? Like, and we can kind of dissect one. And, and I got to say, here's the other thing. I thought I thought we went long on our live streams. She's got a two-hour live stream, but most of them are like three hours, two hours, yeah, uh, three on. hours, four hours, five what about, hours. What about this one right now? I want to make sure it's muted. So give me one second. Let me pull that this was, uh, okay. yeah. And that this was a one here. Well. Yeah. That was, it, it says eight hours and change. Yeah. Eight. Hold on. What, what's the title <laughs> of this one? Hold on. I got to pull this one up. <laughs> it says eight hours, 20 minutes and 30 seconds. Is that correct? Yes. <laughs> you went eight hours straight. Yes. See? But everybody on there, it was like, a, you know, like when you go okay. to, we were trying to recreate like that whole vintage market where you can go and there's all different vendors. Yes. So everybody was selling. Nice. Each individual okay. vendor. Okay. Yeah. Each individual person was there as a vendor. Got you. See, I like that. I've, I've done, I've done four eight hour streams and it's, trust me, it, it takes a lot of you, but when it's you, a lot. it's a lot. Yeah. I've done four of them. It was a telethon I did and you are doing it this way. This is, this is real good. I like it. So you're, each person is shell, uh, is showing what they sell and it's live interactive. This is real good. Yeah, this and you is had, very good, yeah. you had 1,196 views on this. So who came up with this style and idea? What, what made you think of this, this idea? Because I used to travel well, pre COVID and everything I used okay. to travel and set up at all these vintage markets. And then right. before COVID even just different things changed here at home and I needed to come off the road. So it just kind of like it just happened it just it was just a crazy happy accident yeah and here's here's the thing that everybody's watching right now what i love about it is try new things try something different it doesn't have to be you know one-on-one -on -one. and if you're watching everybody's doing their own thing it's not structured it's just freestyle and that's making me watch it even more because now i'm looking at uh maggie then i'm looking at jody then i'm looking over in the corner at penny then i'm back over at maggie you know what i mean my eyes are going to keep me interested into the stream so and then you can see all the comments that people were just into the stream commenting so that looks real good thanks Thank so you. here's so here's a question what is your what is your question for us so like in the backyard of StreamYard or in the background or whatever, there's like the overlays and like all the features. It's like, I feel like I'm always running to catch up and try to, because I'm not the techie girl and I resist it. It's like, I know how to click the go live. I can do that. But it's like, how do I utilize all the other things? So I, I will say this, the first thing I would say, and I meant to tell, um, tell our previous guests about this, keep it simple. Yeah. Okay. So like you, even though, for example, like, even though they're like, even though I'm going to switch between these, even though I can switch between this view and 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 this view, like, and I can switch between all this, I don't need to switch between all of those. Right. So that's the first thing. The first thing is like, what's the flow of the show? Like, for example, if you got a lot of people coming on, I would probably use this view, for example, because then you end up with all the individual views of things. You know, uh, things that you may need to know about, for example, audio avatars. That's where like I can stop my camera. If I have a, a weak internet connection, I can stop my camera, which is great, except for the fact that like most people aren't necessarily going to need this. So like maybe you set up once and you, you know, so that feature you may not need. Okay. You can bring in as many overlays and things like that as possible. 
but there's also like we mentioned the sandwich the the stream yard sandwich aspect which is the background for example so if you're in this view right here with just three of us the background makes sense but if we had you know leo i'm going to pop you in real quick if i had leo yeah. and i had yeah. mel like and had all these other people on for example the background's sort of important right but then the more people you get on the the less important the background becomes Does that make sense yes all right so, so here's Here's Mel and the, Leo, I'm going to take you all off. I'll bring you right back. <laughs> we'll bring you right back in, guys. Here's the, the main thing. Do I need it? Yes, it's there, but do I need it is the okay. question. Okay. Yes. You, it, we, we, we give you everything, but it's up to you to choose what you need is best for your stream. You don't okay. have to use everything. Just because they have this overlay and that overlay is like, oh, I got to use it somewhere. No, you don't. But you, there's and, options there to use it. And, and that's... Okay. Yeah. Well, that and the same thing sense. about your overhead camera as well, by the way. So you've got an overhead camera and you've got an, uh, you know, a forward looking camera, front facing camera. There's also, for example, you can take that guest link and you can send it to your mobile device. Yep. And that can become your, that could become your overhead camera, by the way, you do need to plug in headphones and mute the mic. Um, if you have two cameras open, but for example, that's another way to do multi-cam, but depending on what your show is and what the focus is, it's not necessarily needed. In your case, if you've already got the equipment and the fo obviously the focus on yours is selling. So it's, you're on screen, but it's mainly showing the product, right? So in that case, that works a lot, that works. In Charles and I, like in, in our case, like we don't necessarily need another camera angle. I don't think so. I mean, like, so you don't wanna complicate the screen. And then the other thing is that if it's just, for example, are you, you're the only one managing this, right? Yes. So that's the other, th and you know, um, I, I'm not meaning to knock anyone's abilities. So like, if it's just about being honest with yourself, like if you're not a technical person, <laughs> don't touch it, leave it alone. <laughs> it's a standing joke with the regular audience. They, they, they'll they yell at me, don't touch the buttons because I always turn something off that I shouldn't always. So here's a question I would ask. Do you have the ability, do you have somebody else that can do, that can run your show? If I knew how to give them access, yeah. So the giving them access part's easy. Um, it really comes out, make, the first thing is make sure you trust the person. Yes. Right? So basically um, the way that it works. So for example, if I wanted to have Charles, and, and this is the current way it works. If I want to have Charles host the show with me, I would send him the, he would go to StreamYard. He would log out of his account. He would, and even if, if he doesn't have an account, then he doesn't have anything to log into, but he would go to StreamYard. He would put in my email address to my account. Okay. That would bring him into the live stream. Uh, sorry. He'd go, he put his email address in. He gets a code, a six digit code. Mm -hmm. It gets sent to you. And then you give him the code and that brings him in as he could be a producer at that point. Interesting. Sense? I wondered how that worked. That's awesome. And like yeah. I said, that's the current way we have a StreamYard Teams feature where you can assign permissions and roles and things like that and let somebody just be a co-host. We haven't yet released that uh, for the pro and basic accounts yet, but it's on the way. Yeah, it's coming soon. But for now, that's the easy way of doing it. Just like how you would log in. You put your email in and they give you that number. Just share that number with the person you trust and they put the number in. Now you're both have the access. Nice. And I think I have the pro account. I know it's not the basic one. I think I, it's the pro. I think awesome. I chose the middle one. There okay. You go. Yeah. Fantastic. There yeah. You and go. So that would get them access. Now, the reason I said you, you know, want to make sure it's somebody you trust, because then, uh, for example, like, let's say, um, so Char let's say I gave Charles access and let's say like, let's say Charles and I had a falling out, for example, and Charles still had access to my account. He would still be able to log in and do that, that sort of thing. So you just want to make sure like he'd be able to go live on the channel, all that sort of stuff. So it's just making sure that you trust the individual. Right. Okay. But then now what that would do is that's where, so then let's, let's, uh, I want to, I'd love to give you like an Apple. I want to talk about Apple real quick. So <laughs> Apple and, and I'll say this. So Apple was started by Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, but guess what? Steve Jobs was not the programmer. He was not the technical guy. He was the marketing guy. So he knew how to market the business and then he worked with Steve Wozniak who did the programming and the building and things like that. And so putting that in perspective of your live stream, you're, you're the face, for example, you're the people that you're the one that people come to see. Right. Try and have, you know, try it out. Like try a show, try a month, for example, or even a couple episodes where you have somebody 
else do the production for you and you walk them through what you want to see, how to do it, things like that. And then you are the face of that. And that's a lot less you have to think about. That's actually awesome. I like that. Thank you. Anytime. Uh, Charles, did you have anything else you want to add? No, I think hers is great. But a uh, quick question. What are you using as your second camera to, to sh go down on your hands? This is, I have the same ones that you guys were talking about. I have the C922 is the face forward one. And then the Brio is the upper one. There you go, guys. See, you know, and her stuff looks great. I'm looking at it right now and it, it's clear. It's right on point and you can see everything. So, you know, and I usually have more lights on. Yeah. But, okay. Yeah. Um, one other thing I would add, by the way, about the Logitech cameras. Uh -huh. So Logitech has a free Logi capture app. Yep, and I so, have it. So you got that. Awesome. Um, the other thing with the Brio specifically, update the firmware. Oh, okay. So the, and the reason I say this is because like, like I have one of those and I was like, oh, it's great. Like, and then all of a sudden it wasn't working so well. And it was a firmware update that I had to do. And I, I did the firmware update and it made it like super crystal clear. Okay. So keep that in mind. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Thanks, awesome. Pat. Cool. I'm going to watch guys. Awesome. before you go, tell us where we can watch your channel and the date and time. Um, what I have right there in the screen is my channel name. Um, and every Monday and Thursday night, 7 30 PM Eastern time. There you go. All right. Cool. I'll be watching, learn some fabric here. I see how some stuff is done. <laughs> <laughs> so Thanks, I, I want to just mention one other thing. If you're not part of our free Facebook group, uh, we have a free Facebook group, a Facebook okay. community. Um, I just dropped it in the chat, but feel free to like join that as well. And, you know, you can ask questions, you can share screenshots of your streams, things like that. And we have 20 something thousand plus people in there that, uh, Julie Riley, uh, myself, you'll see us active in there. So, okay, nice. Thank you. Awesome. All Very right. Cool. Thanks guys. Anytime. Thank you so much. Thank yep. you. Bye. Bye, Bye Patty. Very cool. I got to say, I, I I love when you all come on screen with us because I like seeing your streams. I like hearing what you're doing. I like seeing what you're doing and and helping you all out. So I like I like how she just simple, you know, two webcams, simple. She yeah. had it. She opened it wide. Great lighting. And then boom, everybody, you see everything she's doing hands on. Love it. And then like she said, she's just a voice because if you watch her stream, she's never she's on in the beginning and then that's it. It's all her voice you hear. And then she's doing everything step by step by step. So real good. Awesome. Um, so let me do this. Let me review a couple of comments here and then let's bring on our next guest. And I think it's Mel actually, because Leo, Leo was here and Leo's, we got to get the timing with Leo down. Leo's here backstage. Uh, he just stepped away from his chair. And so Mel, do me a favor, put your, what your question is in the background. Let me know, and then we're going to bring you in. And then Mel, I promise I'm going to, or Mel, Leo, I'm going to bring you in after that, once you're <laughs> back in your chair. Um, I do want to answer, uh, let's see. Um, actually, I got a couple of questions. First off is creatively saying, how does Patty have a black border around her video? Uh, was that on her live streams, uh, Charles, or was that on her video when she was on screen? No, she was on, when she came on screen, I believe it's the system. Like when we bring the next person on, I was going to see if it does the same thing, and then we can answer that question. Okay. Chances are the other thing also could be she just could have the black background on as well when she comes on screen. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll try to take a look at that. Um, I want to answer uh, two quick questions. Don's question says, hey, I wish streamer would do videos explaining how to do it. I wish uh, you had live agents. We actually have 24 seven live yes. chat support actually. Yes, let's touch on that because someone asked me the same question. I'm like, did you go in and, and, and ask questions? They're like, no, I'm like, they're there. You know, yeah. after, here's the thing. You know, after every show, it says thumbs up, thumbs down. If you guys pick one, people come right to you. I had a problem. I hit, I typed it in. Something went wrong. And then instantly, I got an email saying, hey, what happened? How can we help yeah. you? What was wrong? They're there. That's so, uh, and this will actually answer two questions. The first one is Don's question. And then the second one is, there's another person asking about, like, buying StreamYard um, without, like, I think a... Uh, debit card and so uh don we do have live chat support all you have to do is go to streamyard.com slash contact yep and then on this page just click on help you're going to see what's going to happen so what a lot of people do is they'll either go here and they'll say tell us about it or they'll go down here and they'll send me a message to write for the blog um if you click 
there's also an email by the way, but if you click help, um, help is going to pop up this box where you can either search our knowledge base or you can click live chat, for example, and then you can uh, go into our live chat. So as you can see, so there's so your many name, you can social sign in and whatnot. Yeah. So and, I hope that answers your question. And don't forget when you guys log in, if you look on the bottom, it says right now, it says having issues. You can click on it. Even when you're live, if you look at the bottom of your screen, when you go live and your guests go live, I have on mine, mute, share screen, camera, share, leave studio. And right beside that, it says having issues. If I click it, it will go over to somebody to help me out. Fantastic. So, so that's how to do that. Um, the other question that I also saw, so we, people were asking how to do that border. Um, we actually did get a response from Patty. Patty says, uh, let me find her comment. So Patty was saying um, that she's using the Logi Capture app. There's an effect. Charles, I'm going to drop this in the private chat. If you can just comment with this, that would be awesome, actually. Um, grab that and put it in the comments. It doesn't matter. However you want to do that. Okay. Um, so Charles is going to drop the link to that. Uh, that would actually give you access to the Logi Capture app, which is specifically to Logitech webcams. It's a separate application that you run. And then it allows you to actually do like other things in the application. And then you bring the camera into StreamYard, for example. All right. Putting that in right there. So it'll be in. Awesome. Um, let me see something else real quick. I'm going to play around with my camera for a second here. Awesome. So while we're doing this, I'm going to show you something else kind of cool. Um, what other questions do we have, Charles? All right. So I'm just I'm just putting this thing in the chat right now. Okay. It says, uh, Adam, great to see you, Adam. Make sure you check out Adam's... Um... <laughs> What do I got going on, Charles? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't even look up, and I saw it. I'm so. <laughs> I was reading the comments, and I looked up, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> so, so here's the thing. Uh, we were talking about this a second ago, and this is literally here. Let me, let me switch to. Let's try this one. Okay. Oh, so this, there you this go. This is basically. So, so we were talking about like using different effects and bringing them into Streamyard. <laughs> this, for example, I'm using the Snap Camera app. And so basically what I've done here is in Snapchat, uh, it's a snap uh, camera, actually. You download it, you make your uh, adjustments in the app, and then the camera that is selected inside of StreamYard under Cam Mike, that's where you can actually go and adjust these. Oh, that just killed me. I'm sorry, Christian. <laughs> Charles, I gotta, I, I'll do one more real quick, and then I'm going to go off. I'm going to turn this one off. Uh, no, no. no. <laughs> this one's actually pretty good. Hold on. Uh, here, you know what? Let me try this. Let's try this one. Oh, not so oh. good. <laughs> that was not so good. I don't know. I don't like that one as much. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, no. Hold on, hold on. Stay where you are. Hold on. No, no, yeah. Everybody, whose whose head looks better? Put it in the comments. I want to know. Is <laughs> who's got the better rounder? Put it in the comments, and everybody better say me. That's all I'm telling you right now. Put it in the comments. Who's got the bet? Like, turn to you. There you go. You got to show. You got to show it, Christian. There you go. <laughs> what do we got here? Let's see. Okay, so. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Charles, I'm missing some comments here. So, I, so that's so. For example, this is how you can enhance some of your live streams. This is literally just a filter from Snapchat that I'm. All right, we got we got cool effects. Christian, laugh out loud, the happy faces, and then Adam, thank you. Says me, Charles. Charles, thank you, Charles. Okay, Chris, one person says, "You think Christian's head looks better than mine like this? Come on, profit with purpose." <laughs> So that's how, that's actually how easy that is to do. Um, but again, that's the like the logic logic capture has a similar thing, not like where it you know removes your hair, things like that. But it it has more like filters and things like that you can apply, and then bring those into your live stream. So basically, you do it in the logic capture app inside of Streamyard on your cam mic. You switch the camera from your webcam or your DSLR or whatever to the logic capture one. Yeah, no, that's good. <laughs> Also, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna, Eileen. I'm gonna have to look up. I'm. I'm gonna have to look up who Daniel J. Lewis is. I'm sorry. Um, Hold on. I, I gotta look. I gotta look that up now, right now, myself, because this is killing me. We're gonna have to do a screen share on this one. Let's see. I'm, I don't know. You figure out who, who that is. Okay. Hold on. I'm putting. I'm. I'm. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. I see it. 
I, I, yeah, I see it a little bit. I could see it. <laughs> awesome. So here's what we're going to do. Okay. So, uh, so I want to show you all that, but what I want to do is I want to get back to looking at some live streams. All right. Let's bring so, our next, let's bring our next guy. Cause we're having too much fun here with all the, everybody's loving the special effects. The so effects are cool. Uh, please give us the link to the, to the effects. Um, uh, Hey sure. guys. As, yeah. No worries. Let's, let's do it. Let's <laughs> but Charles, do me a favor. Or, you know, you can't, can you not do this? I don't think you can. Right. So this is the app that I was using. If you put it in the in the private, I can put it out there for you, Christian. <laughs> I got it. I got it. So it's uh, it's called oh. Snap Camera. Um, again, you want to make sure though that you're using effects that are like again not distracting. So for example, those are some like common ones, but you will see that there are some that like can be very distracting if you apply the wrong one, mm -hmm. or depending on what your live stream is about. So um, okay, so let's do this. Let's bring on Mel. Mel, Mel's got a question. Mel says, how does he make his live streams better with his remote co-host? He's got a sports show. So Mel, do me a favor before we bring on, drop a link to your, um, your YouTube channel so that, uh, or one of your live streams. So Charles can check, uh, can bring it up. Yep. All right, there it is. It's coming. It's coming. Put it in there. Okay. So let's put that into the, and we're going to take a look at the live stream. We're going to mute the video. Um, very good. This is good so far. By the way, if you guys, if you all like this, do us a favor, just hit that like button on this video on StreamYard. Um, and also just tell us, you know what? Hey, if you like certain things uh, that we're doing, we want to hear that. So, all right. So let us know I, as well. I got it okay. here. Awesome. So, I'm going to bring up Mel. Mel, how you doing? Mel. What's going on, Christian? Charles, how y'all doing? <laughs> Mel, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. See, <laughs> right away. I see you got the pod mic like me. Yeah. Yeah. How do you like in that pod mic? Uh, I love it. Uh, Sounds really think, good. Yeah. I appreciate it. I think I had a, um, uh, what did I have before? I can't remember what I had before, but it, I thought it was good until I got this. And then, you know, this was a whole lot better. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and then I can hear an accent. So where are you coming in from? Uh, North Carolina. There you go. Yeah, there yeah. you go. So do you, do you do you guys always claim Michael? Is that how it is? You just automatically claim him one of yours? Is that how you guys do it every time? I mean, I mean he was born. In, I mean, born in New York, but of course, you know, raised in North Carolina. So of course we claim him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got to. And we're there talking about go. MJ. Yes. Yeah. There you yeah. go. So, you know, you got you got I love the background. You got some uh, some mm -hmm. jerseys there. Those are your actual jerseys you played. No, no, those are uh actually the Crenshaw one is from the the movie Love and Basketball. That's not a real player. That's the Quincy McCall jersey. Okay. Remember that movie? And you got yeah. you got game on the other side. Yeah, the Jesus Shuttlesworth is yep. the he yep. got game. Yep. Mm -hmm. There you, you got go. Carolina Panthers in the background as well. I see. Yeah, the little light yep. switch yep. there. Yep, some swag there too. Right? All right, we're looking good so far. Okay, right. appreciate that. I like that. Do you have Do you have any Do you Do you put any lights in the background for your for your stuff? Um, I, I, I played with it a little bit, uh, but I think the lights that I had was, a uh, a little cheap. So they stopped working after a while. So, um, <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm, see, I'm still trying to figure all of that out. Uh, I see how Christian got his and it's, and it's, and it's real good. I admire how he does that. And, and, you know, I got to figure out a way to get mine looking good, but everything you see is temporary because I'm, I'm moving soon and. I'm, I'm going to try to do something a little better. There you go. See, and that's all it is. is one step at a time. Gradually, yeah. you keep moving. So I love it. So Charles, right. what, what, um, well, I guess, well, what's the question, I guess. So what, what do we need to help you with Mel? Oh, um, so I got remote. Or what uh, can we, I got, we got, we got about uh, five guys that go uh, live every Tuesday. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And we all okay. remote. Some of us is in Cali. Some of us in Louisiana, some of us in North Carolina. Right. And, yeah, right. um, um, I, I, I just want some advice on how I can kind of marry having remote guests with, you know, making the live stream look, you know, look good. And if you just look at my stuff and just just tear me apart and tell me what you don't like about it, what you do like about it. And, I you know, I think, you know, I, I, I can roll with the punches and get better. All right. Well, I got it up, Christian. So you want to share? Yeah, definitely. So and and, it, and should we just take a look at like, is there a specific video you want us to take a look at? or? Uh, the, the last one, I, uh, episode 127, if you can okay, see. Okay, so we got 288 subscribers. Okay, I see that. Okay, let's see. So I'm not going to review the actual uh, YouTube channel itself. We're going right. to, we have, we do have a YouTube channel review show, by the way, that we do every, I think it's every second Saturday. 
Okay. So if you if you have YouTube channel specific things, I would definitely go and check and sign up for that with Daniel and D. Got they it. do really, really, they do a fantastic job. I mean, it's it's so worth it. Like just tuning in, it's also fun. Got it. Not to say this isn't fun, but there's this. It's actually a game show. It's pretty cool. So, um, okay. So the last one you did. So you got 32 views. Okay, great. Um, that was triple the other ones. Yeah, yeah. I'm we 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 started out audio first. Uh, okay. I didn't have a YouTube uh, page at first, uh, so we're still trying to get traction on YouTube. Okay. So quick, quick question for you. All these up here is like 10 minutes, three minutes, two minutes. What are those? Uh, broken up segments from each episode. Okay. So I think, I think the ones you, you're seeing in the short clips are pretty much from the same episode, just segments we did from the episode. I think the actual episode is uh, past live stream uh, episode 127, uh, where we uh, did the week three recap um, for the NFL. That, that is um, all those segments in one show okay so here's a question these are like little snippets that you put in correct like you you cut you cut up your show and put it in correct all right so here's a question why did you put it back on the youtube channel hmm because the the after the, the actual show is ready here right so my suggestion is that these little teaser clips right should be on some other platform to draw you to come watch the whole thing back on your youtube channel okay because you're actually teasing me to be on somewhere I'm already here. Okay. You understand what I mean? So I understand 100%. Yep. So this two-minute one could be on could be on uh, Instagram. Yeah. It's okay. a little quick teaser on how the show won, and then it just cuts, and you're like, oh, what happened? What did he say? Those guys are great. And then you have a link back to your YouTube channel where they can watch all of your shows. Got it. Okay. Okay. So that's, that's one thing. If I'm going to see if I can put this one up. By the way, while Charles is doing that, um, you know, kind of playing off that like video clips piece. So, for example, if these are like if this is a two hour stream you're doing, or hour and a half, two hours, um, you would want to take those snippets and put them out. That would be designed for your social media channel. So, like, I'll, I'll give you an example. I do a I have a podcast, and so the way I do my podcast is I stream the video episode of that out to the YouTube channel. And then what I do with the audio is afterwards, I download the audio and then I push the audio to like uh, to Apple or uh, Amazon or Google, whatever platforms I'm pushing the podcast out to. Right. And then what you would then want to do with the long video is create snippets and put those on social media to drive back to the longer episodes. Okay. So just, so you just use the two to five minute, uh, clips and have yep. the link to the actual four episode to the youtube channel yeah so right. they can so i can you just go fishing pretty much right so so basically like you're um so for example um here's like you know you said in this one example you've got one it says like pat mahomes is costing his team wins for example um pull out a good snippet of that video mm -hmm. send out a tweet uh maybe you know send out a tweet or like you know hashtags on some of your other channels and then um, so do that. And then what I would do also with that is, um, create snippets with like a hash, like a branded hashtag or things like that, that you can okay. include. And then maybe even do something that is like, you know, for example, it's Kansas city, uh, chiefs, Kansas city related, for example. All right. So here's one question for you. I see that you put numbers up because that is like a live call-in show. You guys do a live call-in show. Yes, sir. Okay, so here here's the one thing I was going to ask. You see how the number is, is cutting off your, your guy right here? Yes. So you can shrink the views. Like you have them all open box. Okay. So what I would suggest is when you're going to showcase stuff like this, is change the view so it's not full screen, but you can still see everybody okay. um, on the side. So I think Christian can show you that with us pretty soon. But you see how most of the numbers just cutting him off. Yeah. So change the view on how people see your guest and on the rest of your co-host. Yes, sir. Got it. Okay. So that way that he's part of the team and he's not just a floating head. Like, see right now, if I pause it right now, you can't see anything because the comments came up and took them all off. Right. So, but, so we, there's, yeah, Charles on that. Um, so like one thing, one thing uh, Mel, I want to have you do is if you go under cam mic on mm -hmm. your streamer dashboard. Right. 
and go under general, there's an option. So when you're in that view with the four of you up, there's an option under there under general that says shift videos up for comments and banners. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. So, so you see how we're in this view right now. I'm going to bring up a comment actually. So we're going to bring this one up. It says, thank you. See how we're doing that right here. That doesn't necessarily work with this view, but if I have like us like this and I bring this up, you see how it, it pulls back. Got it. Yes. That's partly what I do. And then the other thing also, Charles, let me bring your video back in. The other yeah. thing I'd also look at is, um, positioning people on camera. So for example, you know, that I think, you know, you know that you can drag to reorder people, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So like that might be something to like figure out who tends to have the, um, what's what I'm looking for, Charles, uh, who tends to have the right, like, for example, if somebody's able to position themselves like this versus somebody has their laptop angled upwards, for example, the guy in the bottom left corner, then you yep. may want to move him to a different position. Right. So okay. I, what I would do is, uh, Kansas city guy, I would switch him with the Georgia guy. Got it. Because Kansas City guy's higher up. Georgia guy, he's sitting lower in his couch. So I would switch them to that way because you would still see Kansas City guy's head because it's over the line. Okay. Yes, you sir. You see what I'm saying? Uh, 100%. Yep. Yeah. Now, is this the guy that with the numbers on? Is he a regular co host? Um, yeah, he is. Yeah. And, and, and he doesn't have, a, I mean, so most of us are military. So, um, he, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm about to retire and he's about to retire as well. So he okay. don't, he don't have all this stuff with him. Uh, so he, that's, I, you probably about to ask about why he don't have a mic, but, um, well, no, it's not about the mic. I like, I like that if he's that way, it's fine, but you see how everybody has like some type of swag in the background or something. Yeah. So even if he put like a shirt on or something hang over the door or something just to match. Right. So whatever you guys, because when I look at all three of you guys, I'm like, yeah, sports, 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 sports. And that's why I asked you, is he a regular? Or maybe I thought he was a guest that you just pulled in. No, nah, no, nah, he actually really, he's a regular. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, you see what I'm saying, right? Uh, yeah, I, I get it. I get it. Yeah, we try, we're trying to get him up to speed. We actually got a a, a sponsor who gives us all these jerseys and all this, all oh, this nice. stuff you see in the background. Oh. We get that for free. And he and he's a Cowboys fan. We I I've given all this Cowboys stuff to him, but he just doesn't use it. <laughs> so, so here here's the thing. It's always we're always talking about leveling up live streams. Yeah. So like that would be, for example, that's one thing that I would do every, so like getting everyone kind of like encouraging all of your co-hosts, for example, to level up their streams. All right. So for right. example, bringing them on stream on screen like this, for example, like making sure everybody looks a certain way on camera. A um, couple other really good points, by the way. Um, and, and this is actually a good one from BGG beard reviews. He's saying, you know, and I'm going to go back to this. He's saying, put the number on the scrolling ticker. Yeah. So for example, instead of bringing it up as a banner, like here, let me show you what that looks like. Um, so for example, let's just say it was this. This was the phone number. You can do the scrolling ticker along the bottom. Right. And that gives you a little more room to work with. Right. You, you want to know what's funny? What? What's up? So I used to use the scrolling ticker for the number. Mm -hmm. In the comment section, when it was time to call in, I would still say, I would still see comments of, uh, "Hey, where's the number?" And I'm like, "It's right, it's right there, scrolling on the bottom." Right <laughs> but, <side."> but, but <laughs> here's, here's a funny thing, though. That's what you need to do. Because remember, when you're in radio and in and in, in you're doing a um 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 a call center and all that stuff, they're constantly telling everybody where to look. Okay. So if it's scrolling, you're like, "Hey, which team is your team? Football, basketball? Tell me what your team here. The number's right here." Okay. Show yep. them. There's the number scrolling on the bottom. I want to hear you call in callers right now. Listen, my boy, he's a, you know, he's a Dallas fan. I'm not a Dallas fan. I'm an Atlanta fan. So if you're a Dallas fan right here, call this number, right? Like you're directing everybody. Got Tell it. them where to go, where to look. And then I got a couple other things for you about this. So another one, so you've got, you're using the background, but you like it, the sandwich is kind of not put together right. Okay. So for example, you've got a banner over top and then it looks like, and correct me if I'm wrong on this, but it looks like you've got a background that's got something podcast on it. There's some sort of logo and I think it's your actual logo behind it. Right. And then you've got Apple Podcasts and uh, I think that's what Google and Spotify, that's all in the background. So the thing you got to remember is no one's ever going to see that. Okay. So 
So what you could do with something like that is either go with like a solid color or something with like a, a some sort of pattern behind it. Um, but it depends on like what view. So for example, if we're in this view, if I had a logo in the middle, you wouldn't see it. Right. And so um, going back to your like your stream here, I would recommend changing the background to a solid color of sorts. Solid. Okay. Put your logo in the logo section, kind of like we have the StreamYard branding right here. Mm-hmm. So for example, put your logo in this corner. Got it. Right? Because then people can see that. That would then also help your guy in the top left. He's got the logo in the background and some other logo. Like he could end up um, at this point, he could either, you could have a separate place to do an advertisement. For example, if that first one is the one on the right is like, a, you know, an advertisement or a sponsor. Like you could do something like that. Does this make sense? Yes. Uh, yeah, I get it. And then what I would do is I would put an overlay up that goes over top of what you're doing. Okay. Make sense? Like, so oh, then yeah, you keep it. the view somewhat consistent. Like, it doesn't have to be super complicated. Like, it could be, you know, it could very well be this, for example. Right. If that works. Here's the one thing everybody forgets, okay? You don't have to brand you and everything so much because we have the overlays. So if you want to tell everybody that you're on Apple Podcasts and all that stuff, Put it in one of the overlays and just push the button. Put it in your show. Hey, guys, don't forget the uh, after show. If you want to listen to us live, you're, we're also on. And then push the overlay, and then those logos will pop on screen. Okay. And then take them back off. So remember, with, with, with StreamYard, you can put overlays in your show. There's so many things you can do. So you don't have to have it constantly in your stream looking there live. Makes sense. All right. So remember, you're directing everybody. Hey, guys, did you like the show? Make sure to catch the replay. And if you can't watch us, remember, you can listen to us on Thursdays on Apple Podcasts and you push the button and there's the logo. Apple Podcasts, stream, like, you know what I mean? Yep. And then Got it's it. off again. But yeah, it looks besides that you have fun with it. I can tell you have uh, you have fun with your guys and you enjoy what you're doing. Yeah, we have a lot of fun, man, and and, and I, I appreciate all the feedback, man. It was very informative, man. And I'm a I'm a I'm gonna chop this up and show all the guys so they can uh so they can hear what y'all are saying as well. And I do want to add one, two, actually, two last points, real quick. So the first one is, you know, and again, like we suggested, like so we suggested taking the longer. And here's the thing: it's not it does not you don't have to do the same thing that everybody else does. So for example, I said, hey, you know what? I go live. And I chop them up and I put them and they go out on social media, for example, as smaller clips. You don't necessarily have to do that. If you decide you want to put shorter videos and JVlog, I think makes a good point here. JVlog um, had commented that like he kind of disagreed with us on, you know, the uh, short form video, the short videos. If you're going to do that, just make sure it's clear to your viewers who are on your channel. That's, I think, the point that I would make. Yeah. Um, okay. So you could do them live. But then make sure like the thumbnail, for example, if it's like a short clip, you know, hey, here's the recap. And actually, that'd be a good way to split test something. So you could say, you know what, we do a two hour, a one hour, two hour live stream. And then let's give them the 10 minute like, you know, synopsis version of that that's chopped up. Right. And see which one performs better because you may find out, well, hey, you know what? We don't need to be doing a two hour live stream. <laughs> we only need to be doing, you know, uh, a 10 minute clip. Yeah. So um, that's the the. First point. And the second point I want to make sure to make is make sure you're going and networking with people. So like the first thing I want to have you do is, can you do me a favor? Can you send me an email marketing at streamer.com? Just send an yes. email, say, you know, Hey, I chatted with Christian on live stream reviews, send me a link to your live stream. Um, and then the reason I ask is because, you know, we talked with um, like Heyo time a couple of weeks ago. Yep. And he's, he talks about football, for example, like Los Angeles Rams football. He's so for Rams example, guy. if you talk about football, Mm -hmm. Maybe that's something where like, you know, maybe you all like are trading guest spots or something. Cross promote. So like, Hey, we have payo time. He, you know, he's, he, he streams, blah, blah, blah. And no, he's a big Rams fan and we got football and then he comes on and he talks about his Rams and you know, you got your boy talking about his Dallas <laughs> Cowboys. Yeah. And then yeah. there's, that you know what I mean? And there's a battle right there, a good conversation about, you know, running. Now, that's yards. actually a good idea too, Charles, because, uh, my my friend that's the Cowboys fan, his his last hot take was that the Rams wasn't gonna make the playoffs despite them being three and oh. So I would love to, I would love to have the Ram the diehard Rams fan come over there and, and 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 battle with them on that. There you go. See? And it's good, it's it's good for both channels. 
Awesome. Fantastic. So uh, great having you on. Great having you join us. Uh, thanks also for using StreamYard. Um, if there's any questions, uh, just again, you've got our, uh, you've got my information. Um, also be sure to join our Facebook group if you're not part of that. Okay. And you're more than welcome to like ask questions there as well. Um, or, you know, maybe, or, or even chime in with like, you know what? Hey, you have Hey, hold on. You know what? Look at this. Hold on. So this is awesome. Rainbow Biz CIC is saying, fantastic. I did a link up with like-minded streamers, but guess what? We have fantasy football hustler here saying I do fantasy football content. Awesome. Hit so, me up. Hit me up, man. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> fantastic. Well, it's, it's great having you join us. Um, anything else Thank you want to add, Charles? No, I'd like that because then, you know, you sometimes you, you're like, oh, what can we do for our stream? What can we do to extend it? What can we bring more viewers in? Those people right there, networking, put it out. The more you put it out, the more your sponsors will love it because now right. you're, you're broadcasting more and more and more. So, yeah, hook each other up. Sounds good. Hey, Christian, Charles, man, I appreciate y'all for having me. No Take problem, time. buddy. Thank right, you thank so you. much. Yep. Bye. Yeah, people, that's what it is all about. And that's why you join the community, join the Facebook community, because you're going to find like-minded people and they have different ideas and they might showcase and they might pass a guest that they had on to your show. Because that's a, here's the thing, passing a guest I had to Christian and Christian passing a guest on to me, what's wrong with that? Two different style shows, but we can both have great guests for our followers. So networking is key in this business. This has been, this is really good, actually. So we've got, um, so I've got Leo backstage. We've got uh, Zor, Zoraima as well, or Zori Imas. She's been on before. We've got Beth as well. Um, if anybody wants to join us, by the way, I'm going to put the link back uh, for anybody to join us on screen. Leo, <laughs> Leo, are you ready? Let me know. I, I, lo I like this. Adam says, it, I could be friends with a cowboy fan. There you go. <laughs> There you go. Hey, quick question for everybody while you're in there. If you're a sports fan, who is your who is your football team? I want to see what you guys are working with. Who is your football team? Put it in the comments. If you guys are sports fans, who who do you guys rocking with? Christian, you, you love do you watch football? Not a whole lot. All right. So my my team is uh Pittsburgh Steelers. Any Steeler fans out there? Put it in the comments. So I was gonna guess the Bengals with the black and the orange, but <laughs> I like this. I like they, they could be my brand, but yeah, that's not my team, though. <laughs> we got the Bears. We got Detroit Lions. <laughs> he says, he says, uh, we got Detroit Lions. Pray for me. <laughs> Joe, don't worry about it, man. We got you. Don't worry about it. We got the Eagles. Uh, we got L.A. There you go. Love it. OK, so. If you got a question, by the way, just put hashtag ask in your question. Uh, it, if we missed it, by the way, um, I'm sorry about that. If I missed it, I, I'm managing everything solo today. Yeah. So, so. I'm going to do my best to, to manage it all at once. By the way, and this is the thing where this is where like having a producer or having a co-host is super important because for example, Charles and I can talk to one another, but in this case, like if he's not able to, you know, bring comments in and things like that, it then falls on the one person to do that. And so that makes it hard to, it can make it hard to to do your live streams by yourself. Yeah. So, again, it's all about looking at that camera, focusing on your audience. Um. So try and get yourself co-host if you have one. Okay. So I'm going to bring on uh Zoraima. I'm bringing Leo on real quick. Let's go. He's here. here he go. says he's here. I know he's here. Actually, Leo, it's good to see you as well. <laughs> it's really good to see you, Kristen. It's really good to see you, Charles. <laughs> Hold on. Do that again. Hold audio. On. Audio you first. Did you, did uh, you have a? Is that a static uh, screen and you did? Uh, I'm on an A10 mini and okay. I can uh, just uh, cut out my, if I go back to do it, hold on, I'll go back. See, we should have so, we, we used you in the movie Ghost. Yeah, so, well, you can actually, you can do it actually. You can do um, in, you can go to this and you can literally fade yourself out. So Ooh, you can sit there, there you go. all the time in half, halfway through. Like See? That. So, Hall Halloween is coming up. There you go, guys. There's there is there is ways of doing it. There's ways to do it. But back to your you point that you talked about earlier is audio first. Charles, absolutely agree with you. Audio first uh, is more important than the video. Uh, if people can't hear you, because remember, there's a lot of people who just listen and they're not actually watching sometimes. Yeah, uh, they've got it on the phone. So got it there and they're listening to it. And if they can't hear you and the you can put up with sort of Pictures a bit off, but you can't put up with audio being off. So uh, that's that's that. There you go. 
So what mic are you wanted... using? Uh, this. This is a Heil PR40. Nice, very nice. No, oh, there uh, you go. That's um, a, it's, um, yeah, it's a bit up from the road. So mm -hmm. it's uh, the next, you know, the, the like the next thing up. I wanted to share you something quickly. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That I, uh, a live event I did last week. So okay. I'm yeah. just going to bring it up. Uh, here we go. So you okay. should be able to bring that onto screen. I've, I've it. muted it. So we're not going to okay. play the audio. Awesome. Cool. So this was an event I did last week. Uh, it was the world's uh, biggest sukkah hop. So I'm just going to play it so we're going to see the beginning of this. So the beginning of this was all played through on, uh, you know, going through on on StreamYard. The whole event was on StreamYard. Uh -huh. So we went in and we went zoomed in to a various different events. But the bit, so you can see we used that. And that was, uh, we, we cut out from uh, Google Earth to make that, that effect. Um, but we went all the way around the world. But the bit I wanted to show you, which I think is quite good when we use StreamYard. So you've got four people on there. Yes. Uh, okay. Actually, let me go back to when I've got two people. Okay. So you've got the two people there. And as you can see, the background's quite bright uh, to give them an idea of where they're doing. But what we actually did is we used the exact same layer on the background so that when they come forward, if you saw that, you'll see that, the f that, that some of those fronds of the leaves are now above them. Does that make sense? I'll show it we back do it, do it so you again, can yeah. see. Again. Yeah, can you see? So I've actually got exactly the same layer of, of just the leaves on the <laughs> front as I have on the back. So you can see they're behind them. And then as they come forward, you'll see that the leaves sit, some of the leaves, just some of them sit yes. in front of them. So it's a really great feature. And then uh, when we transition between different locations, we use that same, uh, what we did is we transitioned, I'm just gonna find one, hold on. Um, there you go. Now, is it is it an overlay you used? Yeah, it's an overlay. That was the overlay. So when we transition and we jump between places, we pre-recorded those jump places like that. Mm -hmm. And we put those all in as they're all uh, videos in StreamYard that jump between the two places. And then that was a permanent video of the person. But uh, that was a different different feature. So, so explain there. Like that. So, so let's talk about that because this is what I try to Go teach on. everybody. Yeah, yeah. You see what he said? They were pre-recorded videos that you set up. So those videos, are they in your folder? And then you just- They're in my folders. Yeah. So yes. when we go to, so they're sitting there. So we go from a, you literally go from this, this actually in this case, this one was a pre-recorded video with the, with the bumper mm -hmm. or sting. Some people refer to them as a sting. Right. So when they, they waving, so that's a sting, which is this bit here that jumps from there to there. And then it's going through to a video that's in there. So this was linked in, but some of them we just had the stings only. So if I go and find some where they're just the stings only, they were just uh, a few seconds between we bump, jump from one place to another. Um, hopefully, there you go. So we would jump from one place to another. So they wave or something and we will jump from one place. And we used it to cover, we use it to cover the uh, transitions when we bring different people onto the screen. Okay, no, let's so talk there's loads of different ways to do it. Hold on, let's talk about that for a second. <clears throat> Excuse yeah. me. Yeah, 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 please. I love what he said, because that's what I do with mine. But instead of doing what you guys do, like I put in like a little quick funny commercial or something, transitions, you have guests, yeah. you have like three guests on and you want to take them yeah. off and bring somebody yeah. else in, it's called yeah. transitions. You can put yeah. a little commercial, you can put a video and then you just click, click, click. It didn't have the next one on click 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 so when they come back there they are so that's one way yeah we do it all the time and yeah. um they, you know so we just use it sometimes they're really fast sometimes they're longer i'm just trying to find we did we we did all of this i'm trying to find one that was a really fast one um i think this one we were quite fast yeah here uh yeah here we go and you say so literally and you're saying we so is this you yourself okay. So when I run events, yeah, uh, we have three of us behind the scenes. Three of us are logged into StreamYard. Mm -hmm. So there is one of us will do the VT. Yep. One of us will be moving people around, and one yep. of us will be doing the banners and uh, on, on all the other things. So there's three producers running uh, there. Up and on this event, we had uh, the maximum we had was twelve behind at any one time. Okay. But you know, there's never ever more than four on the screen. So if I if you look at the exact point that you're talking about here, Charles, if I play this one, 
So you can see they're talking away. Uh, yeah. The two of them are talking away, and then they were going to go. We're literally going to bounce from one place to another. Mm -hmm. And as we land, when we land in Nairobi, uh, we should have three people on the screen. There so you, you never saw that spinny wheel of yeah. bringing somebody on and off. Uh -huh. Yeah, you used it as a transition, and we could have actually taken one of the others off. We could have done anything at the same time, and that gives us ten about 10 seconds of yes. something to enable us to move from one segment to another. Right. And, and, it, and, and, the and, and here's the thing, everybody, uh, on the weekends, like I have one coming up, I do my productions myself. When you want, when you have a long show and you need a break, <laughs> this, is, this is a great way to get, give yourself a little, to start back yeah, up. Again. Absolutely. Absolutely. So some of these are much longer as you saw, Yeah, but actually the, the mistake I did, and this is my mistake. When I came back to this, I forgot to put the overlay. Can you see the leaves, the fronds are behind? Yes. Yep. 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 Uh, or when I showed you later. So that's just a background. But hold when on, I hold on, came, hold on. But here's go, the, yeah, sorry. Here's the funny thing though. You hear what you said? You made the mistake, but until you showed yeah. it to me, nobody yeah. else knew that you made that mistake. Yeah, we know, but oh. you know, that's it. So we made, we. <laughs> yeah, there was the fronds behind, but when I showed you to here yeah. and I brought on the additional people, uh where i can get where there's four you can mm -hmm. see the difference and i think the fronds the effectiveness of having a few just something from your background you then get a three-dimensional feel that there's some there's more depth in your production because you're just bringing something from your background to overlay the top so at the moment we've got the halloween duck logo yeah. so that's sitting in the front of everything we're doing so we're doing the thing so mm -hmm. cheers christian <laughs> this is awesome, but I, I got to say, so Leo, you and I need to, we need to talk offline. Yeah. I want to talk through this. Um, cause I like, yeah. I like your setup. I liked it. So I like the fact that you're also mentioning, I mean, you have a run of show that you follow, yeah. you know, you go through that with, so, so for those of you who are just starting your live streams, the first thing you want to do is you, you want to know what your stream's about, but like, you got to think about all those different elements you can do. You can do so much at one time, but the thing is, you don't want to make it complicated. Right. And so in this case, like Leo's, so he's thinking, okay, he like, and you used, uh, so Google has a Google map, like access that they give you to let you film that video. And so, um, yeah, there, yeah. Well, there, there are ways it, to like do the hopping. There's so ways that. of tricks to do it. We, exactly. we film you, you go into the Google maps, you, yep. you, you, you assign, I've seen this in, it's incredibly useful live as well. If you yeah. set up, a load of pins and yeah. you're saying i'm going to go to here to here to here yeah. i've seen tour operators or virtual tour operators use yep. this as a like they the connection between the places yeah and um, we just used it i mean the yep. bit i loved the best uh if i show it again the bit i loved the best was the opening yeah uh, because so it just i'll yeah. just bring it back to the opening uh so we just went like this so you'll see it i just think this just was like uh i was so glad when it came off we did this <laughs> you know and it's like you just feel like you're starting an event yeah, yeah. it's just so is, such a great way to open an event it is and you know, the to thing just is say where you are it's all about planning yeah. this out right i mean yeah absolutely. i know you didn't just start like i didn't know you didn't just say like oh well we're gonna no. start this <laughs> and we're gonna like we're gonna do this this and this you tested it out you made sure it worked yeah and yeah you, and we do that we do that on all of our our events so that we uh make sure that we know uh and i'm just trying to see if i can bring you the run of show uh yeah. it may take me a minute or so take the screen share off while i just bring yeah sure the run of show. so here, here's a here's a here's the number one thing too <clears throat> with my guests my show and everybody has theirs different you do you got to pre-prep if you have a guest yeah. coming on absolutely prep, Charles. prep them ahead of time this is what we're going to do show one slide two we're going to talk about this you're going to come on in here do this every single show that i do on the weekends i do a run of show i give it to all my guests so they can follow along too you know what i mean you could tell here's the thing you can tell your guests yeah you're coming on at one okay that's great but you have to give them run a show because if we're behind we're ahead it's not one o'clock anymore it might be 110 yeah. so like you've got to make sure that they're following the show and following the timeline so they can pop on when they need to. So a run of show yeah. schedule is always key to give to your guests as well. If you're doing a big production on the weekend, 
I had like 84 guests that I had to bring on and bring off. And each one is following and they're watching it. And I, we start to run behind and they, they followed and they popped on when they knew they should come on instead of, instead of boggling up my background. Cause remember you can only have 12 in the back. So instead of having yep. all these people in the background, they said, well, it's not my time yet. He's, he's two guests behind and then they popped on when they need to. So it's a great thing. So to make I, sure. I've shared my run of show for the, okay. this event. So if so you pop that up on show. There. So what you can see on my runner show, and obviously it's all green because we're finished now. Yeah. Yep. So yep. we run off on the green. So what we do is we we have there's nice little tricks. If you think that the duration of that is actually going to be four minutes now because mm -hmm. you do it, you'll yep. see that every single thing in the whole document updates as it goes through because the runner the run time will actually change or it should have changed yep. on that one. Yep. So mm -hmm. that you can bring it through. So you 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 list everything you want. We always work off a single. Uh, what well, you know, this is always we work off a single sheet. Anything else that we need, like assets, on I can't show you the assets because there's other bits in there. But mm -hmm. normally we keep everything in one single document, um, including the email addresses of everybody we want to talk to. Everything is in one Google sheet, and so we will literally change as we move through. Um, and we will so we so we code it so that we know we're running videos we've got our live bits where we've got different people coming in live um that are guests we've got who's going to be on the screen and we've even got notes for the host so they know what where we are so that they can sit there and follow it through um and the bit that we like the best uh, i think we all do is the bit that says and end and closing credits so we like that bit. That that's the bit that we like the most. Um, and I actually, I'm just going to show you just really quickly on that on the closing credits. I'm just going to share that again because this we we did again. I think it's really important you should do this if you're going to have an event like this. And I'll just show you what we did. So bring that up and we roll if I roll it straight to the end. Yeah, if you can bring sure. it back on yeah. for us. So we went through all the various different people uh we you know everything that we were showing earlier and then we come to there there was a, a a singing ride at the end and it should be about here let me just do it by hand so i'm just bringing it forward um and there so i jumped too far and then what we did you know how i showed you before how we had the the, the layers yeah if you watch the layers if you watch the um the graphic, the things, they go behind the fronds again. Yeah. You can see that the things go behind. So we did that to go through and put the things through. Very so nice. And so as means. you can see, Leo's put, like, there's a lot of work that goes into him. <laughs> yes, a lot of work. Like, yep. So we'll yeah. do our best to see. I'm going to see what I can chat with him about and get some more details on this. This has been really good to see this. I mean, I hope everybody who's watching is enjoying this. If you're enjoying this, do us a favor. Um, just give a thumbs uh, up. Thumbs up, comments. people. Give us some thumbs up. Awesome. You're enjoying it. On on the technical side, just two yeah. things that people always ask. Uh, my camera, that's a Panasonic Lumix GH3. Okay. And the bit that I use for my, I don't use, I use these monitors. Yeah. Which sit in front of your ears. So I mm -hmm. can actually, the nice thing if you use these is you don't need to have what's known as side tone because you're not blocking your ears. Yeah. If you have if you have headphones on to hear yourself, you need something called side tone. So when I've got these on, I can turn my side tone off, awesome. so I can nice. actually hear myself as well, there you um, go. and I can hear other things uh, at the same time. So fantastic! They're great. This is really good. Okay, so you and I we're gonna chat offline. Um, I want to thank are. you for popping in and sharing that. Thanks. With us. Always I great. Hope everybody, you guys I, are doing a great show. Impressive. Great thank show, you. guys. Thank awesome. you so much. And I want to take some shout outs before you go from Brazil. We had somebody here from Norway. We have everybody from around the world watching. So thank you, everybody, for watching. And I'm getting thumbs up coming in. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. One person says, blown away, Leo Stream. Wow. There you go. Thank Very you, cool. Rainbow Biz. Very uh, like, like what you said. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, Leo. Uh, all right. So here, I wanted to, I wanted to get to a comment. Hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll fade away. I'll fade away. <laughs> there he goes. Here we go. There. <laughs> yeah, we got to talk about that because I have the same equipment and I got to figure out how to do that. There you go. Awesome. All right. Later. All right. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Leo. Bye. Fantastic, right. man. That I gotta say that that took things to another level. I mean, just 
there's so much detail there. There's so much involved in it. Yep. But again, it's also scaling it up. I mean, Leo, I know that he does this for a living. So yeah, like, he does. He does big projects. Like it, he does yeah. big projects. I've I watched some of his uh, his uh, YouTube channels, and I've watched some stuff we've talked in the past. He does big projects. <laughs> Fantastic. Nice work. Uh, I'll do my best to chat with him and kind of get some ideas on you know ways we can maybe simplify that and make it easy for you know to see how he actually does some of these. See if we can get some guides or things like that for you. Yeah. Um, okay, so hold on. One of the co comments come in that came in, and, and yeah. I want to read it, and I want I don't know where did it go, but the person the person said, "I wish Streamyard would have different colors," and I thought to myself, "We do have different colors for the for the banners and stuff." Okay, yep, this one. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So if you could pull it up. Um, you can choose whatever color you want. Uh, if you go into your settings in the back. There's a little wheel right there. You just click on it and it'll, it'll, it'll ask you and there'll be a color line. You just go across the color line and pick what color you want for your stream. So, so yeah, let me, let me pull that up. I think, yeah, I got it here. Awesome. So, so this is the StreamYard backstage. Yes. And you're going to see here, if I go under uh, brand, for example, right. Um, I could select different folders. So for example, this is live stream reviews. I can select a different color, different, uh, I have different brand color. I have different logos, overlays, things like that in right. there. Um, I could also switch to another one. Yeah. And we can click on this and say like, Hey, you know what? Let's make this orange, for example. So we could do that. And that could be the brand color that we use. And yeah. that's going to show up for the display name, the banners, everything like that, that we put up. So I hope that helps. If that's what your question about your colors, there is a way of changing your colors right there. So what I usually do, I ask my guests, like when we have a show, like, Oh, what's your favorite color? And she tells me, or he tells me, and I just pop it and there's the color of the show. You know, th that way it's not always the same orange, the same green. Every show has different brand colors. So they're saying I prefer to have different background colors and different display name colors. So the so that's actually two different things. So the background yeah. is actually something you create. Right. You can change the background color. If you look at, if you, Christian opens it back again, if you look at the bottom, you can upload backgrounds. So you can choose whatever background colors you want. You so have looks you have the ability to choose. So if you go all the way down to the bottom. Yeah. Right so there. this is where this is. So we talked about the StreamYard sandwich and I'm going to go to the live stream reviews one because this would make more sense. Mm -hmm. So for example, we have the brand color set to this and then we have a background that we created that is very similar, you know, along the same color, uh, the same like colors. And so if I then go down to my uh, backgrounds, you're going to see I have different ones. And these are actually different. So for example, that's the stock one we had. We used to use this one. And then if I go up here, I still have the same brand color. So they actually are separate from one another. Yes. <clears throat> so you can go blue on red, green on blue, black on whatever. You can change yeah. your colors to go with your theme. And so, if you want it like individual, if you want them different for every individual, part of the reason also is typically when somebody does a brand color, they don't have five colors that they're picking from. They keep a standard brand like it's part of the brand. So they're not actually changing the brand every single time. Like, you know, they're not saying, well, Hey, we're going to use this and we want to have blue for like Christian and we want to have orange for someone else. And we want to have, you know, red for Zorima, for example. Right. So, and then just to go on, I'm reading your comment again. So the display name, so the color you chose at the top will change the display name. So you see how our names right now is in the orange. <clears throat> if Christian goes in the back end and hits blue, our names will change into blue. They won't be orange anymore. <clears throat> so you, sorry. So you have the ability to change the display name colors. Yeah. So keep that in mind. Um, awesome. So let's just, let's bring up Zoraima. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Are you good, Zoraima? Give me a thumbs up. Okay. I got, I saw like I, yes. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So I, I don't actually know what her question is specifically this time. Hold on. Let's go. Zoraima, how are we doing? Hey, she's back. <laughs> you are your audio switched off yeah you're muted or your audio oh yeah, i do that all the time <laughs> <laughs> that is a running joke on my show now because i'm like hey hello three minutes later and i was like of course <laughs> <laughs> no makeup this time around just because i am about to shoot a uh, pro uh product review from different makeups so there you go okay <laughs> There you go. There you go. Something I did remember from you, um, Charles, was mm -hmm. to 
get a nice picture before. So you yes. show the picture yes. and then show the product and feature the product from right. last time. Yeah, then you can go, look, this is what I'm featuring this time. Nice. So that's what I'm doing this time. So that's why no makeup. I'm sorry for the scare. <laughs> No, not a big. What's so, your channel again, by the way? Because I'm looking up for your channel and I'm pulling up like Zori Imas. Is uh, it's oh, a Spanish okay. show? Uh, Z O R Y, and yeah. my show is um, it's about the celebrity uh, gossip and what's yes. going on and yep. everything, everything else in there in the world. Well, I do uh, my makeup, so it's like get ready. Uh, I'm getting ready while I'm talking about celebrities uh, worldwide. Right. So. Uh, and, but my, actually my question is because I have a friend, my community is mainly Spanish speakers mm -hmm. and I have a few questions regarding hashtags and tags. Okay. And, sure. uh, also this one particular, my friend who he's a Spanish speaker, he's like, can you help me? Because I have no idea what to do. And I said, okay. So I translated his question, uh, for you guys. And he says okay. that normally he gets a, so he has a, a producer, he, uh, that person creates the stream yard link and everything sends it to him he's trying to pull it up on his ipad and for some reason it just doesn't work kind of uh doesn't work or or is working and then it kicks him out the audio stills there just kicks him out and um or so completely in his show on his lives he's like the the pictures are there what he's uh showing pictures and he kicks him out so he has to reuse the link and do it and it happens at least once every transmission okay. so uh and he's like and he says he's using his ipro ipad pro and he's trying to use um uh safari that chrome doesn't allow uh the safari the ipad doesn't allow to use chrome and that he's tried uh edge and a mozilla firefox and okay. it still is happening so I was reading about some some called Opera or something like that on that could potentially could be uh, compatible with StreamYard, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to ask him is when it keeps cutting him off, how great is his internet? That's the first key thing because it won't it won't cut you off unless your signal is not a strong signal. So that's okay. why that's why the voice was still on, and the picture went. Right, so that's he, why I yes. check that out first. And he probably got okay. the little spinning icon. I'm guessing, like it's that, that little spinning icon, like it's trying to find him, trying to find uh, him, yes, to find him. So, yes. uh, so sometimes it happens, and sometimes he's and he's talking, and he yeah. thinks that he's yep. live, but nothing. <laughs> yes, yeah, so part of it. And is then we we are like, hey, hello, we can hear you, or we can't see you. Yeah, that's sure. in, that's straight internet. You got to get stronger internet. internet. The other think, thing yep. he also may need to do. So, for example, this is the downside to using a mobile device. Mobile devices are fast for tasks, but they're not fast for necessarily internet, internet. like especially streaming. So, okay. like when you're trying to stream from an iPad, you're going off of whatever that how strong that Wi-Fi or even this if you have a cellular iPad, you're going off the cellular signal. I did tell then, him that the I'm like how old is your device too because yes. iPads are. Yeah, I mean we know that the older they are is like the slower they get. So I was like, how, yeah. how old is your iPad for and then that particular reason? And here's another trick too. If he's going to use an iPad, like some of my guests use their iPad in their phone. I tell them before you come on, get rid of everything else that's open. Oh, kill the other apps. Kill all the other apps. Cause if the other apps is on your internet is using it to, for the other apps, the stream, other thing he has open, this that he has open, that he has open. Good point. Get rid of everything. So all the iPad is thinking is mm -hmm. stay on the stream. That's all the iPad's thinking about. Oh, that that's a, that's a good point and pff, super easy. And then the other <laughs> thing he can look at it, if it's a new, if it's one of the new iPads, like the new iPad Pros that has like I think a USB C connection. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually I have one here. I should probably test this over the weekend, um, but. Some of them can support an Ethernet adapter. Yes. Some of them. Yep. Okay. Which would give him a hardwired. And granted, you know, here's the thing. He's probably trying to maybe be mobile with the device. Mm -hmm. No, he's actually steady. He's uh, like, like we're right now. Yeah. But he can, like the Christian said, you can get these little, uh, I think they're called dongles or I call them dongles. You just plug in and it, it, it finds and powers up 
the link to push it more in. Okay. See, because the other thing too, what I've told people too, if, if you really want to use your 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 tablet, then yeah. use your phone's data, sync it. You know, you can take the data and, and share data with your with your tablet. Yes. So your phone becomes the 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 hotspot, and I'm taking the data, moving it over to my tablet. Okay. By the way, I, just, I have a quick question. Uh, we're getting somebody saying there's no audio, but I, th I think Daniel, I think the issue might be on your end. Like I, I'm hearing audio. I don't know. You, you're hearing audio, right, Charles? And uh, yeah, uh, well, let me know. <laughs> okay. Because I wouldn't be surprised. No, no, no I, I. But I'm you not can sure hear me this time, so. <laughs> there's definitely audio. Yeah, so I'm not sure, Daniel, on that because there's. Definitely audio. Charles, are you getting audio? Uh, one check mic two, one two. I guess you can. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, a couple other things, I guess, real quick on that. So, uh, in terms of using it in the browser, they should be able to use it in. Uh, so, Chrome, for example, should work on an iPad. Yep. Firefox should work. The Brave browser should work. Um, I think even, and I think if they go into Safari, let me see, I'm on Safari right now. Because I've used it, and mine is not a pro. It's the Retina. It's old. And I've used StreamYard on mine yeah. without a problem. Yeah. So because sometimes I, it happened once is he, that yes. I was on, on my live, and then I made the <laughs> mistake of not plugging my laptop. So as I was halfway through, it just kicked me out. <laughs> and I was like, of course it did. But I had I had the iPad with me, so I just log on with the iPad. I'm like, I'm here, I'm here. Just give me a chance, give me a minute. Yeah. And I started talking. So the iPad connected beautifully and okay. so flawlessly a, for me. Here's but a for trick. him, it's an issue. Sorry, here's a trick. Where is he streaming from? His house? Yes. Where in his house? So what I tell everybody is how far from the router? Yes. Okay. So if he wants to go in his office and it's in the other side of the house. Then the, it's tr even though you have a router, it's still trying to find you at the other end of your house. So there's a thing, uh, it's called fast.com. Mm -hmm. So you just put fast.com and you can test and click it and it'll show you how fast where you're getting the internet, how strong your internet is. Okay. So he, oh, can, walk, yeah. Yeah, he can walk around his house and keep touching it and see where the best signal is coming in and go, oh, ooh, this is where I should be. This is the where the signal is coming in. Okay. So go into one bedroom, click it. Oh, I'm only getting 13. Go to another bedroom, click it. Oh, I'm getting 15. Go to somewhere else. Oh, I'm getting 20. Like he can test where the main the main feature, where the signal is coming in from. Okay. That's actually a pretty cool uh, tool, by the way. It's it's uh, it's actually powered by Netflix. Yep. So oh. uh, have them go. I, I love the idea of that. Like have them walk through the house and find the best place. Because the other thing is, so people, you have to remember this. Just because you have Wi-Fi uh, in your house or cellular signal does not mean that it's the no. same in every single room. No. You know, that is that every... is a true statement. Yeah. <laughs> that I did notice because my router is not that far from me. So I and we chose this location for the same reason. Yeah. I was like, this is not the ideal situation. But my husband is like, well, you we can I can build you a studio outside. I was like, you know how far that is from the router? <laughs> that is I need a I whole router just wire and he's gonna run. Oh, yeah, we need feet. like 20 feet. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yeah, so that, to get in there. So I was like, that's not going to work. <laughs> yeah. So before before we go on, um, just want to say what's up to Charles. Any party named Charles is must be a good guy. So I got to shout out Charles. Okay, moving on. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said. So, <laughs> sorry, go ahead. He says good audio. So yeah, so here, here's the other thing okay. too. If you notice, I'm just going to answer one of these questions on here. Someone was asking me about my, my um, AirPods. They're like, what, what AirPods are you using? And yeah. they're not actually AirPods. Okay. So they're actually in my ear. See, they're wired. Yep. And I'm the same way. Okay. So they're actually, they go over my ear, wrapped around and popped in. That That's way you pretty can, cool. That way you can't see anything on that. Screen. This wires right here. That yes. is so That's annoying that I get tangled all the time. <laughs> and it, here's the thing. It's a different type of headset as well. So, for example, you've Can got. Can you let us know which one it is? Uh, yeah, there's, <laughs> there's actually quite a few. Yeah. So these are the. I think I'm using. These are Sennheisers. Mm -hmm. I think they were like seventy or eighty dollars. Um, but there there are much more expensive ones. 
and the ones I'm using is me. Yeah. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. So it's it's clear. It's got a drawstring to make it tight on your ears. And then it's clear. You just put it in and then there's a wire to really hook it over. And then boom. Oh, I like that because I do. I mean, I have and I'm using and I noticed that it does work beautifully uh, using the Samsung, the uh, Q, the the Samsung Q2U. Yeah, Q2U, the 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 plug through there, then the laptop and is flawless. Like no playback, no nothing. It's just everything in there. But it does bother me when I I don't have guests frequently. And because I had a really bad experience with one of them. Yeah. And yeah. I'd rather do this by myself and once in a while, special yeah. occasions kind of shared knowledge. But yeah. when I do, then I get stuck. Yeah. And I just drag my, I'm like, oh, that was my ear. Yeah. So you can, <laughs> you can, I think Christian, I think you extended yours, right? You have the long cord. I do, yes. Cord. Yep. So yeah. if you look at Christian's, Christian has like this long cord. So see, he can get up and walk around. And I actually can around. get up and walk around. We're not, I'll, I'll do a quick <laughs> test. Charles, See? keep working on this. You yeah. won't hear me talk very much, but I yeah. can literally get up. See, he's I still he's, my desk. He's still he's still connected. So, you know, that he can do cool. stuff. He doesn't have to go anywhere and it's still clear. So he could have went and grabbed the product, came back. He would have done that, by the way, before <laughs> and come back. So there it is. And it's all still attached. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. That I like that. I like that. See an extra, an extra, an extra <laughs> note to my pad. <laughs> uh, I, I, by the way, Charles, we got to make a note about like starting every show off with encouraging people to bring notepads and take notes because I think there's there's so much like great information everybody's sharing as as a viewer and as a guest. So I agree. I agree. So no, the next uh, question was about yeah, sure. the um, tags. Are they actually helpful at all? Not the hashtag, but just the tags. Are they helpful at all to promote your videos? Um, so I'll, I'll make Christian jump on that one. Uh, I would say they're not that they're they're only helpful really to YouTube. Okay. Like, so for and what so what uh, Zoraima's talking about here is on YouTube they have um, tags within your video. So when you create a live stream from Streamyard over to YouTube, it creates an instance on YouTube, and you can edit the video. And there's going to be a tag section at the bottom. Um, it you don't want to just put a whole bunch of tags. Basically what your title, your description, your tags are doing, they're telling YouTube if they don't understand the title and the description, they're, the tags are there to also help with that. Does that make sense? Okay. So it doesn't, okay. it's not going to guarantee you're going to rank for it. It's there to like give them a better insight into what the video is about. I see. Okay. You should still add them, but they really, I mean, they don't mean like, oh, just because you included five tags or Specific tags like doesn't mean you're necessarily going to rank for all those. Okay, because so okay. Oh, so that's what the hashtags comes. Uh, the hashtag is yeah. different. The hashtag is more of a discovery tool. Oh, okay. So, for example, like you'll see us like we'll put hashtag live streaming in here, for mm -hmm. example, as a hashtag. That it might that might insert us into the broader conversation of live streaming, okay. where everyone's using that one. But then we might have one that is Streamyard specific that might be hashtag Streamyard tutorial hashtag Streamyard. Because it, it blew my mind that I, well, I haven't really used hashtags ever. And then this week I started using them. And I was talking about Demi Lovato. And then I got like 40 people that just came because they got Demi Lovato. And yep. they just came just because of that hashtag. And I was like, yeah. wait, what? <laughs> yeah. So here, here's, how, here's how I use it. I use hashtags as marketing tools. Okay. Okay. So like you said, if you're talking about a, a certain person and you put the tag in and they like that person, the tags will find people and push it back out. And I okay. use a tag as a brand for myself. So if anybody hashtag. I just started that. Okay. I asked that. I asked my people, which one, which hashtag would you like to see me with? Right. And so which I one do you fee, uh, feel like I can identify with? Mm -hmm. So they started giving me a few hashtags and that's the one that I started using now yeah. as a uh, to put myself as a marketing tool. As yeah. Well. So for me, I use CMJ live. So that's my number and my name, my company. And what, I, what I'm, what are we doing right now? We're live. Yeah. So yeah. it's hashtag CMJ live. And I use that on my photos, the videos, whatever. So if they click on it, it will find all my other stuff and put it together. And, it, and you said it, it draws people in. Okay. And then one, one last tip for you on the hashtag thing is, you know, for example, if you're doing makeup reviews or things like that, so you have to keep this in mind and J vlog, 
Thanks for mentioning this. YouTube only allows a max of three hashtags mm -hmm. in your description. That's in the title or the description. Yeah. So they pick up the first three. They put it. So like, let's just say you had four. It would pick mm -hmm. up, say there was one in the title and there were three in the body and they're different. They would pick up the first one in the title, the second, the third. This one would get left out. Okay. So, so be, you have to be mindful about what you put in. And be really um, specific to what you're doing. So for example, if you're doing eyebrows, you're not going to say a hashtag and then put lipstick stuff. Okay. You see, you see what I'm saying? Yes, if you're yes. doing eyebrows, stick to the eyebrow hashtags. Don't put eyebrows, cheek blush, eyebrows, whatever. Yeah, yes, Use yes. the proper ones to draw people over. And what I would do is I'd, I'd consider this. If I were doing makeup tutorials, I would consider doing a branded hashtag. So yep. specific to you. Yep. A second one, maybe it's makeup. And then okay. I, I'm going to throw this out there. You may have to, because you may have to do this. If somebody is giving you a product, for example, you do typically have to disclose that. And yes. so you may have to use hashtag sponsored, for example. Okay. You may have to. I'm not okay. saying you have to, but you may have to. Okay. So it's worth checking out. But if that was the case, if you didn't have to do it, it would be branded hashtag, hashtag makeup, probably, or makeup or makeup tutorial, whatever you're doing. I would look at YouTube and see what they're you know, recommending. Because basically what you're doing is you're taking your live stream and you're saying, okay, I have an archive to go back and look at it if it's branded about me. If I use a broader mm -hmm. one like yeah. hashtag makeup or hashtag makeup tutorial, I'm getting put into the conversation with everyone else who has a makeup tutorial. I see. And then your thumbnail, things like that come into play. And then the third one might be like, hey, they want to check out a sponsored one. Or it could be hashtag makeup, hashtag makeup tutorial. Okay. Because I do, I do have like most of the hashtags so far that I've been making is since I speak a lot, a lot about is mainly celebrities. And yeah. when people have questions, because as I'm doing my makeup, it's like, wait, what colors are you using? What? And then I, I'm explaining. So it's mainly celebrity. And only once a month, I do a feature makeup or feature items. So, or specific deals. And that's when I, so that's when I can implement that makeup um, hashtags. Right. specific to that someone asked me it's like you should go and get sponsors i'm like i don't even have that many people and hold on, hold on, in hold on. all of these things hold on hold on before we let you go <laughs> <laughs> remember what we said i don't know if you were watching a couple of shows of christian and i yeah. you don't need to have all these viewers to get sponsorships okay yeah. you start off small you did you ask to uh you did talk to Pio if I'm not mistaken about this. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Remember, it could be just a small little store down the street that sells it. It could be a small makeup artist. It could be anybody. It could be become a sponsor. You don't need the thousands and thousands of viewers to start. It starts off small, then you get bigger and bigger, but it starts. Okay? okay. Like the last guest, remember he said he had some store that that gives him t-shirts. Yeah. Jerseys, yeah, yeah. Jerseys. Any little thing helps. So don't okay. think, oh, I'm small. I guarantee you, you have some viewers that watch your show that would love to be a sponsor for your show. Guaranteed. Yep. Hmm. Think about it. All and your you got, viewers. Guaranteed one, somebody's there. One last point I want to make real quick, um, you know, is this is is the fact that like you've got I'm not sure how many subscribers you have on your channel. I, I have uh one ninety six right now. I okay. Yeah, so, just I'm going into my third month. Not a big deal. 196. That's still good. So you got 196. There are people like you got to look at it like this. At the beginning, you may have people reach out and say like they'll give you free product. For example, you may have people that, you know, you can decide whether you decide to take free product or you could also push back and say, hey, you know what? I've got 200 subscribers and and give them a fee. For example, yep. this is what I would actually I would ask for. You know, you may say I would like the free product so I can review it. But I also have a fee of X dollars, whatever that would be. Oh, okay. All right. I didn't know you can do that. Key thing, ask. That's, <laughs> the, <laughs> That's the best I thing I can tell you. Yes. You don't know until you ask people. Okay. Don't, 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 <laughs> yeah. think, don't think of yourself as, oh, I only got a little show. Nothing's a little show. You guys are all doing fantastic. You guys are all doing great. You have StreamYard that will help you get to that next level. So don't think of yourselves as just a little show. All right. All right. And the, <laughs> I'll work on that one. All right. And last one? Um, the last thing is uh, the overview. When you see my, my channel, 
Is there anything that pop off for you guys that I should change, like visually? No, I didn't. Hold on. Let me go back here. Did you see anything, Christian? Um, the, the only thing I would say, get some audio feedback. Sorry about that. Um, only thing I would say is this. I, I'm glad you're putting celebrity faces on there. Mm -hmm. I just would double check if I'm allowed to use those photos. Yes. How um, I'm getting it from Google. How can I? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you gotta be careful. Careful. So yeah. that's the first thing. So <laughs> you got to be careful. Oh. Don't pull images from just because images.google.com is there and you can yeah. download photos and things like that. It doesn't mean you necessarily have the license to it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, that's, that's awesome. So how do I, any sites that you would recommend? Well, there's some, there's some fan pages. Like if you go to their fan pages, okay. some of them that they, there are some fan pages that you can use their pictures. So they put things out that the fans can use. So you other can, yeah. So you can go to their fan pages and see if they have photos that they released and say, Hey, you know, these are for my fans yeah. and stuff like that. Then there's some, or if they're on their social media, you can get them from there too. No, I no, no, I wouldn't. Cause that's not, not giving you any, I wouldn't, I'm not, I don't want to raise red flags, but I would say no. <laughs> I would not use any images that I got from Google yeah. or uh, like from images like Google.com from social media, et cetera. I would actually, if it were me, I would go a different route and that would be, um, I would see if I could potentially have somebody make a character or something like that of the person. Yep. Cause then oh. that way you're not taking, cause that way you're not taking, you're not taking someone else's work. And then the other oh, thing is, I mean, the, okay. the easiest thing I think would be when you find the photo, if it's, if someone else created it, why don't you reach out to them and, you know, try to build a relationship with the creator. So for example, if somebody has taken that photo, they may, they may charge to license it, for example, or there may be people, um, you know, they may, uh, they may actually be able to do that artwork for you that mm -hmm. you would then be able to use. All right. So so because put it, put it this wow way. that just like because i've seen so many so many shows that they do use it and yeah i've that, seen the same picture like on yep. same picture that they're using on google and i go well i'm not going to use that because they already use this so sometimes i go to their social media and download it from their social media from the yeah, artist just, or just 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 be careful because some of them is like yes it's on their social for everybody to see but the keyword is for them to see, not take. I see. Wow. Okay. okay. So for example, if I went to your social media and you're showing me a picture of how you did your makeup, and then I took that picture and use it as a branding thing for me, I'm making money now off of your face. I see. You see what I'm saying? So wow. you got you to be careful when you use people's pictures and stuff. And I want to mm. bring this last comment up from Adam's exploits. Uh, and Adam, you're absolutely right. Charles and I are not lawyers. Be careful. The same thing with any pictures you use. Yeah, even for thumbnails, you need them to be licensed or trademark free. It's the same. It applies to the celebrity aspect. It applies to the same thing. If somebody is, uh, for example, if you're doing a, a live stream about football, same thing. You know, you got to make sure you get the right. You get the right permissions at least to use any. You know, basically, if you're using someone else's photo. Yeah. Or something someone else created. So. Wow. That is mind blowing. And thank you for that. <laughs> I do appreciate that because I do use, I started using less amount of, uh, because I was like, well, if I use a lot of graphics and a lot of them, I grab them from what, because there's news that is out there. Oh, they're the artists are actually saying, so I do capture some of them. I do cite them and I do make sure that I cite where the location or who the photographer was, right. that I do citations. So everything I do just to make sure that I'm giving credit to the right people, um, uh, that I have done. Okay. Um, and, and, but not on the, obviously I don't do that on the thumbnail. I do that on everything else that I do, <laughs> regardless whether it's Google, uh, or, it, you know, Google, it says the description of who the journal whatever that is yeah. so i add their description as a source okay so Absolutely. just, just yes, before, sorry yeah. do we have somebody waiting in the green room um christian we got we have a few people yes all right so this will be the last thing before i move on yes uh, we'll grab somebody else just to give you an example i had somebody on a live stream show they actually be, they performed they sang the song so it was like oh it's all good they sang the song and then when we went back youtube facebook they muted that part and we're like, well, why did they cut me off? 
because in the song the person was singing, they had background singers. So because they had background singers in the instrumental, it cut them off because we don't have permission for the background singers to hear their voice into the stream. So simple things like that, they, they cut us off. Oh, wow. Yep. So just be careful. Okay. Okay. I do appreciate that very much. Again, Thank you. Not looking to scare you, just looking to, you know, again, it's the no, whole. No, no, I, ap I appreciate it because so. like we were saying, I'm, I'm starting and you don't want, once you're monetizing or you're there, then you go, oh, by the way, none of this <laughs> will work. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and then you have to pay a lot uh, royalties and stuff. <laughs> right. Yes. And, and the key thing is, so okay. the other I want to just add one last point to your, you know, the fact that you cited, like, you know, you said, hey, I cited them. That's a whole another thing. Like sometimes people will like be okay with it, but then other people they may want you to pay for it. Yep. And you got to remember, some of those people are licensed. Like they may take the photo, but it may be going through a stock photo site like a, like a Getty images or things like that. Like those things okay. might own the rights to it versus yeah. the actual photographer. So like uh, there's different sites out there that you can log on and type it in and then it'll tell you if it's copyright free and then you just pay for it, you know, pay a dollar if it's really, you know, dollar 50 yeah. cents, oh, whatever. So okay. there's 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 things out there you can just pay for. It. And when you pay for it, it gives you this little thing that shows that you paid for it. And then you can prove that you, you're not stealing the information. You just pay you for bought, it. You, you bought it. You thought you were doing the right thing yeah, in case yeah. of they come to you. Yeah. Oh, right. thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank All you. All right. Who we got next, Christian? Okay, we'll see, you, see you later. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Okay, people. so we've got uh, Beth, um, Bethel, I think. Bethel, are you ready to come on? I think, I don't know. I saw a yes and a no. What do we got? Yes or no? Give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay. So Bethel's coming on. Let me see if I can get their question. Uh, they were asking, let's see. I think they were asking about a countdown timer. Um, but let me double check. So we're going to bring them on. Bethel, it's good to have you. How you good, good to have you join us. How you doing? Okay. Um, can you hear me? We yeah. Can, we, yes. We can hear you, but this is a, this is a different angle, Bethel. Like what are, what are we looking at here? Actually, this is uh, Albert. <laughs> I'm teasing you. How are we doing, now. Albert? Ah, uh, Albert. Ah, uh, yes. Albert's joined us quite a few times. How are we doing, Albert? Okay. I actually have this uh, NDI uh, DX thing going on. So normally, I would uh, I would be using my um, I would be using either the um, the FaceTime camera. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which, there you go. Which which was a little dark, I thought, because I closed the, the the windows. Right. And and then your um, let's see the uh, Logitech. Um, where is that Logitech one? Oh yeah, here it is. So the Logitech, you know, was also a little dark. And then okay. I have this I have this iPad Mini that I was running NDI through, and. And it's on a different computer altogether, and mm -hmm. and I hooked this little puppy up, and I said, "Huh, I'll be darned." And and then uh, I can go, you know, close mode. And I said, "This is bright." I mean, I it's, it's within it's it's within touch mode away from me. And I I'm a I'm a technical person. Uh, I use this laptop here uh, at church, and that's why I have. Uh, Bethel AME Zion. And I, for, <laughs> I, for, I, I forgot to uh, I forgot to change my StreamYard logo or, okay, or so name when I logged in. That's okay. Before you keep going, though, here's the thing that people don't know. Christian. Mm -hmm. Christian can actually go in and change your name for you. So sometimes guests, when they come in, like they said, they have like the wrong name on there. In StreamYard, you, when you're the host, see, he just changed it. Okay, yep. so you have the ability to help your guests and change the name. If there's a doctor and they forgot to put the DR or whatever, you can go in and change the name for them, just like what Christian just did for for Albert. And See? and and I, as host, I've done that. And I went to I went to the uh, to the gear to try to look for how do I change my name, and I said, okay, I don't have the privileges, just like yep. you don't have privileges, Charles. Yeah, <laughs> you can actually you can actually do it in there. So it's not the gear you're supposed to look for. See on screen, you see the three dots in front of you. 
So look in, look on, you're on screen right now. You see that really? little thing to show you your, you click the three dots. All right. Okay. So when you're live on screen, so Christian would go to the three dots right there. And then you see oh. it says edit name. And then he can edit his name just like you. So you, even if you're live, you can go in, hit the three dots, edit name, change it, and it'll change it in your name as well. Oh, okay. Fantastic. Did you, so did you have a question for us or anything? We I, did, I, did, or? I did. I did. I had, I had, I had a few. So I'm, I'm on vacation in uh, South Carolina okay. and churches in Cleveland and, and folks are kind of nervous. So they, uh, we have our topology is um, we have, uh, we have a, um, um, ATM, uh, okay, yeah. system ATM yeah. mm -hmm. that, that, uh, or, uh, switcher rather that we're using to capture, uh, the choir and the, uh, pastor yep. and, and that's being fed, uh, to StreamYard uh, just in case we have visitors coming in that right. we can capture them and then off. And so, um, so I, they, they want me there. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm here, and I don't want to do a I don't want to to do an iPhone thing, but I don't want to interrupt service by being in the backstream. So I saw I kept seeing you guys say private chat, private chat, private chat, and and I didn't know what private chat was until I got into the room and then I saw private chat. Okay, but so I want to me... be able to communicate with them without right. interrupting service. How do right. I do this? Well, the same thing you said. So when I'm doing a live show, okay, mm -hmm. I have a guest, uh, one of the people that's, that has to deal with the show, always in the green room. So that would be you. You log mm -hmm. in and you're always in the back green room. And then if you want them to do stuff, you just talk in the private chat and they see it. So when you're in the, when you chat private chat, Christian sees it. So if I tell Christian right now, watch this, I'm going to tell him to do something. Um, yeah, I can talk. I can type. Right. So so I, yeah, I think you're asking to talk now. Audible. So what you'd want it. So I'll say this: what you'd want it. So you have a couple ways to do this. So one, Charles, check the check our messenger chat. By the way. Yep. Um, so one thing you can do, obviously, you can type back to that person. If you need to, like, talk to them like audibly. Like the other thing that you a lot of people do is this: they'll take out one headset, they'll put a second headset into their ears, and they'll have mm -hmm. another private communication that they're talking to them with. Oh yeah. So with me, I use WhatsApp. So I like use the actual phone. like phone call. So yeah. And that way you're dialing in basically. Yeah. So, so you can do that. You can do that uh, on with Chrome without interrupting StreamYard. So what I do is on, like Christian said, on the phone, I have one ear yeah. bud in and I'm talking to them on WhatsApp. And on the other one, I'm listening to through StreamYard. So they're actually. Well, that's, what, that's what I'm doing, for example, to monitor YouTube and Facebook to make sure that the audible from the audio rather is 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 fine so why why are, i guess why would you well I, I mean i guess so like so for example right now let's just use this as an example let's use charles mm -hmm. and i as an example right now i just have regular you know i have headphones in right now and i'm hearing anything that's on my computer charles and i are communicating back and forth through the actual stream okay let's say charles and i also wanted to be on another stream and hear the other chatter that's on another line with other producers and things like that, right? What we would do is this. I would take this headphone out, get rid of that one. I would put a, a pair of headphones in, wired, wireless, whatever, connect them to my phone, separate device. Charles and I would be on like, let's say we're talking on WhatsApp or a Google number or anything like that. We would then have a separate number open to where, and I could have this completely on mute where I'm able to then listen to him that way while hearing the actual stream here. Does that make sense? So if I were to do this on this call here, yep. yes, and I were to flip over to the YouTube channel right now, mm -hmm. the YouTube channel is about 15 seconds behind. Yes. Yep. yep. That's, um, that's typical. That's typical of like YouTube. So, Facebook so your recommendation, how can I do that without the lag? There's always going to be a lag. There's always going to be a lag. Whatever we do now, like if you look at it, if I do this with my hand, and I go look at YouTube right now. Three, two, one. There goes my hand. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's always gonna it's it's always gonna do that. It does it on purpose. Just in case, you know, like okay, perfect example. You know what you watch the award show mm-hmm. and they catch people that swear. They caught it because of the leg. So the person swore and the person in the green room is like <laughs> they caught it. <laughs> Without the leg, <laughs> you would never be able to catch it. So they do it on okay. purpose. Everything is there's a timing. So if there's a blooper or a mistake, they can catch yeah. it. And so and so here's the thing. If you're the producer, for example, you're not on screen, you're not having to talk to the actual stream, right? So if you're the producer behind the scenes, you've got that other headset in, you're talking with your other producers, your other person who, you know, you could have someone else watching the stream, for example, and being like, hey, you know, Albert, uh, we're noticing like, for example, like you saw how like during today's, we had people that said, Hey, I didn't have audio. Obviously, like this is not a is not that high end of a production, but like Charles and I were able to, I was able to ask you all if there was audio, if there were audio issues or audio was out for anybody. However, on the flip side, if we were doing an actual stream where I was the producer behind the scenes and I wasn't having to actually talk as well, I would have that second headset in dialed into a separate number, and then I could have this other one totally, this other mic could be totally muted to where I can hear you all. And there's always going to be that small amount of delay that's there. It's going to be, yeah. you know, 10 seconds, 20 seconds. Okay. Depends on the platform you're streaming to. Yeah. And Jay, Jay, Jay Vlog said the same thing. You know, you can also use um, Discord yep. too. A lot of people yep. use Discord as a conversation piece because Discord, right. you can actually type in and you can talk at the same time. Yeah. So that's another way of communication with communicating with your team. Okay. Um, okay. Any other recommendations? Would that be best? Yeah. Do you do it? Do you do remote? Yeah. Producing? That's yeah. That's yeah. what I use. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm here and I produce other people's show in other places. And then I'm, I have one person in my groom green room that I talk to. And I also have them on the phone just in case they want to say something to me. I'm off camera and I'm like, yep. She's like, Oh, the guest is late. The guest is late. They're not coming exactly. on. Yep. Move, don't go to the next guest. Go to commercial. Go to commercial. And I'm like, okay. And then, then all three of us are communicating. The host is reading the chat. The person's in my ear. Go to commercial. And then we're like, okay. So we're all on the same page. Three, two, one, commercial. Exactly. And then she's talking to me in, in one ear. And I got the other person in the other ear. And they're like, Chuck, what's going on? And I'm like, okay, yep, okay. And I'm typing it into the private chat. Um, the guests just arrived. Um, waste about three minutes and I'll bring them in. So we're all communicating. And so it's it, like almost like a sub okay. channel or sub channel. It's another like communication channel that's going on while the stream is actually going on or being produced. Yeah. Okay. And in my notes, I have uh, two other things. One, yes, uh, mm -hmm. I see you have a countdown timer, but it's a, it's yeah. a, it's a, it's a 30 second ish countdown timer. Do you have one that's countdown to a specific time? Like, say two, three o'clock. I, we built those to where like, it was only 30 seconds, 60 seconds, two minutes. Hold on, hold on. When you mean, so, sorry. Exa that, example, that. example, yeah. uh, church service starts at 1030. Uh -huh. And you have, you have a, a, a commercial thing or so, mm -hmm. or you want to play something through from 10, 10 to to uh 10 30 but you want to start service oh you know, but that's at, you. okay i get it now sorry i didn't understand it but that's you though you can make videos and timers for half an hour so here's the thing we tell everybody christian says it and i send it if your show starts at 10 30 mm -hmm. and you want a half an hour timer you, you start your timer at 10 and the time it finishes then you just jump on the screen Cause you're live at 10, you push the timer and it's going for that how long you want <laughs> until people jump on. That's one way. Or the other way is when you set your show, everybody gets a reminder on Facebook and YouTube show starting in three minutes, four minutes, like it counts it down itself. Okay. So remember when wow. you, when you schedule your stuff on YouTube and on Twitter and, and, and all that stuff, there's a timer that starts like even today, before we started our show, the timer was telling everybody, Show starts in two minutes. Show starts in one minute. Show starts in thirty seconds. Okay, and, yeah, and, yeah. Worship presenter has has a thing built into it, a program built into it that you can set yep. a timer and yeah. And I was just wondering if if Streamyard has something similar. And no, yeah, it's right. better. Well, to, yeah, go ahead, Charles. Sorry, it's better to do your own timer.
because okay. if you're say say you're late, say you're late and you're, you're I was late this morning. <laughs> <laughs> say you say you're 15 or 10 minutes late. That 30 minute timer is still not going to work for you. You're going to need a shorter timer. You see what okay. I'm saying? You can't play the 30 when you're already 10 minutes behind. Then it, it throws off your timing. So it's better for you to control it and say, oh, guys, look, we're, we're 10 minutes late. Okay, well, put the, put the 15 minute timer on. Okay. And my last question um, the uh, two guys before, um, yeah. uh, the guy showed a spreadsheet. Yep. Huh? I, I created my own you know, uh, spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. yep. Are there recommended spreadsheets like that? Uh, cause you know, that cause, cause I have my own and I, I liked his, um, uh, and I just was wondering if there is a recommended, uh, it's know. whatever, it's whatever makes you comfortable because that spreadsheet that he had mm -hmm. to me, it, it gave me, it gave me, it made me dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> my my spreadsheets are way smaller and compact for me to understand but that spreadsheet oh, okay. was so detailed for him it, it worked I best mean, for him. like each i mean each, it, it worked like an order of service thing for me you know just yeah. plop in the thing and you set the top you know yeah my spreadsheets are completely different how i do mine real quick it'd be like christian time in live it'd be this person time in video this person time in, you know what I mean? Like mine are so simple. Yep. So each person is, is going to be different. Okay. And in the comments, I, I, I put a question for you, Charles. Um, yep. You know, what kind of makeup do you use to cut down the glare? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually was going to answer this. So. <laughs> this is all natural makeup, my friend. <laughs> So here's the thing. What's funny? You showed one camera because the light, because the window was open behind you. Yeah, that's why it got dark. So oh, the light should always be behind the camera, and then you, you'll see a complete different shade of you. Because if the light is in in front or behind, it changes your whole your whole look. So yeah, so I, I recommend just a, a clean shave in the morning before you get on the camera, and then that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> thank you guys fantastic no thanks for joining us albert mm -hmm. okay bye bye yeah okay charles we got we have a few more people backstage and we All also right. have one that we had somebody send us a video they're okay. in the i think they're in the uk or something they're in very odd time zone uh that we also have to take a look at so we got okay. about five more <laughs> all right <laughs> let's do them come on people. So okay so monique you ready to come on Give me a hand. Give me a thumbs up. Okay, good. Okay, sorry. I saw like a shake in the head, and then I was like, "Hold on, not sure." So, okay, this is Monique. Monique, how are you doing? Hi, good. How are you? Hey, Monique. Good to see Very you. Good. Hi. Thank you for being patient. Patient with us, by the way. <laughs> I'm totally killing time on a gorgeous sunny day, but that's okay. And by the way, that guy you had on before is like ninja level um, yeah. stream yarding. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. Way beyond my pay grade. So, what can we do for you? So, yeah, I, I actually kind of almost had the same uh, question about Countdown because I, uh, I double live stream to both Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Okay. And it. usually I kind of um, build my show. So if I'm doing an 8 p.m. tonight, I actually set it for 8.05 so that I can build up people and subscri subscribers coming on and that okay. whole thing. I would rather use a countdown timer. Okay. The way it works on YouTube, however, is uh, you're able, to, I mean, they have like 20 different amazing ones that will go like mm -hmm. five minutes or so. And, uh, but you can only use them when it is a uh, video that is downloaded as opposed to yeah, the live yeah. yep. so is there a way to do it for the live or do i have to do it from my Streamyard feed and go live before i'm even ready to so what yeah so what you would do is you'd want to create so create your five minute countdown timer in whatever third party app you want to use put that in your Streamyard dashboard under brand and then under video clips so I'm going to share with you right now. Yeah. So, that so, you, so if you put it there, then what I would do is if you're going to go live at 8.05, like you can always, you can also go live before 8 o'clock or 8.05, for example. So, okay. So if you look at my, my stream here. Got it. Okay. And hopefully we're, hopefully we're not going to pick up. Let me mute that one. Actually, there you go. Let's try that. Okay. Let me mute mine. Okay. Okay. You see me here. Yeah. 
Okay, so usually I'll start out with uh, video clips, which will okay. mute out our mics while okay. we're all Got on. It. Yep. Okay. Um, but like doing a timer and then doing the video clip and then going live, I guess I just have to accommodate for that timing. Oh. As you can see up here, oh, I scheduled it for 805. Hold on, say that part again. Say what you just said again. So doing okay. the timer, then doing, doing the video the timer, clip. Then yeah. doing the intro. Yeah. I have, you know, a couple of different ones I, I choose from. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then going live. So intro maybe is uh, okay. minute twenty. Uh timer would then be five minutes or so. I yeah, I guess so, I have to okay, do it so on my own, huh? So here I see what you're saying. You oh hey, what's going on there? I put the wrong <laughs> thing for my uh Sorry, so, there's so the wrong them, screen. You want them, you want, <laughs> I know what you're saying. You want them back to back to back. I want them back to back to back. Okay. That's so what right. you would do is you can, you can make them as one long video mm -hmm. and share mm -hmm. them in the video feed instead of putting them into the, into the folder. In the video feed as opposed to the folder. Yeah. Okay. So, do you see oh, me now? Okay. There's, there's the correct thing. Sorry. Yeah. That's okay. So Sorry, when you share. Was... Yeah. Okay. So if you go share. So, and, and so yeah, go, so, so Charles, let me, let me jump in yeah. real quick. So you have different places you can put videos. So you can put one in the brands folder under video clips. You right. know about that one. Now, if you want to, though, if you have a longer video that you want to play together, that's outside that 10 minutes in the size, yeah. what you could do is you can use the share feature at the bottom video file. and then there's an option that says share video file and you right. can actually share that. You can load up a couple of them if you want to. But you could share that as well. So now you're, really, yeah. So now your timer is going. Then your your intro goes right after it because you you join them together. Okay. So will putting up the video file won't mute our mics though. Usually I'll have like four people on or so. So I have to actually just manually go through that, mute everybody out, start yeah. the video. Yeah. Hopefully run back by the time the stupid video is over, yeah. and then start the show. But where are you running to? Like, aren't you? You're I right might here. have to go to the bathroom. I don't know. You know, <laughs> things happen. <laughs> there you go. That's why you do everything right before. Okay. You know your show starts at five. Okay. At five. Yep. At four forty-five. Washroom break. Water break. Grab everything and come. It's back. a nervous tick. The moment I know I have five minutes to go before the show, I immediately have to go to the bathroom. That's just the well, way it goes on a live show. There you go. So maybe you need the long video then. Play the video and go. <laughs> okay. Put the video in there and go. Um, okay. And I have one more, uh, one other question. Yeah, so sure, yeah. I, I tend to, I am on um, a Mac. I obviously don't use okay. Safari for my streaming. Okay. I do tend to use Google Chrome, but I, I, I tend to have a little bit of like a little clicking issue in my audio sometimes. So I moved over to Firefox. However, in Firefox, you can't just do the, um, you can't just connect to like share screen and do audio off of another thing, right? You can only do it as a video and audio component, correct? Okay. So, um, so yes, I do hear the clicking, but see? I always, I, but I always tell everybody it's not the system that clicks. It's it's oh no, it's not your fault. It's totally on me and I'm not even sure what it is. I yeah. Mean, so it's what? usually the mic, the wire, your headphones, something. It's never the system. It's so, the 4,000 peripherals that I have to put into my MacBook because <laughs> it, t it takes nothing except for a simple C drive, a C so, hub. Well, uh, yeah, well, most com actually most computers, PC and Mac are all doing the same thing. Um, they're moving to like, you know, portless devices. What you, what you need in order to do that, so you really only need one item with multiple things coming off of it. Uh, for example... You can get a plug-in hub. Okay. You probably got one of those, but you're so cute. I'm gonna show you something. I'm going to show you the amount of different hubs. <laughs> so that here's I the thing. Hold on. Let's put your full screen. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so hold on. So I have quite hold on. So I have questions. So okay. the couple of things I have questions on. So for starters, none of those look like they're Apple ones. So what, this what brands one... are these? Okay, this Gazinta is okay. the one I bought with my computer, which is okay. the Apple one. Then that okay. stopped working, and then I bought a, a little one? cheapy I, I, one. Okay, got Then it. I have this one, which is yep. just USB without yep. C. Okay. Then I have this one, which is HDMI <laughs> for my <laughs> and then USB, and then all right. sorts of goodies. So 
it's driving me insane. So now the one I have in here, which I, I paid like $70 yep. for at Staples, I okay. have one, two, three USBs in there, one C, and my HDMI for my monitor. So can I ask a couple questions on that? Mm -hmm. What what all do you have plugged into that? Okay, so I have my camera. Why do you have, first off, why do you have so much stuff plugged in, I guess? Well, okay, because I have my camera, okay, camera. And then okay. I have a, this is like a 30-inch monitor. So that's HDMI screen. monitor. Okay, got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I have my mic. Okay, got it. And, okay, that, that. Oh, and then I have the, um, then I have... One other Gazinta, which I'm not really sure what that is. Oh, it's just another uh, charger for C to C hub for my what? pad. Okay. So take off the pad. <laughs> oh, that's well, that, that comes and goes. That's not like a, a normal thing. But the okay. three that I have are the HDMI, the two USBs. Okay. So the thing I think you need actually is let me actually go get this. Charles, keep talking. Yep, gonna... I got you. I got you. All right. So before we, while he goes to get all the nice gadgets for I'm you, in a box. That's all I'm getting. Tell tell everybody <laughs> when your stream when your stream it comes on. So it's not consistent because I just do it for fun. Mm -hmm. uh, so normally I do something called things that go gunk in the night, which is like a creepy murder mystery thing um, at eight o'clock on Saturdays. And then I do something called Radio Gunk, which is about Howard Stern and other radio broadcasters and disenfranchised fans, which we usually do on like Wednesday or Thursday nights. Depends on the go. day. All right. So we got to get you going constantly on a certain time. I know I believe, you know. I, well, I will tell you just a really quick history. I had a YouTube channel that had well over, I don't know, 17, 18,000 listeners. And, um, and we used to just do shows about Howard and I, I don't, I do know what I did wrong to get myself demonetized and canceled. Um, so I just started up all over again a couple of months ago and I have about 2000 subscribers, but I have over a million views and over, I don't know, 80,000 hours. So it's kind of crazy. Um, and, you know, financially it, it's nothing, but, you know, I monetize mostly through uh, Super Chats yeah. and stuff like that. And then I have a forum that goes with it that there I do go. Google Ads on. So, yep. So you'll get, you'll get your friends back. That's the main thing. You got to let yeah. your friends know that you're back. Social media, the tags, put them I'm all, all there. Over it. Yep. Yeah. They, I'm all, all over they, it. they all come back. All right. I, Christian's back. Oh, so, yeah, you got. I have two things for you. First thing was, um, if your channel gets actually like, if you get de if your channel gets removed for like demonetization and things like that, you typically don't want to just start another channel. YouTube doesn't necessarily like that. So just a heads up on that. Like, I don't, it's a different channel. It's different than what I had before. Is it under a totally different email address and all yes. that sort of thing? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, I just make sure I don't try not to run afoul of the rules. So oh, no, 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 I am, I am, I am, I am an angel now, but awesome. you know, <laughs> um, so, okay. So you had that USB C hub that yes. has HDMI, ethernet, probably USB a, maybe some USB C ports, micro SD, whatever, right. Those things yeah. only have the, all those little things. They only have the ability to, uh, handle so much at one time. That's the first thing. So okay. the more stuff you plug in, it's like, awesome. It's got eight ports, but the problem is that it may not be powerful enough to do that. So when you plug that in, it actually then starts to suck more power from your computer. Okay. So what you probably, what, if it were me, if you're, as long as you're on a laptop, you're not going to be very, you know, you can use this from, uh, it can be used. Like if you are mobile, mobile, meaning like you're moving around, things like that. But I have a powered, um, this is a powered dock. It's the same thing you have, except it's powered by uh, the power bricks actually bigger than the dock itself. And so the reason I went with something like that, it's a Thunderbolt dock, is that it's designed to actually pick up. So it's going on my camera here. Um, it's sorry about that. Uh, there we go. It's designed to take more things because it's not going to draw more power. It's independently powered. Yes. Interesting. They cost a lot more. I will say this: they cost significantly more than those USB-C hubs, but they are. Well, you powered. can see what I'm going through. I mean, so but, right. total, I probably could have just bought one of those, and it was exactly. Been... Okay, and you it's... get the high quality ones usually of those. And the other great thing about it <laughs> is it has USB-C ports, and you can plug 
some of those USB-C items off of it. It's got enough power yeah. basically to be able to handle it. That's the key thing. Yeah. Okay, so it's called a power brick. Uh, uh, no, it's a um, it's a thunder, it's a Thunderbolt USB hub. It's yeah. a powered Thunderbolt hub. Just look up Cal Digit. Thunderbolt. C A L D I G I T. Yeah. Cal Digit. Yeah. So there's a comment right here. Thunderbolt dock delivers 40 GB throughout the USB hub, 10 gigabytes. There you go. Wow. So that actually will make a huge difference. I mean, I've, I've had so many of my friends who are on my forum who are techies, you know, looking into it, you know, refreshing everything, moving into different um, uh, streams. I mean, just craziness. And we could never get to the bottom of what. But yeah, it's worth the investment. I mean, you know. One and show Leo, of super chats. I'm sure I could buy one. How expensive are we talking here? Yes. Uh, that was, I think, I bought mine when it initially got launched, but it's like I think two hundred dollars or so. Okay. They, they, they vary though. There's different ones. So CalDigit makes a few different ones. Okay. So, so depending on Cal how many Digit, inputs I anchor, need, whatever. Yeah. And everybody in the everybody in the comments is like it's it's worth the buy. It's a great investment. It's helped me a lot. Uh, thanks, Leo. Leo's the one that I got all that information from. Yeah, he he gave me the the, the specs. So yeah, thanks, Leo, yeah. for that. Um, yep. Awesome. And it awesome. Goes, but See, it, but that's an unexpected to surprise you. to this uh, this conversation. I was goes back to the one question you had, which was, "Hey, I could have actually just gotten the powered one versus." buying all the other adapters. Cause I, I, I've done the same mistakes before. And we've all been through this. We bought the, you know, we bought what we thought we needed versus what we actually should use. And the great thing about that is then it helps, like, as Leo mentioned, it, it handles 40 gig, uh, gigabyte through USB hubs 10. So um, basically it's able to handle a lot more than the other ones. Brilliant, brilliant. It, now, in this... terms of your, yeah. yeah and I'm sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, in terms of your audio clicking, things like that. So part of it would be, the first thing I would always tell people is unplug everything and plug it back in one by one and see when that audio gets introduced. Yeah. So uh, Charles, you asked me earlier, you know, Charles mentioned that I have a, you know, I got a six foot like extension cable. I bought two of these. And the reason is because just because this thing, it's always plugged in, it goes bad. And so I have two of them. And the thing is, um, what I want, want to kind of like make sure to mention on that is unplug everything. Like, for example, sometimes I'll come on and I'm like, oh, my audio doesn't sound right. One ear's on, the other one's not. I unplug everything, plug it back in. And then typically that's going to fix it or restart of the machine. Yeah, yeah, I have to do that every time I, I start a new show. Even even if I've set up for people to have their links because I have yep. to set up the show in advance. Um, either way, like coming on with you guys was just kind of fortuitous. Yep. I was on YouTube trying to figure out where countdowns were and I saw you on my, uh -huh. awesome. on my thing. I'm like, oh my God, here's the boys. So yeah. Um, yeah, so I just plugged it in. But normally in order to not hear the clicking, I would have had to just shut down everything, restart all over again, replug everything in, and then hopefully stop the clicking but it just never goes away. This is brilliant and it, it is well worth the time I sat here waiting to awesome. to just get to that one thing and I will absolutely do that. By the way, I'm going to bring Leo in. So Leo was making some suggestions backstage. Leo uh, is the brilliant Hi, one from before. Hi, Leo. Yes. How are you? Hello, Monique. Can you hear me now? Yep. Perfectly. Yeah. Uh, you, what you've got, you've got the same problem that lots and lots and lots of people have. Um, so the first thing as Christian and Charles has mentioned is the there is a big difference between a USB connector and the Thunderbolt dock. So I have got hold on. He's got everything. He's brilliant. We're all going to our gear class. Should have always I should have should have got it before I went before I sat down. Listen, I? I'm gonna show I'm gonna, I'm gonna show everybody my graveyard while you're doing that. Listen, we all have it, okay? <laughs> We all uh, have graveyards, it's eight, so true. So I all my junk, okay? So it's all there, everything you need, okay? So it's all there, people. <laughs> there's there's a point there's a point they always say, Charles, isn't it? You never it's like what do you replace equipment with? You never replace, you just buy more. Yeah. Just buy, more. just buy more. This is an expensive show. You it's not not, but you know what I mean. It's like so me with cameras. Digit. I buy lenses Absolutely. constantly and, and well, never use that's the next it. One. If you've got good cameras, you know, that's it. So call digit. They do USB and they do Thunderbolt. Now the connector looks exactly the same, but this is Thunderbolt. And the difference is that it actually is driving, the, in this case, it's got two HDMIs 
um, a USB and an Ethernet connection. And it can drive all of them at the same time, full speed. When the USB things that you've got, and I've got tons and tons of them, they only drive at 10 meg. And these things drive at 40. So this is the big difference. It's just, if you think it's just adding lanes to your, to your, your motorway or oh, freeway. The other yeah. thing is you said the clicking, the clicking, the two things. Reduce the number of things you've got where you're, how is, which, which uh, audio interface are you using, Monique? Which audio interface am I using? How's your mic plugged in? What's your mic so, plugged okay, into? So, okay, so here's what I, here's what I have going on right now. So my mic and headphone, which are one unit, yep. which you see right here. Although I normally okay. don't use headphones like cans like okay. this, but I have an ear infection. Um, so my USB is into the hub and I, I obviously okay. can't take it out because I can't. Uh... Got it. Got it. So the U the microphone has a USB connection on it. Correct. Correct. Okay. Great. Okay. That's fine. Second That's is fine. my monitor, which is connected C to C. Uh, it's a BenQ okay. like thirty five inch monitor. Then my 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 webcam, which is also connected um, C to USB. Yeah. And then, uh, and then the other thing, oh, which is just a C to C for charging my iPad at some point. And are you, you're on a Mac, Mac mini, is this? I'm on a MacBook pro. MacBook pro. Okay. What I want you to do on your, in your, um, spotlight search is mm -hmm. type in MIDI, M I D I, mm -hmm. and then it'll bring up the MIDI audio setup. Okay. And that's a window that it'll bring up. Oh, I've gone into there. And what you want to look at is the, 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 so there are two types of, two um, frequencies that audio talks at. Um, one is 48 hertz. Typically, there are only two that we ever deal with, 48 hertz and 44.1. And you have a look at your microphone. Your microphone is either, is it 48 hertz or is it 44.1? All right, I'm looking. It was, you, you should be able to find in the MIDI audio devices, you should find your microphone. And in the microphone, you should see, can you see that in the audio no, devices? No, I'm having can a blank screen microphone? for my MIDI. Okay, so if you type in MIDI, and then it will come up in the search, on your spotlight search, you type in MIDI, you should see the first thing in there, it should come as yeah, audio, a, MIDI audio MIDI setup. setup. Mm -hmm. That's it, Open, double click and open that. That is and where that should I am. bring up a thing called audio devices. All right, hold on. I'm gonna let me stop. And then here's here's a here's a thing that we said in the beginning of the show. When you get a mic, when you get any type of product, make sure you read the information on that mic. Okay. Okay. That's the number one thing you need to do because just because I use two different mics, my mic. If I plug in Leo's mic right now, it's gonna sound different because my settings are set for this yeah. microphone. So even though I take his mic and I plug it in, I go, I don't sound like Leo. Why is it not sounding like Leo? Because <laughs> it's it takes different levels. So make sure when you get your yeah. products, read what it suggests. So, yeah, just so you know, I've been podcasting probably for about seven years. I have gone through Sennheisers. I have gone through Behringer's. I have gone through, you know, a whole editing board um, before I decide okay. to USB directly. But here's what I'm showing. Don't. I don't know if you can see my yeah. screen. Um, I'm looking at, see, this is what's coming up for audio devices. It's blank. So, All right. Whoa. so we're, we're going to have to move on pretty quick, but where we're going to yeah, do. I'm yeah. sorry. I didn't mean to go into this uh, yeah. rabbit hole with you no, guys. No, no reason. This is a great tip for everybody to find things. What we're going to do is in the chat, you guys link up, send him, send him, send her yep. your link, and then you guys can help each other out right in there. Yeah. What oh, you should have seen, too. what you should have seen is this. I normally do, which I'm actually surprised. Uh, I yeah. know my MIDI. So And then yeah. what you can do is you can go into there and you can change the the thing. And it's normally it's between forty four point one and forty eight. And you'll find that if you change between the two mm -hmm. that you'll you'll change it. That will that will typically will fix it. Um and if you're after I'm what I'm what are you actually talking to me on, I'm actually on a flow eight. I'm on the flow eight um audio uh mixer. Uh, and then uh, this is a high LPR 40. So, so my this last is a radio. question though, between Leo and Christian, Christian, what you showed me before the Cal digit, yep. that's different than what Leo just yeah. showed me. Yes. Mm, okay. Because his directly so goes Cal into the digit, C drive. 
into the sea? N no, I'll explain. My Cal digit is my interface because I need the ports because I'm on a MacBook Pro and I've got only four ports. So I have the Cal digit, which breaks out as the Thunderbolt dock, not a hub, a dock. Right. That's the right. big difference. Right. And from there, my microphone, this microphone, which is a, a Heil PR40, is plugged into a sound mixer, sure. which is called a Flow 8, which is which is the Behringer Flow 8, which at the moment is literally the, the go-to that everybody's using. It's the best mixer out of the market at the moment. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, and it's relatively cheap. It's a it's under three hundred dollars, which you may say is expensive. No. But about three hundred dollars <laughs> if you want to sound so much money. This, okay. <laughs> if you wanna if you wanna sound like a radio if you want a radio <laughs> voice <laughs> then this is a radio <laughs> microphone and this is a radio mic. Oh, there you uh, go. Sorry, this is a radio microphone and this is a radio um interface. Uh, mixer. Interface. Yeah. Interface, mixer. yeah. yeah. All right, and guys. It makes a difference, doesn't it? Thank you so much. Great to meet you, Monique. Okay. It's great what you're doing. Loving what you're doing. Thank you, guys. So, awesome. yeah. So while we get ready for our next guest, I'm going to read some of these comments because it, it was Thank so. Thank you, Leo. Thank you. It was so funny that we're we're all mentioning um, about you know looking up your mic, and it says uh, fantasy here. He says laugh out loud. I bought a great mic, but didn't even know that it needed a sound interface. Yeah. yeah. Some mics, some mics need a cloud lifter, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. with the, depending on what mic you buy. So you bought the mic, you think, oh, ready to go. And you stick it in and you go, I can't hear anything. I'm and, up. and what do you do? You bump the gain up on the mic. And yep. then what do you end up with? You end up with clipping. Yep. Because you've got it so loud. And like, for example, uh, I bought this Shure SM7B microphone. And mm -hmm. I did that when I initially had it. I didn't have my interface. I didn't have a cloud lifter. And I bumped the gain up so much that I could literally hear conversations outside. <laughs> and I was like, well, that was like, oh, I was, and, and having not used it before, I was like, oh, is this how it's supposed to sound? And the yeah. answer is no, it's not really supposed to sound like that. Mm -hmm. So then it was, oh, then I also had to go buy the other stuff. So it's about like, I, I tell people this all the time. If you've got like a guitar center or any of those kinds of places near you, go to one of those, check out, like talk with their representatives there. They have, you can test the Heil PR40, the Shure SM7B, the Shure MV7. Yep. You can test the Blue Yeti if you want to, and you can do recordings and hear what they sound like right. and talk with their sound engineers as well who can actually recommend the right type of microphone for you. Because right. again, it's not about buying the most expensive mic or what everyone is using. It's about buying the one that's right for what you're doing. Right. For me, I didn't need a cloud lifter because my Go XLR Pro has a system that built in it to convert the mic so i didn't have to buy the extra stuff so all the things you have you got to research to see if they're compatible and what it needs so all right all right let's move on with our next guest there's a next we got guest. three more people we got one video we got to look at and then we're gonna wrap okay let's go people let's go okay, so danielle is up danielle ready three Just thumbs up two, cool. one where is she and she's how are we doing, Danielle? Hi. Hi. How's I it going? You, I gave you I gave you an applause just for being so patient and waiting for us. So there you go. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, I was actually just doing some work while I waited for you guys. So my my camera's kind of blown out because I'm okay. on my um my laptop camera. I don't have my regular thing kind of hooked up. Okay. Got and it. I wanted to jump on with you guys because I kind of come on every weekend. I'm in the comments, kind of commenting huh. and and talking. Yeah, yeah. And I never get a chance to come on. So I was like, let me come on because I have some some quick questions. Sure. So, yeah, um, let me jump right into it. Um, so my first question is when I usually come into stream, you like right now I have my Elgato right. Wave 3. Yeah. Uh huh. So I don't even know if you can hear me or not, but. Yep, we can hear uh, you. OK, cool. I have my Elgato Wave 3. And when I get into right into StreamYard, it like blows out the sound versus, you know, if because I, I deal with OBS, Streamlabs, mm -hmm. OBS and all that stuff, too. Okay. And when in there, you know, you can control kind of like your your sound. But on here, I feel like I can't really control it, even though I have the dial to go up and down It always. I just sound like so loud and I can't control it even though I have the dial. Like, how would I do that? So on the, so she's using the Elgato Wavelink microphone. They make a, what, a Wavelink 
one, I think, and a wavelength three. Is that right? Yeah, um, I have the three. Got the three. And the great thing about the Elgato wavelengths, and the same thing for the Rode Pod mic, they come with software that will allow you to uh, do a lot of the audio routing. So in your case, what I would do, Danielle, is I would be I would use the software that Elgato has. Oh so Lord, don't, even, <laughs> huh? don't even get me started on the software. I can't. No. I can't, so, I can't so, do it. Well, so what you do though is, so basically that's what's controlling your, like, that's how you can control all that audio. It, it does a lot more by the way, too. Yeah, It's mm -hmm. well worth installing it. So basically I'll use the example. Um, it's great for just control. So you install it for that mic and you could go in and, and then what you do in StreamYard is select that as your audio source. Okay. So that, are you on a Mac or a PC? No, I'm on a PC. Okay. So uh, again, make sure on your PC, you've selected the right audio source, Yeah. but install that Elgato Wavelink software. The reason right. I would do that is, is this. So let's say you want to bring in background music. Elgato has the, and you, this comes with your mic. It, it comes with the Rode Pod mic as well. They have software designed to do that. So you don't need another program. Right. So basically uh, you open the Elgato Wavelink. You can add, let's say you had, um, Copy, royalty free copyright free music from spotify because i think they do have some of that you would then be able to take the spotify music and route it directly in to your broadcast using the elgato wavelength software so do, you, do you understand what he means right now no, no, no. I, I definitely understand what he means i have the software because okay. with this particular mic yeah. um that's probably the only thing i don't like about it is that it in order for you to even get it to work on your computer, yep. you mm -hmm. have to install the software. So I have the stuff, the software. Yeah. I can actually go in yeah. and kind of adjust everything on there and like put right. a browser in, put another audio yep. source. Yep. Da, 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 yeah. da. The problem is I have no idea how to work it. Okay. <laughs> so so it's like, here's the number one thing. It I has mean, like it's... all of these thousand things you can like plug into it. Yes. But keep it here's this. Keep it simple. Okay. Um, Christian has an interface and I have an interface and all the stuff you, we can do, you can do as well. So I can control my sound going up and down. So I'm not even touching anything here. I can control my sound from right here. My sound is controlled by my knobs. Right. Okay. You can do the same thing. So if you sound loud, go into the system and you can take yourself down right now. It's set at a certain level. That's why you're hearing the loudness coming from you. Oh, you mean you mean in the system on the uh, software setting it yeah. at a certain level? Yeah. So if yeah. you think Is you're loud, you okay. go into the system and you'll see volumes. Yeah. All right. Um, and, here, and here's another thing: I can hear I can hear myself coming out. You don't have earphones. Oh, so should I put earphones in? Yeah, because when you when you put earphones in, the sound changes as well. Because you can't hear. I don't think I don't. I don't. Will you guys be able to? Well, you can still hear me. I don't know if it'll still be connected to my microphone, though. But if, if, if there's different ways of doing it, so you can actually connect it in, or I think some microphones has the the port to connect it into the mic. I don't know if that one does. No, this that one has doesn't. a mic port. So that one, the mic. So basically, your mic goes into your computer at that point. Right. Okay. So your mic. Sorry, your mic. Your headphones go into that computer. So, so that's one way. For example, you've got your mic plugged in via USB C or USB, and then the headphones are going into the laptop. In Charles's okay. case, in my case, we're going into a mixer, and then my headphones are going into the mixer. Everything's going into the mixer. And I got one cable going into my laptop. Right. And then now we now can you hear me through into the ears? Okay, so so you're, I'm hearing you're, your headphones, but not, you're muted here. You're let's muted. Unmute. unmute yourself. I can unmute her. Let's see. Okay. There you go. Say again. Okay. So I can hear you. Can you hear? Yep. That, it's it's probably just going to be my headphones you hear though, right? No, we yep. hear your Elgato. We hear your mic. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah. know you could do that. Okay. But, but yeah. now your voice just changed. Your tone of voice changed. Because uh -huh. when you can't hear yourself, yeah, everybody does it. We speak louder. Okay. We, but when you can hear all of us coming into you. Yeah. It's like being on a cell phone. You know, when you go on speaker and you see the everybody's yelling. <laughs> Yo, yeah. I know. Like, hey. You're like, you're on speaker, dude. You don't have to yell. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Because they're not hearing the person to, to take their level down. So you yeah. end up speaking loud. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. 
it's the same thing. When you hear yourself, your tone and your voice change and then your mic picks you up differently. Well, I mean, for me, if you like if you take a look at my channel, I mostly do like a lot of art streams. Mm -hmm. So a lot of my streams when I do go live um, is just me kind of talking and like narrating. Right, kind of what I'm doing. So you want, so that's what that's the number one thing. You want, you want nice, clear, soft, right. easy voice. So that's why right. I would say is put the microphone in, check the levels because you want it to be nice and and comfortable. Yeah, and you can do that in the other mic is in the software as well. By the way, so the mic has, uh, it has, like basically you can see the green, the yellow, orange. And yeah, the it red. has it has all the dials. Like, okay, let me see. Can you? Yeah, but the like software I, will. So the thing is, though, the software. So like, as you're speaking, you can visually see if it's peaking or clipping. Right, you know what, right. You know, what, you know what that means about peaking and clipping. Do you mean, right? I, I know what you mean because it'll yeah. it'll get like into the red. Exactly. Yeah. So if yeah, you go into the software, if you go into the software, you can see if you're hitting in, in into that peaking. So yeah. that's why you need the software open so you can see if it's if it's clipping or not. Now, for me, I I don't I hate these headphones i hate headphones period so would i just be able to like plug these in even if i'm live or whatever and then like take these off and whatever i think the only time i would probably need them is if i was actually doing a podcast interview right what do you think well here's the two things you need to be able to hear yourself number one Mm-hmm. And the other thing is the way the reason I told you to plug them in because I could hear myself reverbing back in and coming back out again. Okay. So okay. I could hear every time I was speaking to you, I heard myself coming out of your computer. Right. That's why you put microphones in so you don't hear the reverb headphones, yeah. coming back up. And and yeah. Charles and I have headphones on. That's the other thing. Like we have headphones on. They're not like they're not. For example, you're using the ones that came with your phone. It looks like. Um, yeah, this is for my iPhone. Yeah. So we've got specific yeah. ones that go over our ears, that go in our ears, go behind our neck. And then yeah. it looks like you you can kind of see these, but like Charles's, you can't really see. Well, yeah, I probably think I would prefer those. Yeah. I, I remember he was telling the other lady yeah. about them. Like the, you said it was a me one. Yeah, there's me and, audio. Yeah. yeah. So here, this is, this is it right here. The me one. Yeah. yeah. So it's okay. clear. You can't see it. It goes over my ear to the back. And then if I spin around, here's all the cable. And, but those are not, but those, what about wireless ones? Like not wireless, but you know what I mean? Like maybe. Uh, I, I wouldn't use wireless ones. You wouldn't use a wireless one? They, the, they, reason, right. the reason is very simple. So for starters, these do have like low power mode on them. Yeah. So they'll hit like low power mode and like they can, that can then cause like one headset will start disconnecting. The other one will be fine. Right. They'll start doing that. Um, if you've ever connected that, like a lot of people will connect them to like different devices. If they're in the vicinity, they can actually switch to the device. Yeah. Um, and the other thing is this, they don't actually sound good. Mm. They sound good to you, but they don't sound good to your audience. Oh. <laughs> and, and here's the thing. The reason I say that is because these things, you, these are great for like, you know, just an individual um, but they use software to improve the quality. Yep. So what yeah. they're doing is they're listening. So basically like right now, this is literally just going in my ear and there's nothing, yeah. it's not listening for anything. However, when you plug AirPods in, what they're doing is they have, they have like tons of mics on them. And what they're doing is they're listening all around you to adjust the sound so that it sounds good to you, but they don't right. sound good on the, uh, like if the environment's not very good, for example, you might be outside and somebody's like, Oh, you know, I can't hear it. And you're like, oh, well, it sounds great to me. It's because <laughs> it's picking up all the different noise that's around you. Right. So if you're in an environment that has really good uh, acoustics, they might sound good. Yeah. But for the most part, they're not going to sound that great. And right. you could go like talk to somebody and go watch your recording and then you'll be able to see how much of a difference there is. Right. right. And just before we let you go, I want to add to uh, Adam. He's absolutely correct. That's why I'm always that's why I'm always talking about Christian because Christian put an extender on me, mine is short because my my system is right here beside me. But if you your system is longer, you need a longer cord. Buy the extender because it's it's a real short cord. It comes with. You said it's an extension cable for your uh, headphones. Yeah, yep. so I don't have one because my stuff is right here beside me. If I if I take this camera down and show you, yeah, see, my system is right here beside me. So the cord is from here straight to me. 
So it's not oh, that okay. long. But okay. for other people that have like different stuff, you need that extra cable. Yeah. And then I would su suggest that you buy the extender, what Christian has. Yeah, I need the extension because, like I said, my computer wouldn't be anywhere near me because I do a lot of tutorials. Right. Yeah. Okay, so the n uh, the next, like, quick question that I quick have. Quick question. Yep, we got, what, two more people waiting? Okay, yeah. sorry yes, about that. Um, okay, so I was, again, audio issues, right? I was having an audio delay because I use, um, like I said, I use slobs. That's like my main mm -hmm. thing because I do gaming and other stuff yeah. too. Mm -hmm. So I use slobs and I usually do the virtual camera and I go through StreamYard. And for some reason, it's it was like a massive delay. Like I, I actually linked the video for you guys to to you know take a quick look at it because it's actually right at the beginning it was like kung fu audio <laughs> and <laughs> if you know what i'm talking about kung fu yeah, audio yeah, yeah. But it was like yeah, yeah. okay like it was like a karate movie and i was like moving and nothing else was going on so i was like okay so maybe here's, here, here's a quick tip for anybody before you go live and I want it in the comments, everybody that's still here. And thank you so much, everybody, for still hanging around and joining us and getting. Oh, we got a lot of people still watching. Yeah, so I <laughs> yes, thank you guys thank so much. You guys. But put in the comments, yes or no? Do you test your equipment before you go live, or do I you do, just, right? or do you just rely on it should work and go live? Like I test all my stuff before I go live. Make sure this works. Make sure that works. So put in the comments, yes, you test it, or no, you you yeah. don't test it before you go live. So what I suggest is like anytime you're about to go live just do a quick little test to see if it matches. And then like Christian always says, unplug, plug back in, restart. And sometimes just a computer reset. Mm -hmm. You know how you can go instead of shut down, it says restart. Right. I just restart my computer sometimes to get it back to, to connecting with each other. And then I'm good to go. Right. See what my issue was, and I'm having a hard time, like, you know, I'm pretty good with audio. I'm pretty good with live streaming, but the problem is, this particular issue was getting them because you know it's um what do you call it? It's like an offset thing that you have to put in mm -hmm. slobs yeah. to make sure that you're not getting that whatever that feedback or whatever you're getting. You're not getting that kung fu audio, right? But why so, you why are you using that though? Um, I'm using the virtual camera because I can do a lot of like fun things with my stream that. Okay. I can't necessarily do with StreamYard, but yet I love StreamYard because I've been using it for like the last two years. Right. And it has the, like, I can pop up like the comments. You can't do that in slobs. You can't pop up the comments. You can't do any of those things. Right. So that's why I meld the two together. Okay. And like I oh. said, because this, is, I do the offset. Mm -hmm. And then when I get onto doing the, everything's fine. I, I, you know, record myself before I go live to make sure that there's no audio issues. But then when I do it and sync it up to StreamYard, there seems to be a major delay. So um, that's kind of what I was thinking about. Like, does anybody know what I should be actually putting in there for the offset? The only thing that uh, seems look, to help it. If you look in the comments, it's, uh, one person says, thank you. Christian. Twice, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I'm not watching the comments. No, you're all good. No, he said okay. it earlier as well. And so, <laughs> yeah, um, so if you mute mute all in slobs, virtual camera video input in uh, StreamYard. Mute so, everything? Is that what he said? Yeah, mute all in slobs. So mute it all. Uh huh. And then do the virtual camera and the video input in StreamYard. Even though, like, uh, okay, I'm going to try that. I tried to go. mute just my microphone, but mm -hmm. maybe I should be muting everything. Yeah, that's what he's suggesting. Mute everything on that. Yeah. yeah. Muting everything. Okay, so the last thing, and we're going to wrap it up. <laughs> is, yeah, we got to move. I got to show. We got to move. <laughs> okay, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> how do I, if I want to, like, because I know you guys said that some people, because I know a lot of people was like, People are always asking me, like, how do you do your thing? Yeah, how yeah. do you have all these things going on? Yeah. Da, 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 da. How do you produce your show? So I'm thinking of getting into, like, video, like, helping people produce their shows because I know a lot of people who don't, mm -hmm. like, know a lot of things about it. Yeah. So how do I get into that with StreamYard or, like, how do I do that? Because I know you guys do that. Well, you can, one, um, help 
do some tutorials for yourself at first because you got to be practiced, like, you know, how to bring things up and share things and mm -hmm. test things to make sure that you're smooth with it as well. Right. So right. that's number one. Once you become smooth yourself, then I mean, I am good with it. That's not mm -hmm. what I'm talking about. I'm talking about how do I get into producing other stuff for other people? Because people oh, are okay, always okay. asking me, like, how do you do all these different things? And how mm -hmm. do you what X, Y and Z? You know what I mean? So the answer to that, I'm going to I'm going to piggyback off of something Charles said earlier, and I think it's going to be networking with people. Yeah. Right. So like. For example, if you have, if there are other people that are doing production, like reach out to them and see, like, for example, there's production companies that are always looking for people. There's, um, uh, you know, for example, like there's, uh, like there's people that if that, like there are people that that's all they do is produce. Right. So you can right. always ask them. It's almost like, a, it's almost like trying to join like a local, like sports team or something like that. Like if you want to join like your local basketball team, for example, like it's not just typically they're not just going to say like, Hey, here's the form, go fill it out. You kind of have to figure out who to actually go to. Yeah, You need steps. So it's going to be like, okay, you know what? If you want to produce for other people, you're going to want to ask other people that are already producing. Um, for example, Hey, do you have any openings or Hey, can I help you out with it? Yeah. So it's I like you've got to work your way into it. Yeah. I do this. I can help you with this. This is what I can do. And then they slowly start using you. And once they see that, you know what you're doing, then you just keep growing. Right, 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 right. And I'll say this: right. at face value, they may say, you know, they may say, "Hey, you know what? We might have you be like a backup or something like that, right? Or give you some what may seem like a very inconsequential role, mm -hmm. but that's also because they want to test you as well to see, like, how good are you? Because you could always, you could, anyone can say, "Hey, I'm really good at this," right? And the thing is, they're trusting; they would be trusting somebody with like, you know, a, quite a large budget, and so right. just make yep. sure, yeah. It, you know, you, you, it may mean, you know, Hey, you have to take for like six months, you have to do like, uh, what's the word, what's the word I'm looking for, Charles? Like you may not be the producer or the assistant <laughs> right. or something. They're like looking that. for experience. They're looking right. for what, what products you've done, what you've done to show them. So. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much guys. No I appreciate it. And awesome. I love the show. Thank you and so feel much. Feel free to drop a link to your show as well in the, uh, backstage for us. Okay. Okay, I think I did drop a link, but I'll drop oh, it again. Say it, no, okay. say it right now, quick. When's your show? What'd you do? <laughs> Time. Well, Over. right now I'm doing 10 Days of Spooky Tober. There you it's go. A show all about um, my favorite 1990s movie where Good. I'm painting yes. 10 days of all of the different things. We just finished up Candyman yesterday. Cool. Next week we're doing um, The Bride of Chucky. And every Sunday we do sketchbook Sundays. It's all about creativity and art on my channel. All right. Cool. Thanks for watching. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right. So since she does the bride of Chucky <laughs> and someone was asking me a question, I'm going to, I'm going to answer the question here. He wants to know, uh, which mixer audio mixer are you using right now? So I am mixing with the go XLR pro. So I have the Go XLR. That's what I use. So hopefully that helps you out. All right. <laughs> everybody, just, everybody just froze there for a second. <laughs> I know. They were like, where did that come from? Right. <laughs> okay. So we got two more people and right, we got a video, go. Charles. We got three things to get through. Let's roll it, buddy. And we got to do a giveaway. Okay. Yep, quick so question. JP, are you, you ready, JP? Okay. Good. How are we doing, JP? Do you have a question good, for me? Good, good. Oh, sir, Actually, gonna... I've got... Two questions for you. Okay, sure. Yeah. Two, 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 two. Um, first comment. Thanks for the mug. Thanks for the plushie. You're welcome. Nice. <laughs> there you go. And happy to help out when I can. There you go. And then the last one is. No, no, no. That's a comment. Two questions. Uh <laughs> that's the comment. Two questions. Sure. Um, I want to piggyback on Daniel with the gaming mm -hmm. because that was my main question. Um, splitting the audio source because I need to get my microphone and the system audio. I want them to hear the game as I'm talking. All right, what what um yeah. what, inter what interface are you using? Well, if I if I go StreamYard native, mm -hmm. then I say yep. share the screen and I'm sharing you know, the game application. Mhm. Mm and then I select the microphone 
It's only going to pick up the microphone. It's not going to pick up the game audio. Right. Okay, so real quick, like I just told everybody, I'm using the Go XLR, right? And Christian, which one are you using? Uh, Roadcaster Pro. Okay, mm -hmm. so with those type of systems, it allows you to bring in other audio and mix together. Okay. So if I wanted to, I can play any any track or any video, anything I want into the system and still use my microphone at the same time. Okay. So it allows me to bring in different sounds. So that's okay. one thing. Those two right now that I know of, that it automatically converts it in. So if I wanted to have sound effects like you just saw me do, but I right here, I'm just going to show you on screen uh, right there. So I have all these switchers and I can put any one I want. So this one says chat. This one says TV screen and this one says interface. So if I want to put the gaming here, this is the volume I troll for, for gaming. Okay. That's and then this system. is you're yeah. right. So right now, do you see this one when you guys talk? Mm. That's you. That's your voice. Okay. See, and then when I talk, this is my voice over here. So I can control what sounds I want coming in and out of the program. Okay. Very, very cool. Very, now, but I want to cool. add, I want to add to that. So you can go with a couple things. You can go with, um, there's a focus, right? Two I two, for example, that's for like being able to plug XLR mics, things like that into an interface. Then you can step up to the go XLR. They have different models. They have the roadcaster pro. Um, if you don't have, if you don't want to go with those routes, mm -hmm. then, you know, again, it also depends on the type of mic you're using. Um, for example, if they're XLR mics, they would go into those devices. If they're, if they're USB mics, they go directly in your computer. So then yeah. what you're going to have to look at is something like a virtual, uh, uh, a virtual mixer. Right. And I, I use many cam for that, okay. but I found okay. doing the game yeah. plus many cam to stream yard. They're, they're, they're just not gelling. I, I'm getting so, lag. Right. So what you would want to consider for something like that as well would be, um, I would say either maybe voice meter. Yes. So voice meter, uh, we have a video okay. I dropped in the chat for you or in the, yep. in the comments, voice meter is an option. If you're on a PC, if you're on a Mac, uh, loop back is an option. And then taking a step further, we just mentioned this with Danielle, actually. So Danielle has an Elgato Wavelength 3. That's her mic she's using. They include software that does mm -hmm. the virtual mixing for you as well. Okay. So that's Elgato. And if you have the mic Charles has, the Rode Pod mic, mm -hmm. it also includes, there's, uh, or sorry, the, sorry, it's the Rode NT USB Mini, actually. It includes Rode Connect, which functions just like my Rodecaster, except okay. software. Okay, cool, cool, yeah. cool. Uh, the second question I have sure. is, as a guest here on StreamYards, okay. I can I can see the chat over there, but I can't reply to it. Correct, yes. Unless I blow out the YouTube. Yep. Is that a function that will be coming in the future? Uh, I don't know, but I can make a note. I'll make a note right now as a feature request. I'm sure it, I'm sure it's something that's on our list. Yeah, so. because I see comments coming in and then I have to alt tab to get to YouTube and then reply to the comment and then alt tab back to StreamYard to keep up with the conversation. So. Yeah, no, definitely. I'll, um, I'll make a note here real quick. You mean as a guest? Yeah, like right now. Yeah. Right now, yeah. while in, while in StreamYard, we cannot comment on the comments. Yeah. <laughs> we have to tab out. I see what you're okay, saying. Right. Yeah. Sometimes as a guest, you want to say a little thank you or something real quick. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Like right now, for example, if somebody was wanting to like creative girl of color with Daniel B says J vlog. Thanks. Uh, J vlog. If you want to comment, you'd have to have another window or something else open to be able to respond. Yeah, so exactly. yeah. that's just that's made right. a note. Awesome. Yeah. That's a good idea. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, right, buddy. And that, that was it. Awesome. Right, simple. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks, buddy. Awesome. Very cool. All so right. We rock it. Hey, hold on. JVlog, be sure to yeah. give us a link to your channel as well or tell people what's your what's your channel about? Um, the channel is about daily life in Japan. Okay. And when do you stream? I stream the last Friday of every month. Last Friday of every month. What time? Uh, usually 1030 Japan Standard Time. So that is <laughs> calculating real quick. Here. I'm gonna go to Google for this. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm like, I'm trying to Google. What is that Eastern time, my friend? Um, hey Siri. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it in New York? 
It's 1613 in New York City, New York, the United States. Okay. That's awesome. Thank you. There you go. Yeah, cool. Just ask Siri. <laughs> She's got the answer. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> okay. Take care, guys. JB. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye. All right. We got one more guest. We got one guest, a video, and a giveaway. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Good morning. I'm not sure what your real name is, but let's bring you on. How are we doing? Yes, uh, good morning. Uh, it's not morning here, it's actually evening. Uh, thank you for joining us, by the way. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, good morning, Jesus. is a program I do every morning, uh, 6 a.m. Okay. Nigerian time. Okay, so I have a question. My, my question is, uh, I started using StreamYard last year. I discovered StreamYard last year. Okay. And uh, it was like a, a solution to what I wanted to do. I had... Uh, you know, I had this stream in mind to be able to stream programs and then uh, okay. do them in, in a way I could not do, you know, if I didn't have like a software, like um, uh, what's your vMix and the rest of them. So then I discovered StreamYard. But now, my several times I, I was on StreamYard from last okay. year, then an yeah. update was done. I could now share video, you know, that could play 30 minutes long. Uh, which was a very good update from StreamYard, but this is the this, this is the issue. Well, can StreamYard or when will StreamYard do an, another update that would enable me play like a music a music file, not a video, music now for thirty minutes or more than that, but I don't have to make it a video. Like uh, I could have a still photo, just a picture, a right. picture background you know, like on my stream yard, I have a picture background. And then behind that picture background is the music playing. Uh, I don't have to add a video to do that. I just need, a, yeah, I don't have to add a video for that long because I can, the share, the share uh, option that was given on stream yard helps me only share a video, not an yeah. MP, MP3 file. Yeah, so I have a still picture on the wall. Then if StreamYard could do it in such a way that I just upload an MP3 file and the MP3 fi file is playing while my own background image is showing, nothing else. Like, let me be able to bring up an audio file separately from okay, myself. So then, I don't need to add myself to the streaming yet. Yeah, yeah, so here's a question. Do you have a mixer? Yes, I, I, I use a Rodecaster Pro. Same, oh, Christian. Yeah. Okay, we I use same. <laughs> So then, if you have that, you can actually do that yourself. Yeah. Now, this is this is the style I use. You know, yeah. I, I go to StreamYard. Uh, mm -hmm. I could share. I could share my my um, StreamYard whatever to you now. So you see what I mean. I go to StreamYard. Yeah. I I go to StreamYard, mm -hmm. and then I add a picture. Right. Uh, I, I I I I share okay. share the screen. I share the screen. Do me I if you're mute, the, mute the audio on that. Mute the audio before I bring that in. Oh, okay. Then just, I want to make sure that there's we're not going to play copyrighted music. Like yeah. All right. All right. Yes. Yeah, so just mute your stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So hold on. So I like the graphics. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So before you go on, so you have this mm -hmm. stagnant on the screen. Yes. And then you play so, your music. No, I don't. I, I I share a picture. Let's mm -hmm. say I share a picture of. Uh, okay. Of, of the same program, I go to my document mm -hmm. and uh, maybe I look for a picture like this one now on the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so maybe something like this on the screen. Then I share this picture. I try mm -hmm. to share this. Let me just quickly block this. Sorry. Uh, that was a mistake. Let me do it again. So I share. Um, permission. Yes. Allow. I think now it will allow me. Sorry for that. So I share this picture. Mm -hmm. And then now it's on. Then I add my stream. I add my stream, then hide myself. Then when I play the music, because I'm on uh, my mixer, when I play a background song, so it's using my mic, so it's playing the song. But that's a whole lot of stress. Okay. Like, it's, okay, wait, wait, it takes wait, wait, long. Hold on, hold on, hold on, slow down, slow down. One second. Yeah. Why don't you put the picture mm -hmm. in overlay? So if you overlay. put the picture... Yeah, if you put the picture in overlay, you don't have to go share and do all that stuff. It's just an, a click, and it just covers the whole thing, so you can play your music. So instead mm. of going to share, so go to, to brand. Share. Yeah, so go to brand. Okay. 
Okay, see? And then you see we're right there. See all the overlays? Yeah. Put the picture there, and when you click it, it just pops up, and you can still talk. You so, can still, like, you right can now. Still, so right now, you can hear my voice. One, check, check, one, two, one, two, check, one, two. You can that's, still that's hear my nice. voice, and if I want to sing or anything, oh, it's in the overlay. Okay. <laughs> um, does that make sense? <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Yes, it makes a lot of sense. So overlay, uh, I add a picture. Yeah. So put the picture. All right. So, but, but why don't why don't we? Okay. Second question. Second question. Quickly. I'm sorry. I'm taking your time. Um, second question. I have a PNG, or not really a PNG. Let's say uh, um, an alpha channel. Uh, video I made, maybe like a lower thought, for instance. Yeah. I have a lower thought that is um, animated, it's not still. Mm -hmm. These are still, these are the still ones I did. This yep. is still, you know, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I have, I have one that is animated. StreamYard does not allow that feature. Like this morning, I wanted to share an animated um, uh, graphics I made for right. another program, you know, hooked up with Good Morning Jesus. So I was going to do that. I was going to share that uh, animated uh, graphics. Yep. But then when I tried it, it said StreamYard does not allow that feature. So I cannot okay, use, so, okay. I cannot create a, a moving lower thought. Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay, so you can. So you can create your own and put it into overlay again, but you have to put it in GIF style. So for example, GIF. I can. Yes. So when you click on it, it will mm. move in there and it will rotate across the screen like you want and it will rotate back. So, for example, okay. like this right now, the pumpkins. See the pumpkins? Yeah. So that's just an anim it's an animated GIF, and you just add it to the overlay section. See? Okay. And, it, and if he wants to look, here comes some leaves falling. Uh -huh, true. <laughs> okay. So all that is made in GIF, and then you bring that over to the overlay. And then when you want to mm. showcase that, you click it. Now, remember, mm. wherever you design the overlay, it's going to pop up on your screen. So remember, when you're designing mm. it, you have to design it in the left corner, right corner, center. That way, when you pop it on screen, mm. it's where you want it. Because Christian, if Christian pops up the pumpkins again, and say he made that in the middle of the screen. Of course. Well, let's say we were in this screen. view right now. For yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> okay, see? So I kind of have to yeah. think about where I want to have this come up. There mm -hmm. you go. So it is possible to do it, my friend. You just make it, design it, put it in overlay again, and when you click on it, there it goes. Mm. All right, so so th that's fine. But I think StreamYard, uh, thank you for that. Uh, that really opened a whole lot to me. But I also would suggest StreamYard um, adding uh, an MP3, the possibility of playing an MP3 file easily, you know, quickly. Yeah, but here's that, the that could save up time. Yeah, but here's the only problem, though. If mm. you if you put in an MP3 player song, mm. you have no control. So if you mm. say I upload a song and the song is loud, and my speaker is soft, she speaks like this when you're doing it, and you have this big background gospel song playing, you yeah. don't have control to turn it up and down. Yeah, That's true. why it's better to do it in another in your in your in your mixer. That way, if she talks loud, you, then you could bring it down and. Yeah. Right. So if you if you put it in StreamYard, you have no control. It plays, it's which is great, but then mm -hmm. I have no control over it. Wow. So okay. it's better it's better it's better to do what Christian said, either get a mixer, get the online one, put it in. That way you can control the sound effects. Mm. True. Yep. So how how long do I have to wait before I get my mug? I, I saw <laughs> chat, I saw <laughs> Jim Love with a mug. I saw Christian with a mug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, th this is more like an appreciation to StreamYard. I've been up with StreamYard since last year, and I've never regretted signing up with StreamYard. Very good platform, yeah. excellent. Just so what did, I needed. Did you, did you order it from the from the store? No, I, I okay. I went to Google, then I saw StreamYard, then I started subscribing, and I've I mean I've introduced several of my friends, and they've yeah. signed no, up with StreamYard. I mean, I mean the mug, the mug. Did you order it from the store or did you win it? Oh, no, yet. I don't have it yet. I, I don't know about that. <laughs> All right, so this is what we're going to do. We have one more video to watch, and then right after the video, we're going to do a giveaway, and we're going to give away the mug, and hopefully you can win it there.
Uh, all right. <laughs> and, we have, and here's the thing: we do have a store where we do sell these. I think they're like. Okay. Five yeah. Bucks, so you can, you, you can go you can go to the store and you can buy it from the store if you really want a mug, or you can you can wait and then see if you can win it. We do a lot of giveaways on our yeah. shows. So, so every, every live show, we usually do a giveaway. Uh, all of our shows, we do a giveaway on them. Uh, if mm. I will say this, if you don't win one tonight or today, uh, we have a town hall that we do every single Sunday at 9 p.m. Okay. Eastern Standard Time. Yep. And uh, Dan and Gage, founders of uh, StreamYard, they, um, they also do a giveaway during that as well. Yeah. They actually do a pretty nice giveaway. <laughs> So, right. um, so yeah, so right. we'll do that here in a few minutes. Um, All right, buddy. So, thank you for joining. Okay, us. by the way, by the way, I'm Gabriel. Gabriel, Good Morning Jesus is my program on YouTube. I'm Gabriel. Okay, well, hold on, hold on. Before you yeah. go, real quick, what day and time? Okay, so Good Morning Jesus is uh, an everyday program every morning, six a.m. Nigerian time. It's a uh, it's a program of thanksgiving. Nothing more. Just say thank you to the Lord Jesus Christ for waking up. Uh, not everybody gets the opportunity to wake up every morning. There you go. I'll, I love Thank that, you. my friend. So I'm being blessed every morning to wake up is a blessing. So make sure you watch. That's so, right. Great to have you, my friend. Thank you. Bye, Gabriel. Fantastic. This has been an awesome show. By the way, thanks for the reminder about starting the giveaway, by the way. <laughs> We're going to get to that. Yeah. We're going to take seriously five minutes, Charles. Okay, let's go. Let's take go. Let's go. Minutes. We're going to pull up a video. We had somebody... Uh, we normally don't do this, um, but somebody sent me a video and said, hey, can you guys take a look at my streams? Uh, they have a two minute and change video and then let's just give them some recommendations. All right, let's go. So, okay, so this is the video. They sent this in, uh, they're in the UK and it looks like this. Hi there, StreamYard. Uh, my name's Sue and I'm calling in from North Wales in the UK. Um, I work with a very small social enterprise and uh, we sell products to raise money for community projects that we run. So we have a shop, a retail shop or a store that you might call it, um, where we sell products. Um, now, I was thinking um, it would be great to do some streams where we show people products. For instance, I've got lots of products around me because I'm actually in my office, which doubles up as a storeroom. Um, and we've got things like this, which uh, is like pots of hair dye. As you see, that's a really bad demo of a pot of hair dye because you can't even see the color. Um, so what I'm looking for is some advice on how do we demonstrate goods uh, really well to encourage customers or potential customers to buy things from us. Um, I just really wondered if there was any other streamers out there that were doing that kind of thing or if uh, you guys could offer me any advice if you've come across that kind of thing before. And also, as I, I mentioned, uh, this is my office, but also a storeroom. And as you can see, I have got myself some nice little mood lighting in the background. I've done my best to sort of arrange the backdrop so it's uh, not too much like a storeroom. Um, and I just wondered if you could give me some feedback on that and any thoughts or comments that you might have. Um, and finally, thanks to everyone at StreamYard. We absolutely love um, watching your live streams, getting your hints and tips on your review programs and following the um, how to do certain things through StreamYard as well. So it's just been fantastic for our organization to be at a stream with such professional, easy to use software. So thanks again. And uh, we do hope to see you very soon. Take care. Bye bye. Okay. Okay. Listen, well, first of all, yeah. I know, I know I got to run, but that video was so cute. <laughs> it was yes, It was. That, that was a nice, cute video i like it so thank you so much for sending that in i actually love that you know what it is i love that it's she's using the microphone okay, okay. but okay. the thing is we got to get her to get that microphone i don't know change can you can you freeze frame can you share and freeze frame the shots christian while we i talk don't about it? think i can actually because i was playing it from the uh the brand section oh okay so if you do so here, you know, so but basically, so what we actually have there, though, I kind of will walk through what Charles was saying here. Mm -hmm. I think, um, 
So basically, so she, so this is where we talk about different types of mics. We're using a, a cardioid mic and she's using a shotgun mic. Yeah. And that mic, first off, it's going to pick up everything that she does. Yes. So it's designed to pick up that. It's designed to pick up somebody talking with actual background noise and things like that. Yeah. Um, so that's one thing. I want to actually go through some of the comments here as well, real quick. So um, G. Albert's giving a suggestion of brightening up the room, creating a showcase. So brighten up the room. So, okay. so hold on. Can I stick a pin in that for a second? Yeah, sure. Yeah. The light that she has, the only thing I would suggest, it's on her. Mm -hmm. And that's where you're getting that too much of a light. Okay. So yeah. she needs to take that light, whatever. Because remember when she held up that product, it started to shine right into the product. Yeah. Because the light needs to change. So wherever you have that light, it needs to be raised and give a shadow, not directly how you had it directly into you. And that's what gives you more of that, that ghost shadow behind you. Because a lot of comments is like, who's that behind you? And it wasn't anybody behind you. It's your shadow from the light because it's so direct, making it look like somebody was behind you. So take whatever that light is and try to angle it so it gives it a shadow across on either side compared to directly in front. Excellent point. Um, let me see. There's also, so we've got the brightening thing. We've also got uh, Calm Down Rich is saying, uh, pre-make photos of your products as if going to be displayed in a catalog and show those. Yep. Love that suggestion as well. Um, yeah, so like we talked, like I told the, uh, the makeup artist, yeah. whatever product you're going to share, yep. have a still photo of it first mm -hmm. and then you play with it. Yeah. So if I'm going to talk about, you know, this mug, it'd be a, a still photo first. Yeah. And then I'd be like, oh, yeah. So here it is live and I can feel it. It's got a good weight to it. And if you notice on the bottom, it's got this thing. Like after you show it, then you put it in your hand. Right. And play around with it. Because, for example, here's what people are. I'm going to just grab a product that's next to me as well. So yeah. people are going to do this. And guess what? I'm going to do this. And I personally, I can't really see if this is clear, if it's blur. I mean, it looks like it's pretty clear. But yeah, I'm going to do something like this. Right. And so like maybe your camera, for example, doesn't focus very well on that, that item. And so therefore this is where taking a screenshot, making a, uh, making a full screen overlay even of this yep. is something you would bring up. The other thing I would add to that is if she's got a lot of products she needs to make, mm -hmm. make a slideshow in Canva or make one in uh, Apple keynote or PowerPoint, any of those programs, make a slideshow. Personally, I would use Canva. Yes. I would make a slideshow. There's an option when you say present, it will pop out a little window with all your slides and you literally just screen share it and you can click through them on screen and they'll show up there in your stream or dashboard. Yeah. And then to go along with what Christian just said, don't share everything. Be consistent mm -hmm. and share a couple of things. I know you have a lot of product behind you and you want to show everything so people buy, 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 but make a show of it. Bring yep. them back. So if you're going to do mugs, just do mugs. This week we're doing mugs. Okay, this mug, that mug, this mug, this mug, five mugs. This mug is different. Show them. Don't over bombard them with mugs, t-shirts, hats, cups, this, that. Try to be consistent. So today is mugs. Yeah. Tomorrow is hats. Next week is this. So they can see different products. And then the other thing you could also do with that, if you are very specific about the products you're showing on that stream, let's say it's mugs one week in hats another, you could do a stream about mugs and, or sorry, let's bring something relevant. Let's say one is mugs and the other one is, I don't know, glasses, for example, like mm -hmm. drinking glasses. You could do one show where you talk about mugs and then you could say something like, for those of you who missed our last show or episode 100, we talked about glasses, for example. Right. And you can then have a link ready to go, I think, there to share. Um, yeah. One last thing I think I want to add real quick. I want to actually, let me pull this one up actually. Um, actually, sorry, Christian, that's a yeah. brilliant idea what you just said, because say she's out on the street and she's, and they're like, oh, what do you do? Oh, I sell product. Oh, I was looking for mugs. Oh yeah. Go to my episode 129 and we have some great mugs there. Yeah. That way it's not confusing. It's, so that's a great idea, Christian. Right. Well, and, and kind of uh, piggybacking off of that, one thing I would, two things actually would be, um, for starters, create a spreadsheet of all your shows, yep. what the show was, the link to it and what the topic was, because think of it like this. If you did, if this was your, if this is your first or second one, or maybe your fifth live stream, that's not a big deal. But as you're building a volume of work, if you're talking about mugs on every single one of them, 
don't uh, i'll tell you right now don't tell me to go look at your channel <laughs> and, try and to say <laughs> hey christian i talked about mugs i talk about mugs all the time on my channel and you have 100 videos yeah as a customer i'm not going to watch 100 videos yeah so here she's actually um seeing the comment it says my front oh light she's works. here oh yeah. it says awesome my front, my okay, front cool. light my front light was above me at the front. Okay, yeah. so yeah. So if it's there, I don't know of yours, but you can actually dial it up and dial it down. If it's a ring light, you can. there's a gauge where you can set it for natural lighting, um, sun lighting, and you can go high and you can go low. So sometimes you just got to change how much heat is coming off of that light. So you can do it real bright or dim it down. Okay, so I have mine set at four clicks natural light sun so i know every time i come on live it's got to be that type of lighting and then if, since it's right in front try to see if you can offset it a little bit and you won't get that direct shadow uh, and then some... the other thing i want to talk about real quick just i want to just mention it real quick actually mm -hmm. you know you mentioned lighting and things like that right right sorry i'm just grabbing I'm grabbing a bunch of boxes. I'm sorry. I'm going to keep this quick. <laughs> but like, for example, no, no. So, okay. So Charles, you have those like fill lights behind him. So yeah. He's got lights. So he's got a lot of depth behind him to be able to have those fill lights. But if you don't have the space, for example, you could always go with, there's lots of different options here, by the way. So like these are genie brand uh, strip lights behind me. So that's this, for example. Yep. I've got these and you can cut them and you can put them together. So there's strip lights. And they can be, you can change the color of them as well. So for example, they work like this. So yes. there's an app and then there's, um, you know, like you can basically cut them and basically extend them. This is an extension kit as well for it. So, so you can right. use that. Yeah. Right. Or you don't even have to have that brand. If you have other brands, I mean, there's these, there's some that are like, there's some that are sound activated as well. Yep. Earth. And they don't have to be expensive. You can go on and grab ones that work. Some come with a remote and some come that you can, um, you can join uh, Siri and Alexa. You can do both of them. So here's my remote. It came with this one. Yeah. I think I, I have the same remote maybe. Yep. Sure. And if I don't want to use a remote, then I use my voice. So let me just yeah. mute myself for a second. So I think he's saying the, well, look at that. Yes. See, so he's using ones that can be controlled by an app. That's the same thing like this one, this Genie brand can be controlled by Alexa as well. So it comes down to like, if you want to use the remote or if you want to use the app that usually come with, that comes with some of these. And I will say this, I mean, so Charles, you're talking about like cost of lights. How much do you think these were total? Uh, two boxes. Two boxes. I'd say about 75 bucks. I paid 10 bucks. Oh, geez. There you go. So 10 bucks for those. So Here's the thing. So I think the key thing is, and you don't have to like, I personally, I like Charles's lights because I like the fact that they fill the background and then they can be changed based on what your stream is about or what your brand colors are. So, um, so I would say this, I mean, I think that like lighting, I think was a key point that people made. I think other people also suggested, um, you know, streaming from, um, like, uh, let's see, lighting, I think is key. I think setting up, if you're going to be talking about products, figure out if your camera switches pretty quickly for example if it doesn't take a screenshot of the item or put a presentation together with it a slideshow and play the product that way and say you know like charles mentioned hey you know today i'm going to talk about the following five products you could show them and you could be like you know what the first thing we're going to talk about is we could be talking for example about light strips today yeah so and make it make it a theme so every channel is a theme to it so people want to come exactly Awesome. Um, so Rainbow Biz CIC, um, I do hope this helps. Uh, we'll have to have you join us again um, about coming on, uh, coming mm -hmm. on live. Once you update your stuff, so like do us a favor. Uh, again, this is like homework for the weekend. Like start with how do you like, so I think the first thing, Charles, where do you think she should start first? Um, the lighting. I lighting. think the number one thing is get the lighting so people can see her better and see that product. Because if you want to sell the product, yeah. you got to see it. So if, the, right. if, it's, yeah. if, it's, if you can't see it properly, then no one's going to want to buy it. So make sure that the lighting is good so we can see the product properly. So when you held it up like that, I couldn't see it until you actually had to change it. Then I could see it. So first thing is get the lighting so people can see your product. 
And by the way, the other thing real quick about the whole lighting thing is like, if you do put up, like if you have hard lights and you like, if you say you have like a desk lamp with like a gooseneck and like that's shining right at your face, it's going to, you know, if you don't have a lot of depth between you and the wall and you put that light exactly like Charles has right now, it's going to, A, it's going to make your camera work harder. And it also, as you can see, it, it creates a totally different vibe of things. So Charles, turn your light back on. So as you can see, he's got a, he's got a different vibe going on. So part of it's making sure you get the right kind of light, but also making sure that, you know, again, don't use a hard light. It's like if you're in an area where you don't have a whole lot of light, then you got to come up with creative ways. Some easy ways would be some LED lights in the background, for example. Charles, what lights are those, Charles? So someone's in the chat asking me what lights yep. are these. Yep. Uh, Christian, how many think how much do, was these cost? And this is nine nine feet. Those are probably like forty bucks. I got these for twenty. Nice, very nice. So so the great thing I think we're trying to demonstrate here is just the fact that you don't have to spend a lot of money on lights. No. Nope. And if you don't have enough room for a lot of lights, because again, you also would be in a fairly comfortable environment. Um, you know. A, like work with different things. For example, if you've got a lamp right now and you have a shade over it, you could take the shade off and that will give you a lot more light in the room, but yeah. you got to make sure you balance it out as well. Like I'm using a ring light, for example. There you so, go. all right. Awesome. I hope that helps. Let's do the giveaway real quick. Yeah. So and let's do that giveaway real quick. Away. Yes. And then hold on rainbow biz. I want to see you back on the stream after you, you, tweaked a couple of stuff we want to see you come on live on the show i love that i love don't get me wrong i love the the tape but i want to see you i want to talk to you and the next show by the way is october 16th it's in two weeks i we're gonna try to probably do it at 12 just be sure you subscribe to the stream <laughs> or youtube channel um and we're also probably not gonna go for four hours by the way we're gonna work on dialing it back a little bit <laughs> uh, charles were you trying to break that eight hour record from earlier <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, okay. And the funny thing is I'm doing a live production in just 15 minutes. So, okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, two quick points, uh, for everyone. First off, we have the StreamYard giveaway tool. Uh, mm -hmm. so everyone who has a StreamYard account, um, you can access the giveaway tool here. And it's streamyard.com forward slash giveaway. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this up real quick. This is the StreamYard giveaway tool. Uh, let's put it, put in, I don't know. Uh, what do you want them to put in, Charles? Um, put in mug. Ah, uh, yes. Actually, that's a good point. I should probably tell them what we're going to give away. <laughs> put in mug. We're there gonna you give go. this away. The Streamyard uh, mug. Actually, we're going to give a Streamyard mug because we had so many people asking about this today. Yeah. So uh, again, uh, if you win the mug, what what I'm going to have you do is um, email me uh, with your details, but just put in the word mug in comments. Again, yep. we're going to be back also the 16th of October. Yep, so we'll give good. everybody another... Yeah, just put in mug and then that's 30 it. seconds. That's how easy it is. You just have to pick a word. Christian puts the word into the system and whoever puts that word in, it just finds you. And then, yeah, so put in the word mug. There you go. There you go. There they come. You got it set up, Christian? I am all ready to go. I'm ready to do this drawing whenever you are. So you tell me. All right. Let's hold on. Let's go. By the way, if you put the word in multiple and times, it does is... not. And the winner is. Hey, and look at that. Hey, Conveniently, hey. Charles. Charles Dunkley. I won. <laughs> hey there we go but charles um uh, all we need you to do is email by the way here's a quick tip uh on the giveaway tool you can put in the word mug but i also left it blank so that way anybody who was commenting when i started the giveaway would be entered so you do have options there and it picks the winner it uses your brand colors all that sort of stuff um so charles do me a favor and let me just find my banner real quick Uh, there we go. So, uh, Charles Dunkley, please email marketing at streamyard.com. Uh, give me your information. Just tell me, um, just basically give me your address. Um, we'll get your mug mailed out to you. Congratulations. All right. Fantastic. Guys. Okay. 
This has been an awesome show, Charles. I know you got a jet. Let's talk. Uh, let's you and I talk offline. All right, guys. And listen, enjoy. Have I think some that's fun. Everything is good. And remember, keep streaming, everybody. Fantastic. We'll see you all. Have a great, uh, have a great week. And keep streaming, as Charles mentioned. Thanks.